Good morning. Hello. Oh, look <laughs> who it is. It's gorgeous, Hannah. Oh, how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. I'm excited about this morning show. I know. We've got some amazing things, haven't we? we? Oh, well, let, let's talk just quickly. Yeah, we are fully loaded. Says Wayne, who is producing today. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, you've got a, you've got a, a, hey. can I just say you've got a wonderful concoction of jewellery maker teams this morning. So is that a good thing to describe us all as yeah. a concoction? Well, well, yeah, well, there's been worse words, I'm sure. I, I've yeah. been, I've been, I have been called worse. Um, because, well, Hannah, amazing Hannah. Oh, thank you. Um, and then you've got Mark coming on uh, later on to launch his very exciting, very beautiful collection, which is stunning. Stunning, yeah, really amazing, stunning. Yeah. And then we've got sales manager and gemstone by Wayne in the hot seat today. Hello, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You've got gorgeous Ollie directing. Yeah. Now you're meant to be here, Ollie, aren't you? You are actually meant to be here. You are, yeah. It's, it's so far, Hannah wasn't originally scheduled to be here. I certainly wasn't. Um, literally discovered that I was, I was presenting last night. Oh. Uh, last night, yeah, <laughs> before I went out for a meal. But uh, this uh, it was before. It was before. <laughs> it was before. And. I right. know you're going to be happy to see this face. We've got gorgeous Michael Wolf on camera. Yeah, right, right, right up there. Look up there. Look who it is. Hi. He's, the, he's back. Whoop, whoop. It's lovely to see you, Michael. Yes, it's, it's interesting to be here. It's, it's weird. It feels weird. Really, really odd, yeah. I wouldn't. I would not forget Kinga. Definitely, but definitely haven't not. Haven't forgotten her. Um, I was. She's the one who's keeping us all in check. We've got. There she is. Here she is. Beautiful Kinga. Yes. On floor today. You're really dark. Oh. You are really dark. We need to see your gorgeous oh. faces. Um, it's going to be a massive Saturday, because Hannah's kits. Talk about kits for a, for a second. Okay. Okay. So um, I was asked if I would like to do the launch of some halo beads. So my first reaction was, what's that? What's a halo bead? Yeah, so um, then I was presented with these absolutely amazing, um, they are literally like halos of sterling silver and I've described them as a, a hug for your gemstones oh. because they fit neatly around the round gemstones and they look incredible. They're and they, just they're 925 sterling silver. Sterling silver. And there's some rose gold plated ones as well. And they are absolutely beautiful. They're nice, they're, they're weighty. It's like if you've got teeny tiny fingers, they'd yeah. be like a, a, a silver like wedding band almost. Oh, gorgeous. They're, they're so gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Those are being launched in the nine o'clock hour. Um, we've got some amazing kits for you today. Yeah, little connectors. Um, you can also, sort of, well, you, they, they, they come with a pin, don't they? So yeah, they so can be pendants or connectors. They do. So they come with, they come with sterling silver um, eye pins. Yeah. So the ones with the loops on the end. And there's a whole reel of chain as well. That's epic. Look at this. Yes. So you've got sterling silver chain on a reel, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, it's a box chain too. So you get loads of luster and strength. Coming up at nine o'clock today, uh, your deal of the day, speaking of chain, yeah. and you're going to need it for Mark's amazing launch, we have an epic, unmissable deal of the day saving on sterling silver chains. Um, check these out. I mean, firstly, look at the weight of them all. Look at how significant the gram weight is on all of those. I don't know if you have that, do you, Wayne, off the top of your head? Um, no, not just yet, not just yet. In fact, I'm going to get my sheets, there's that much to reference. Um, so, oh, all right, Wayne, he's like, okay, we've got a lot to get through this hour, Elsa, come on. It's cracked. All right, yeah, yeah, no problem. We've got Black Jadeite coming up and we have the launch of Chestnut Close with Mark. That is happening from 11 o'clock today. So, okay, okay, yeah, like that. So, Wayne's already cracking the whip. <laughs> You'd think, you'd imagine he'd be a little bit gentle with me considering I was out last night. Nah, nah, definitely not, definitely not. Right then, 56 items he said to get through within this hour. Is it viewer's choice? No, so you, no. But, but, be warned, um, items will sell out. I haven't mentioned the putty cats. Yeah, the putty cats. Um, you've seen them on our social media, hopefully. They are magnets. Um, you can use them to display your beautiful jewellery. You can use them to hang your keys. They're very strong, the magnet, by the way. They come in all different varieties of putty cats. Um, so maybe you have, you have a ginger tom or maybe you have a, a white cat. Well, we've got them all different, uh, different colours and other animals. Um, we can pre-order those now, can't we, Wayne? Yes, you can pre-order those. We've got some gorgeous pearl earrings coming up as well in this hour. So without further ado, look at those. 
Do I see the price of the cats? Yes, I know the price. So it says 11.99 and 5.99. This is what we found. They are the exact same magnets, by the way. Exactly, exactly the same. And we are going lower than 5.99. And we don't just mean by a little bit. We have thousands. I don't think you're going to even be buying two or three. I think you're going to be buying, yeah, tens, twenties, possibly, because they're great gifts. I was just, just looking at them. <laughs> Those are little wooden characters as well. They're, they're so super cute. sweet, aren't they? This, I'm, I'm buying probably. Well, I know what the price is, so I'll probably be looking <laughs> at about ten, at least, at the very, very least. And probably more. Probably more because they're handy, aren't they? You could even hang your animals like leads and things like that from there. Um, okay, so 56 items to bring you in this hour. Should we get cracking? Should we get cracking with some absolutely beautiful obsidian? So a beautiful genuine gemstone, that wonderful deep ebony black in sizable drops. Do you remember, um, I don't know if you saw on the show, lovely Susie, she created, yeah. in yeah. fact, there's a necklace there, um, the rope, you know, the literally like a, like a scarf of, uh, of pearls. Yes. Um, she put tassels at the bottom, but you could put these, couldn't you, at the bottom of your pearls? Launch price, £14.99. Should we take it under 10? You've also got a little Brucey, obsi uh, Brucey bonus obsidian dotted in between. I think they're obsidian anyway. £9.99. Look at the size of these. We've got how many? 65. And um, Wayne wants to sell them all out. Uh, do get interactive. Come and text us. We are live here in the studio. £8.99. You don't even know what price you're putting on screen, Wayne. Okay, let's do that then. Seven ninety nine, taking it to cost. Just so you know, FYI, absolutely flying out the door. We had how many? Sorry, sixty five. Charmaine, Diane, Shalini, new customer, new customer. Manchester and Diana in Kent. Make sure you check out. Hi, Linda. Six pounds and ninety nine pence for beautiful obsidian. Now, obsidian, of course, it's a type of glass, isn't it? That has. Uh, transformed into this beautiful gemstone. We don't often see it in drops. We tend to see it in the rounds. It, it does tend to be rounds, but also they're, they're, they're enormous. They're really, really chunky, aren't they? And I love that. So you get a real... Like 1920s. Of, yeah. But also if you pick, you pick up a piece of jewellery, if you're, if you're a craft fair, you pick up a piece of jewellery and there's some weight to it, you yeah. feel like you're getting a, like good value for money yeah, as totally. well. Yeah, totally. Totally. absolutely going to do that. Yeah, 100%. I really like the idea of putting them on the end of that sort of, sort of pearl scarf that... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. That Susie uh, demonstrated or showed in in her collection last week. Um, it's going to sell out. There are so many of you there. Leslie Manchester. Hello to you, Angela. Hello to you, Christine. Diane County Atrium. Linda Maker by three. Uh, Diana West Midland. Shalini. Um, yeah, texting. Come and say hello. Hiya, Joe. Says hello, L. Tell Michael. Great to have you back. You're going to. Are you going to do some presenting today? No. Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> there we go. I mean, he didn't. He didn't. At least he was straight. Quite emphatic. <laughs> yeah, no. that was. Yes. That was. That was. <laughs> yeah. That was definitive. Yes. No. He's not. He doesn't want to do presenting today. <laughs> doesn't want to. Um, but you're happy to be on camera, aren't you? Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. You're happy to be on camera. Oh yes, it's great. It's great. Yes. We'll look after him today. Many, many. Yes. <laughs> I mean, did you hear that? Wayne's ever so rude, isn't he? I'm not, I'm not used to like, hearing people at the moment. It's quite Are weird. you getting used to the... He, says, he said, no, I'm not even repeating that way. I've got a face for radio, apparently. A face for radio? <laughs> he does not. Over-allocated, <laughs> well done. How rude, Wayne. He's joking. You better be. You better be joking. Um, OK, what are we doing now? Multicoloured fluorite. What number, Wayne? I need a number. Wayne. Yes, I know, but what number? You just said fluorite. <laughs> he's telling me to, to me to go fast and pacey and I'm like well, you? are you going to tell me the number there's 56 <laughs> boxes here oh look at the quality of this fluorite in cabochons so this would be great for your bead embroidery be amazing for your uh, sea bead cuddles there are only cuddles, seven yeah, I like that. I've got that sticking with me now Hannah I just, yeah it's just a nice way of describing it isn't it a, or, or the Welsh would say a sea bead kutch a kutch a kutch oh. yeah only the Welsh can cut. Look at the quality. Look at the quality of fluorite that you're getting. These have always been £14.99. You're getting all of these, a little selection. Uh, we've taken it straight away lower than £14.99. But again, you can see the, the supremacy of the quality of fluorite that you're getting, those beautiful bands. 
um, of colours. $9.99, lowest ever price tag by an absolute country mile. Country mile. Beautiful. Look at that. You've got your areas of transparency as well, because it can be a gemstone that's quite... Uh, I don't want to say include hazy, shall we say? It has a uh, sort of a, a, a translucency so as opposed a, to a clarity. Yeah, like a soft focus of colours. It like has a soft focus rainbow of colours. There you go. Yeah, that sort of thing. Like and celebrated perfect. for these beautiful bands yeah. that you get. The only reason I'm holding this one up is because it's the largest. Um, so you can actually see the quality, but they are all the same. You get a mixture of your cuts and your shapes. So um, we're over allocated to Wayne. Oh my goodness, Wayne! You know what? You actually, I'm like literally. <laughs> <laughs> He's flustering me this morning. <laughs> it is go, go, go. Wayne, it? what number? Okay. Okay. Order makes sense. Look at that. Striking, isn't it? Literally, sorry, Michael. Oh, anything could happen today. <laughs> anything could happen. It's a bit <laughs> mad. Uh, there are 24 of these available. Always been at £8.99. This wasn't you. I mean, Wayne, I mean, honestly, he's, he's like Zebedee at the best of times. He's particularly bouncy this morning. Six ninety nine. <laughs> oh, oh, it's still on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants £3.99? Oh, my goodness me. Where are we going? all going wrong three pounds and 99 pence <laughs> i mean some people like a nice you know chilled out saturday morning wayne but clearly you're not yeah, one of those this people it's just madness and mayhem it's brilliant it has, uh, yeah. <laughs> um it's gonna be a sellout of course good morning alice and manchester <laughs> alwyn hello to shalini linda staffordshire lincolnshire marion christine sydney carmel hello to you all Lovely to be with you. You could. I had. I think I had one of these um, sort of graduated strands before, and all I did, Hannah, was yeah. put some spacer beads and put on elastic, so it was an overhead necklace. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, as long as you don't make it too tight, though. It doesn't it happen very good. often, but yeah. I can come up with them sometimes. I'm, I'm sure. Not you very make often. Things. No, that's not, well, not, nothing like you guys, and definitely. Well, your proper, proper, you know, exclusive design. Oh, well, I don't know. and Tig collection, you know. Look at this turquoise. I this is one of my favourites. One of my birthstones. So and I, it kind of matches your nails. I know. I know. Naughty. Matches. <laughs> no, why naughty? I don't think we have rules on nail colours anymore. Thankfully, <laughs> not 1999. Are you all right in there, Wayne? Honestly. I wish they could hear what we could hear because it's kind of, there's kind of chaos going on out there. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Having a party. Fast and pacey, fast and pacey. He's, he's like, saying. honestly, has, have you had too much coffee this morning? He's just high on life. He's, high just, he's always like this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, the, but in all... Really high in life, though, is he? Oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there's the touché comment for there's, the, for the face yes, radio. Yes, you deserve yeah. that one too, Plain. <laughs> Shall we do genuine turquoise? I would love to talk about this gemstone at, at great length, but I haven't got time. That's literally <laughs> what Wayne has just said in my ears. You haven't got time for that, Elle. Twelve ninety-nine. Okay, well, at least he's honest. Uh, I mean, genuine turquoise, USA turquoise. You've got that wonderful, beautiful intensity of duck egg blue in your heshi beads or heshi, whichever way you pronounce it. I mean, you could literally, Hannah, you've got the sterling silver chain coming up in the kit. Yeah, I you mean... You could literally just... Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, I mean, it looks amazing anyway, but turquoise with silver is stunning. Yeah, gorgeous. I think they make each other pop, don't they? Definitely. Look at that. It's do, you see, do you see why I'm actually asking Wayne the question? Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> Ollie, it's not just me. Is, is he all right in there? He says eight o'clock is all about clearing. Clearance. How many do we have then, Wayne? 35 isn't the clearance quantity. But it's, I'm not complaining. This is wicked. What, I mean, we should not be at 9.99 for genuine turquoise. That is more, no disrespect to this gemstone, but that's more of a magnesite price, isn't it? Yeah. Which is much more Thank plentiful you. than turquoise. Yeah, when I was over in Tucson, it, this gemstone fetched astronomical prices. I'm not surprised, though. I, th I think it's always been a popular stone, anyway. Yeah. Well, people know it, don't they? Yeah. They're, they're, it's like amethyst and I amber. I love that. It's like, it's like my happy, my happy go-to stone. Your happy stone. Yeah. The holy stone. Yeah. Oh, well, the bringer of good food. fortune and luck. Oh. That's what they say about turquoise. Oh, and there, there was go. 35. <laughs> it's going to sell out. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. 
I, I can already predict that I'm going to need to lie down after this afternoon, <laughs> uh, after the show. Um, okay. Let's bring you some beautiful aquamarine in your faceted drops. Ah, oh, Screams Bridal. There are only 13 of these available. Completely and utterly natural. Uh, so no enhancement to this whatsoever. You have that really wonderful, delicate azure blue. Um, we're taking it to clearance, lowest ever price tags for you this morning. We've got a lot of sterling silver to bring you today as well. So this would be absolutely great alongside lots of the different components. Um, like Hannah's kits, the pearl earrings that we've got coming up within this hour, um, your deal of the day chains. Don't forget we're launching Chestnut Close with Mark Smith as well at 11 o'clock today. Mm -hmm. And they are beautiful, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. What's that? Well, I mean, what's that? What's that all about, Wayne? Well, I, I can well... It was, I mean, what Wayne has just basically said, he's given me the figures without <laughs> it sounding like another language. He's like basically said, we might as well just be... Uh, well, we're not... We're, we're, this isn't... We haven't made any money as a company <laughs> so far. Um, it's all about, you, you're just basically getting massive clearance deals, which is wonderful for you. Make the most of it. He's on one this morning. On one this morning. Right then, oh, this strand. Ooh, I'd use this with the drops. What do you Ooh, think, Ham? Pretty, yes. And then use the tassels as well. Yes. Add them to your, to your earrings or the end of a lariat or something. It's an extra component. What about with these pearls that are coming up? I love these. They're, they're really sizable twisted um, earrings as well, aren't they? Yeah, a lot of sterling silver. You could put a little bit of your aquamarine within there. Very pretty. Um, you can see the colour, intensity of colour here. Um, this is why I absolutely love uh, the source that we're looking at right now, Mozambique Gems. It's totally natural. That's totally natural. Not even a single fraction of heat treatment. You know, Mozambique rubies, Mozambique sapphires. And as you can see, aquamarine just excel in the um, richness, richness of saturation. £7.99. Uh, when you do realise you're the you're our sales manager, so if you now come on air and basically lose a load of money, because we are a business as well, we have to we have to make profit. Oh, birthday stocks landed, he says, so he needs the space. It's a good excuse, isn't it? <laughs> it is a good excuse. Uh, but if if anyone can do it, then Wayne can. Seven ninety nine only. Well done. Well done. More turquoise. Oh, I love this strand. Texture, beautiful Ooh, texture. Nice. Right, where? Up here, I think. We have the sterling silver chains gorgeous. coming up at ten o'clock today. Just simply restranding that hand. Yeah, you could, but I, I like putting um, sort of lime greens and oranges with turquoise, Ooh, or, yeah. or, or like a hot pink or something like that, and it could become sort of kind of club tropicana sort of situation. You know, it's all. You can Are the drinks going to be free? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can imagine yourself on holiday though with things yeah. like that on. Can't you? Oh, absolutely. This is your ma floaty maxi, floaty dresses, maxi dress. Floaty yeah. cocktail in hand, sea view. Yes, and just I chill. am yeah. there. Yeah. I am there. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh my goodness. Um, if I if I was in the, I agree. Ollie's just said if you want turquoise, today is the day. If I was in your position right now and I was sat at home, which was where I was meant to be, where I was meant to be, I would have I would have absolutely absolutely been shopping. Hello to you, sorry, saying morning, Jim. It's so lovely to have Wolfie back. It's made my morning. Yay! Ah, a lot of love for Wolf. Uh, hello, Miss Janet. Hi, lovely folk. Going to be a lovely morning, spending it, spending it with you glued to the TV. Great to have Mr. Wolf back too. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of love for our Wolfie. Oh, this is below cost right now. We can't even physically source it for what's on your screens. How about an absolutely mega strand, a long strand Ooh. of gorgeous tanzanite? It's all my birthstones. I love it. Yes, good point. Turquoise and tanzanite. Look at the quality of that blue. It's stunning. There's a lot of vanadium in this tanzanite. Mm -hmm. Vanadium is obviously what, what, what um, amplifies and creates that beautiful, distinctive blue that you get within this wonderful it's gemstone. Stunning, isn't it? I mean, 19.99, Wayne. It's a 38 <laughs> centimetre, sorry, 35 centimetre strand. Oh, my gosh. Why, why, why are we doing the rolling? What? What? <laughs> no. 
That with the pearls. You had some lovely pearls with Carol yesterday, didn't you? You've got some amazing pearls uh, coming up in this hour with the jadeite that's coming up. They're available on pre-order, by the way. That's a long strand. Do you remember the days, Hannah? We used to bring you tanzanite, smooth rondelles, very similar to this, and it would be a 20 centimetre strand. Yes. And it would be more yeah. expensive than what's on the screen. Way more expensive than that. Wayne's just said, um, okay. Okay, he just said, uh, uh, he's just placed an order on Tanzanite and uh, the price has gone through the roof. Yeah, because uh, effectively now, you know that it is uh, all basically uh, governed, policed, uh, with the government actually intervening on this. So it means that they've got the monopoly and they can choose what price per carat they want uh, from this gemstone. G very good in one way, um, but it's probably going to push the price of Tanzanite through the roof. I would think so, yeah. And we should expect that. We've been saying it for years, haven't we? We've been saying it, and, you know, we used to do Tanzanite days across the Gemporia partnership. We can't do that anymore. If you're lucky to get one in a show. Um, this is ridiculous. Imperial Topaz. As the name suggests, we're talking about the most sought after, the uh, rarest of all your topaz, and it has a very dis it should have a very distinctive, um, pe almost like a paparazzi sapphire like color. Look at the quality of this strand. I have to tell you, this is some of the best imperial topaz that I think we've ever brought to air. And, and Wayne is just literally reiterating that in my ear. Wayne, uh, imperial topaz that we've had here at Jewelry Maker in the past been lovely, but it hasn't had the intensity like this, has it? No. Um, those of you that actually have the Smithsonian Museum book, Gems and Crystals, have a little look. Just flick through the pages um, to uh, Topaz, and you will see an imperial Topaz on the cover. Literally, is uh, you know the front of that chapter. It's this colour saturation where you've almost got that paparazzi fusion. You know, like a lotus flower, you have those sort of yellows and pinks within. Highly pleochroic, very rare. Imperial Topaz. I, I, it's, when I used to present on our sister channel, this was a gemstone that was only ever in gold. <clears throat> I don't know if that's changed. That is the lowest ever price tag, and that's frankly wrong. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? <laughs> I spoke. I spoke to um, to Jake some months ago. Jake Thompson, your gem investor, and. and it's my daughter Tiggy's birthstone, and I said I want to buy Tiggy. Well, I, I want to buy a, an imperial topaz because I bought a ruby for yes, Willow. I want to yeah. buy an imperial topaz, and literally, you know, when builders do this noise. Oh, you know, that, that was his reaction. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear. So what's going on right now? You can get it home for nineteen ninety nine. Too many of you with it in your baskets. We've only got one left. Manchester, you've done it. I've got Heather, Mary, Helen, Shalini, and new customers. You are collectors and connoisseurs. You know exactly how exciting and unmissable this deal is. Hannah, in terms of the actual cut, again, you could just restrand that. Yeah, I mean, you could, yeah, but I, I'm, <coughs> I, I like sort of like these colours with, with the turquoises that we've had earlier. I think they look amazing, like really sort of fresh and cheerful colours. Um, it's, I think it'd be like quite nice if you have it with different metallics as well. Rose. Yeah, it would it would have quite a different <coughs> look if you put it with pearl and then rose gold. Oh wow! It would look completely different again. But it's just so. It, I mean, I, that colour. Meant it's, it's crazy. It's so hard to find that in anything, really, it, isn't it? Oh my goodness! I'm I'm, I'm oh. Stunning. Three pound ninety nine with this. How many? Four, three, two. Phone lines off the hook. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Shelburne, of course. Um, I don't. I haven't even got a chance to actually introduce I it. Read it in fast enough. No. Like, oh. Go, go, go. Check out. Check out. Check out. There is. Uh, do you want to know how many's left? Oh, I was going to say Uno, but there's not that now. <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay. We've got 52 of these. Do you know what? I'm going to say what you've just said. Do you? Okay, that's right then. <laughs> Wayne initially was like, oh, I'm not a fan of these big, you know, the big uh, sort the of chunky nuggets. But he went, oh, it's not this one. It's a different strand. They're cool. I know that you love these hands. I, I do. I've actually, I've got some, uh, I think it's fluorite I've got that's th that sort of size. And you just have a few with spaces between and have it as a short necklace because... There's, there's quite a lot of weight to those. Yeah. Um, and they look fantastic. And every time I wear it, people come up and say, 
what's that? What's that? You know, it's, it's such a statement. Because it is a statement. It's, it's a natural looking, like, sort of... Well, you can see it's Mother Nature, can't yes. you? Yes. You can see yeah. it's Mother Nature. You've got an absolutely beautiful, uh, warm orange colour within your uh, within your rough nugget. Um, they're quite smooth to the touch, though, so don't be fooled by... Oh, seven seven ninety nine. We've got 52 of these. I, I, I like the idea of these on a big magnet, magnetic clasp. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, on a big magnetic clasp, and I'm trying to think, maybe a pearl in between. Yeah, oh, again, because it's that sort of like the peachy sort of yeah, tone, tones. things like that. I think it looks nice with that. You can put it with pinks as well. Nice. If you're going for that kind of colourway. Or again, you could go for like your turquoise if you want to pop, or peridot if you want to pop. Oh, peridot. Or, yes. You can make like, um, you know, bag charms as well with the, with the tassel and you need like one big sort of statement bead at the yeah. top. You could just use one of them. And they graduated as well. So even if you just simply did restrand it. Ollie, what are you saying? Sorry, lovely. If you went to one of those gem shops, they would probably be about four yeah. or five pounds for one. You're not wrong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I went to um, uh, with, uh, the family. What's the, down in the Cotswolds, there's a... Um, a, a, a wildlife sanctuary where they've obviously rescued animals. You can, and they've got the vending machines. You know, you used to get like your those. They're like three quid each. Moving on to pyrite. <laughs> can I move that box? Pyrite in your gorgeous heart. I don't. <laughs> just literally <laughs> plonking. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, um, you're not meant to know about the boxes. We don't normally do the boxes. It's just there's so many pe so many items in this hour. Uh, yeah, my bad. Um, natural pyrite into a beautiful little heart. These are wish bracelets. They're cute, aren't they? they really are. nice. I saw that there was um I can't remember the name of the lady, unfortunately, sorry, but um she was saying that every time somebody yes, bought from her that. um she gave them a gift and it was a little wish bracelet, which I thought were, which was like really, really sweet. Nice you know, gesture. A lovely idea. You could you could set yourself up for like a, a whole day of selling at a craft fair with those, couldn't 100%, you? hundred percent, even if you sold them for a couple of pounds each. And it's just like appreciate you as my customer. Love it, you absolutely know. love it. The kids are breaking up for Easter soon, aren't they? They are, yeah. They, you could teach them how to make little little wish bracelets, something for their kit for the turn them into little entrepreneurs entrepreneurs almost um, but gifts I like the idea of gifts maybe for the teacher and their friends at school pyrite totally and utterly natural you have this beautiful metallic color um, and I'll, I'm gonna say it as it is I, I that's exactly what I was gonna say Wayne Wayne's not buying it anymore because I'll, you don't like it it doesn't it's not one of our biggest sellers I love pyrite look how beautiful this strand is um, sold out well done monochrome oh like it's, it is it's like a modern artist um cubes yeah cubes Ooh, I like those there's rutilations that obviously uh create this chaotic pattern within the gemstone um but you actually have these ones which are uh, completely black it's because it's you know heavily clustered with rutilations um and then you have some which are obviously completely eye clean um every single black root out will be completely unique and of course it's natural very complex to actually cut root out quartz because those Rutilations actually can, during the cutting process, create uh, a, almost a, a weakness in the gemstone during the cutting process. You're obviously not the case when you get this home. Six pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of these. Wayne is on one today. This is why you call him the Bashasaurus. <laughs> It's so fancy. Oh, I wish they could hear it because it's just constant. Go, 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 go. It's like he's turbo powered this morning. I, I know, I know. Wayne, I'm not sure I signed up to this. <laughs> the madness that's going on in my ear. It's like, boom, good morning. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Over allocated. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. He's not buying any more pyrite. Did he tell you that? <laughs> not buying any more pyrite. And every time I say that, though, Wayne, people are like, I love pie, right? I do, too. Totally agree with it. But, for, listen, it's not one of our greatest sellers, so fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Uh, three millimetre rounds. Oh, why am I feeling like a loom? Looming. Ooh, that could be nice. Pie, right, looming. Bit of, bit of sort of like lapis and sort of Ooh, like, yeah. a, like a red, white and a black and, and that. And you'd have like an Aztec kind of pattern nice. going on. That could be funky, couldn't that it? That could be really funky. Yeah. Or your ladder weaves. Yeah. Check absolutely. me out. Yeah. Little beady beads. Beady beads. 
spaces. Use them as spaces. 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 £3.99. Natural pyrite in your three mils. It is a gemstone that we tend to see in larger cuts, don't we? So, uh, or carvings. Don't often see them in these smaller sizes. I love this, and I love the heart one that we had a few moments ago. Over allocated. Well done. <gasps> oh, wow. The computer, you've crashed the computer. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Every, I'll probably crash as well. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm not surprised, Wayne. But I'll, do you know what? Rebooting with a cup I'm, of coffee. <laughs> I'm quite glad because it does give me time to actually... I will promo the Pussycats in a minute. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Go, go, go. <laughs> I want to show you this stand there because it's absolutely beautiful. It is stunning, isn't it? So, so I'm glad the computer has crashed, Wayne. Because look at this fluorite. It is, isn't it, Ollie? Look at that. This is, I don't think I've ever used this description, but this is almost diamond-like clarity. When have we ever described fluorite with diamond-like yeah, clarity? It's just, it's another oh. level, isn't it? Tell me there's quantity. No. Oh. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised yeah. either. <laughs> You've seen that and gone and said, wow. Snapped it all up. We've got 11 left in the vault. Oh, my. See that? There was a, the one that's like sort of two-tone. Hang on. Uh, yeah, we're all absolutely <laughs> smitten with this strand. Wayne says, I don't care. It's still going to, to a tenner. It's, I mean, no reflection of the true value or worth. The price that you're paying is some of the best fluorite I think I've ever seen. Would we all agree? From the cutting to the clarity yeah, to the I colour. Yes. Look at the bottom there. Yes. Oh, love it. See? Sold out. Couldn't sight. Column, couldn't sight. Oh, pussycats. What's new pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we've got your pussy, pussycat magnets. Oh, wrong way. You've been working here for over 10 years. <laughs> It's all a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was out last night, okay? Um, <laughs> your pussycat magnets, you can pre order yours. Can we, put, can we uh, pre order on the hedgehog magnets? Um, and I the like raccoon. The raccoon. I like the yeah. raccoon. I like the and, raccoon. He's really cute. And the reindeer. You can pre order those. They are going ridiculously low. The rabbit with his little heart. It's a, it's a cutesy rabbit. Isn't hedgehogs, it? Are, they're actually one of my favourite animals. I love yeah, hedgehogs. We've got hedgehogs back in the garden. I again. love them. Yay. I love them. I love them. I love them. Um, is there a beaver? Oh, yeah, look oh, at him. Yeah. Look at him. And they've, they're feet and tails, by the way, bend. That's they are going so low. Stuff, I, to a price point, I don't think actually we do. Well, in fact, I know we don't do very often here at Jewelry Maker. How about Kunzite? Kunzite, regarded as the most feminine gemstone that exists. It's a member of the spodumene family. Um, it's actually an evening stone as well, so it absorbs energy and light um, and will continue to glow, say, under a candlelit dinner or a moonlight walk. Um, we never see it anywhere near what's on your screens because it is a considered gemstone. It's launched by Tiffany's & Co., um, of course, and it has, you know, Kunzite, like many other gemstones, just have this certain price point that it absolutely should stay at, Twelve ninety nine, not being it's one. It's not it, no. yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember, Hannah, you, well, you, you and I, when we were both in the, in the office, Kunzite was a 60, 70, 80 pound strand. Abs absolutely, and I, I think, and rightly so as well. It's so beautiful, and, and it's, it's such an unusual colour, isn't it? It's almost yeah. like this sort of silk trapped within it within the gemstone it just it's magnolia like, colour isn't it gorgeous yeah you know it, we're, at, we're at the time of year where you have those beautiful magnolia flowers out at the moment last for long, do they? no they They're don't so stunning uh, so pretty yeah i like dropping little uh, little little slice of information like that when i'm with mark because he goes oh you know about magnolias I know a little bit <laughs> i mean i've known charlie dimmock but i know a little bit um <laughs> how about some carved red jasper Oh, I haven't seen this strand in an absolute age. Do you know, we used to have these in all the different gems. We did, yes. Because I mean, you've got that girdle, haven't you, around the, uh, the circumference of the gemstone. Yep, and that, and that means you can sort of wrap things around it, whether it's um, other gemstones or seed beads or wire. Wire, yeah. You can like, incorporate them sort of either as a bead or as a cabochon because yeah. of that. Yeah, I mean, how many times have we seen this as a design? Not for a long time, man. 
Just one. There's a beautiful it's ring. It's a Tudor rose, isn't it? Oh, it is. An English rose. English rose. An English rose because uh, it's red jasper, basically. £8.99. Oh, no, no, no. Going even lower. Um, I haven't seen a strand like this in ages. We need to buy some of these, Wayne. You can't buy them. These are really popular with our jewelry maker customers. <laughs> you can't get them anyway. And they never were seven ninety nine. Beautiful, warm, natural red tones. Six pounds and ninety nine pence only. I'm not a wire worker, um, but even I could do like sort of wrap wire around these and turn it into a little shank. A little, and a little ring or something. A little ring. And mm. um, they are drilled as well, Han. So they'll go on sort of your beading threads and your yep, pins. Yep. That's below cost. We can't physically buy them for what's on your screen. Uh, Lincolnshire, hello to you, Dawn. Hampshire, Catherine, Emma. New customer, new customer. Hello to you, Donna. Hello to you, Anne. Christine, Shirley. Hello, Gemma. Tessa, Lynn. West Midlands. Uh, hello, uh, Di over in Florida. Nice to be with you, Donna. I've only got four of these left. Oh, okay. No, I haven't even got that now. Two early birds coming up today. Are we doing it now? The pearl earrings. Oh my goodness. Have you got any hypers, men? If you don't, don't worry, we bring it to you on a regular basis. It's basically the perfect glue to put together and make professional jewellery. Two wonderful components, genuine cultured pearls, 925 sterling silver, and literally about five minutes of your time. Coming up next in an early bird, you won't want to miss these. <laughs> What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can also do, can I do that with a hedgehog as well? What's new, hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness me, these are beautiful. So it comes, you've got all the ingredients, if you like, to make your, your, your luxury jewellery. There's your butterfly backs. Here are your gorgeous hoop earrings. Which, Kinga, can I trouble you for some tweezers? There's your gorgeous hoop earrings, which are substantial, as you pointed out, Han. They are substantial. They are. I was just looking to see if I got some tweezers then, but two um, grams. Yeah, I think that's it's a nice, sizable um, kind of like chunk of silver there, isn't it? Yeah. There? So you, yeah, again, it's the it's the whole um, you know jewelry with a bit of weight to it. It gives you the sort of the 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 feel that it's luxury, that it's worth more money. Yeah. You know, there's something about yeah. They're not going to. You know, even when you buy sort of. I'm going to say the word. When you buy cheap earrings, when you buy cheap earrings and you put them through and they buckle, it's because there's not enough gram weight to support yeah, yeah. that pressure, if you like. There's how many, how many grams? Two grams um, of sterling silver. Well, the average sterling silver ring in the UK weighs approximately one and a half grams. So to get that in earrings is a lot. That's, yeah. You will obviously Good get size. two head pins. I've only got one here, but you will definitely get two. Um, and I'm still not done because perfectly shape matched cultured pearls that you are drilled obviously so pop your head pin what is it hannah loop literally attach it to yeah the loop. yeah absolutely so so is there a loop on the bottom yeah on the bottom of the um actual curve there you've got a little loop so you use your head pin to make a wrapped loop with yeah. your pearl on it and then before you close the loop up you you thread it through that hoop and it just dangles from the bottom i love that idea yeah. look at Look, I, I'm going to say what Ollie has just said in my ear. Those pearls, look how flawless the nacre is. They are stunning. I mean, that nacre is like a, a, our skin, if you like. It's an organic gemstone, so we expect there to be blemishes, characteristics to showcase um, within, within the pearl itself. Now, but when they are perfectly smooth, obviously you get an amazing amount of luster, orient luster. Um, they are, they skyrocket in price tag. On the high street, I agree, probably 60, 70 pounds, if not more. Do you want to know what your price is today? Got a big quantity, as you can see on your screens. What is it? Under 20 pounds. Hannah, if I pass wow. you these, would you mind just... Yeah, put them together. I mean, I know... Yeah, you could put them together, because you don't even need glue. I was saying about glue, but you don't need it. Not if I'm doing a loop. No. I'm just going, is that all right? <laughs> Whilst everybody's dialing through, if you already know how, 
whilst you're doing that, whilst you're doing that, Wayne says, I tell you what, I'll give you, give you a minute. Okay. Is that Hannah's got a minute? Like Saturday Kitchen? Oh, we're going again on the price. Start dialing through then. You don't need the glue that I was just discussing. You could glue it if you wanted to, but actually just a little basic glue. I might glue. actually just do an ordinary loop actually, rather than that. I was thinking that, I don't think you need to wrap loop it. I'm just gonna do a loop. Just literally hook it, to create the 360 circle and loop it on. That simple. That I've put Hannah under pressure now, haven't I, first thing in the morning. Yeah. Uh, while Hannah's doing that, you've got 30 seconds to actually start dialing through. We are going even lower. This is professional jewellery. You know, uh, you know, those, 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 you know, Beaver Brooks, your Ernest Jones, your Astley Clarks, all of those, they won't do any different techniques in terms of these components to what you're going to do when you get them home. Um, already look at that, 25% of the stock has gone, and we're going lower than £19.99. Super, it, super, slightly, super simple. I could have made it slightly better sort of shape just because I'd started off going for the wrap loop, but... That's all right. It's attached at we least. We get the general gist. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there you go. We don't want pigs ear that. <laughs> See? Perfect. Absolutely beautiful, <laughs> aren't they? £14.99. pence. You know... Those of you that do your bridal makes, those of you that make bridesmaids, of course, if you do your fairs, just because presents, this is the kind of jewellery. In fact, last night, when I went out last night, I was wearing a pair of jewellery maker pearl earrings, which are very similar to this. Yeah. Um, mine were gold-plated 925 sterling silver, just with a little drop. Um, a lot, they're so wearable. We shouldn't be going any lower than this, I'm hearing Wayne saying in my ear. But we are today because we've got a massive, massive Saturday morning show for you all. Um, approaching 50% of the stock being allocated. Well done to you all. Pardon? Is that what you're going to do? Ah, oh, I'm going to get some of these. <laughs> because I'm a basic jewellery maker. This is the thing. I'm not, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. I haven't got the time to sort yeah, of dedicate that's, that's uh, fine, you know, to it? fabulous wire work or seed beading or anything like that. But simple loops like this. I've made professional jewellery because I've bought the right components. Everybody multi-buying, says Ollie. Don't blame you. £11.99 pence only. Um, listen, this is the, probably one of the quickest pieces of jewellery that you will make, whether that's to gift or to retail. You know, you wouldn't sell them at this kind of price tag. Well, I'd hope you wouldn't anyway. You should be charging, what do you think? Even if it was like 30, 40 pounds, I think they're going to fly off yeah, the shelf that I, way. I'd, I'd definitely say about 30 pounds for a pair of earrings. And, and then it's, yeah. uh, if you think about going into the high street, you, you can spend at least that on, you know, synthetics and things that, that, Faux pearls. that aren't precious. Sure. And, it's like, and people do because like, they're drawn to it because of fashion, because it, they just like them. But if this is the real deal on top of that, it's a win-win, isn't it? They're really pretty. Look at that. They're, they're beautiful. Yeah. So here you are, Annie. They're all in your baskets, but you need to check them out. 925 sterling silver. Really delicate because they're... In fact, shall I just put them in for you? Yeah. Here you go. Because um, the actual loop itself is going to sort of hug around the earlobe. Um, oh, my goodness me. Wayne... He says, you're a bit slow off the mark this morning. Not Wayne is. He goes, I've got a lot to bring you all today, so we need to move faster than this. You're not crashing. He's like, I need to see more of you with it in your baskets. You're not going again. Is there not enough people there? Not enough people at the moment. I can see people with threes and fours, though, Wayne, in their basket. Know. Surely, Maker yeah. wants four. Staffordshire wants three. Chris, uh, County Atrium wants three. Another 37. Oh, God, he's hard. He's hard. He's, he wants to sell them all out this morning. He's driving a hard barge. A uh, barge. Barge in? <laughs> Is that an onion barge in? <laughs> <laughs> He is on one today, is our really? Wayne. And he's not happy, he's not happy, so there's not enough people there. He shouldn't be going a single penny lower, and I get it. Can we even buy them for what's on your screens? Buy the hoops, get the pearls free. 
Uh, and we all know the rarity of pearls at the moment. Madness is Tipperary. Absolutely. It's really difficult to actually get, especially when they've got such a smooth surface to them. The nacre, which is like our skin, as I said, you know, that they're relatively blemish free. I always hear on the side of caution saying that they are flawless. Look who it is. This Woo! is good enough, Wayne. Can we please get another 30 second clock? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Guess who's back? Back I again. <laughs> Wolfie's back. Tell your friends. <laughs> I know that's awkward. Am isn't I it? awake? Is this happening? I don't this really real know. Today? I don't. I don't really know what's going on. Yeah. Like I said, it's that we are. We are literally a cocktail of jewellery making at the moment. Um, Eighty-three. Is there enough people, Wayne? Hundred in baskets, but they're no good there. He says. He's going to do it anyway. Driving a hard bargain. We've still got the putty cats to bring you. Not just the putty cats, you've also got your beavers, you've got your raccoons, your... <laughs> <laughs> your hedgy hogs. Reindeers. Hedgy hogs, they're all there. Foxy. Foxes. Bunny rabbits. Bunny rabbits. We've got all these coming up as well in, in this hour. An hour? And there's 3,000 of them. They are amazing, those. You're going to be buying loads of those. They're so cool. So, so cool. Um, $9.99 only. Driving a hard bargain. That's what I meant to say um, a few moments ago. We had 200. They are flying out the door. Well done to you, Virginia. That's a very good point as well that you say they're tri Tipperary. Um, you're buying your sterling silver and then you're getting the pills for free or vice versa. Or vice versa. Hampshire, Denise, Jessica, hello to you, Mavis. There's over two grams of precious metal in these. And they are the kind of earrings that you could literally wear on a, you know, on a regular basis, you know, whether you're going to the office or um, whether you're out for, uh, out for a fancy meal or it's one of those pair of earrings that are just always appropriate. They are. I love, I love the shape said. of the pearls as well. You know, because drops. Like, like little drops sort of shape, little sort of, not, is it, would you call it a rice pearl shape? Or I mean, not, not quite. It's no, not really. It's slightly more rounded. It is it? more La Peregrina shape, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Which I like that. Which you pay a premium for you drop do. pearls. Yeah. They are beautiful, aren't they? I think they're stunning. And not too big. They're not too big in their size. So, you know, they, they're comfortable to wear. I literally was wearing a pair of earrings almost identical to these last night. Literally last night. Uh, Oxfordshire, Jean, Nola, hello to you, Alison, Lorna, you've got three, Hertfordshire, you've got two, Carol, uh, hello to you, Marion, hello to you, Trevor, hello to you, Rachel, just because presents, I think, that's what I would be doing at that kind of price point, I don't think you could even source the silver, two grams of sterling silver for, uh, but you do get the, uh, you do get the pills, obviously, as well, and just simple construction. They, they are, I mean, they, they, it would take you sort of, well, less than five minutes to, to, to make your complete pair of earrings and then if that's a present for somebody I mean, yeah gosh. super speedy super super genuine beautiful cultured pearls genuine precious you know you well, made a really good point can you buy faux pills at that price no no i don't think so i don't think so if you go to somewhere like uh, like top shop or zara or any of those i don't think you can okay speaking of gorgeous makes it's the wall of fame <laughs> Starting us off this morning is number 188, Alison. Good morning, Alison. I hope you're well. Oh, some beautiful wire work here. And Alison says, hi all at JM. I had my mind, uh, mind and adjust I had my mind in adjustable rings for these carved orange quartz beads and copper wire. Uh, but as I finished it, it was I was really cross with myself because I'd made it far too big. So I squashed it flat and put it uh, to one side. When I went back to it to take the beads, a light bulb moment happened and I saw it as a, as a brooch for the first time. A bit of tweaking here and there, a brooch back stitched on with 0.4 millimeter copper wire and this was the, was the result. I'm really pleased with it um, and looks right grand on my green coat. All components are from JM. Alison, it's beautiful. Number 189 is from Lynn. Oh, loving that, Lynn. Gorgeous. And the photography as well. Uh, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a simple Buddha stretchy bracelet. Would love the flat square hematites to come back into stock. Wink, wink, Wayne. Um, to all, ha I hope everybody has a lovely weekend and a wonderful week. That's from Lynn Wilkins. Beautiful, Lynn. 
Number 190 is from Ivan Wowzers. I spot a bit of kiss cross there. Here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Coated tiger's eye, red jasper kiss cross station necklace on memory wire, made from one of Mark's kits. This was my first attempt at the kiss cross technique. Uh, a sea bead scare me a bit, uh, but I'm very happy with the results. Hope you like it. Special thanks to guest designer Mark for inspiration and wonderful teaching skills. Good luck to all who enter. Lots of love from Yvonne. Number 191 is from Lorraine. Beautiful. Look at those colours. It literally looks like you've t photographed that on sand as well. Is it just me that's seeing that? It, I can, it, I can see what you see. Like, I think it's one of these boards, but, but I see what you mean. It looks like it's on the beach. Yeah. Hi, jewellery makers. My entry is a chunky blue and white Howlite necklace and earring set with, with silver-plated findings. All items are from jewellery maker. Uh, maxi dress ready set. Uh, have a good beading day, everybody, and that's Lorraine. Number 192 is from Norma. Beautiful Norma. Uh, can I please enter my earring tree to the Wall of Fame? Uh, this week, I needed a storage solution for all my handmade earrings. Uh, also made with products from jewellery maker. I hope you like it, and a big thanks to all. That's from Nora. Norma. I've got um, 193, which is from Fran Porter, and it says, With luck, everyone got to see some brightness this week. The attached are a bangle and a ring using silver-plated copper and antique bronze copper wire <coughs> with a blue lunar cab and a bronze lunar cab. Hope you like them. From Fran. They're beautiful, actually. Oh, yeah, amazing. Oh, I like, I like that. It's very arty, that picture. I like mm. that. Uh, and then 194 is from Sarah Parker. It says, Hi all, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. I used fast... Uh, fasted Canadian soda light beads and tubes from JM and some hematite stars from my stash. A rosary link to make a necklace. Loving the shows. Keep up the great work. Thanks from Sarah Parker. And then 195 is Anne Clark. Here's my entry, which is a long line necklace made from labradorite and uh, red Eslon knotted together. All the components are from JM. Good luck to all and keep staying safe and well from Anne. And then... <laughs> And then 196 from Susan Wright. Hello, shiny people at Castle Blink. I love that. <laughs> uh, hope wonderful Mark sees this waffering because he taught me how to make it. Uh, paracord and pyrite bracelet. Everything from JM, including the inspiration. Buckets of love from Susie and Scarborough. Love that. I love, I love that. Susie's Sh messages. Shiny people at Castle Blinks. Brilliant. Yeah. And then 197 is from Julia. It says, hi all. I had these aquamarine stones for months and couldn't make up my mind what to do with them. So I made this bracelet today with <coughs> one of my handmade sterling silver clasps from my one millimeter sterling silver wire from JM. Uh, I, I made it to sell but want to keep it now. The stones are just so gorgeous. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to my fellow Waffers from Julia in Hertfordshire. Amazing, beautiful, beautiful. amazing. Um, stunning entries. Good luck, everybody, in the draw that happens on Wednesday. We'll keep everything crossed for you. And you can still, you've still got time to enter as well. Uh, just send photographs of your creations using Jewelry Maker products uh, to the studio. We still have the putty cats. Meow. <laughs> but we're going to do some more amazing earrings first. I launched these earrings. And I was quite literally a smitten kitten immediately. These are so beautiful. They scream Lorraine Schwartz, who's like the Hollywood, mm. A-lister, uh, a go-to jeweler, but at a fraction of the cost. Check these out. They are a star by separate opportunities, separate auctions, but coming your way next. Now, just so you know, these flew out. We only have a handful of these left. Um, I'm going to start with the gold. There are literally only a few, only a few left. And then we have the silver in a different design. So they, firstly, they are cultured pearls that you're looking at right there. It's the most beautiful design where you have a stud earring that obviously sits at the front of the ear lobe. And then if I just pivot, you'll see the chain loops round to the back on that butterfly. They're really nice, aren't they? Really cool. They're just gorgeous. I mean, you could suspend something from those loops if you wanted to. Um, you could remove it from the butterfly back to create maybe your opera skim, uh, uh, yes. shoulder, shoulder skimming. Yeah. 
That would be perfect. But we also discussed, I think it was Claire McDonald and I who launched these. You know, you've got that, those open links. So for those of you that are thinking, um, okay, yeah, but how am I going to actually make that unique and individual as jewellery makers? Well, what about bubble styles? How about some lovely little seed pills that then you attach to these? Sorry, they're all squiffy. Um, you attach these to create bubble style earrings. $12.99, that's literally the quantity that we have left. Um, and they are getting snapped up. They're so beautiful. I went crazy over these. We launched them, what, in the week? It was literally at the beginning of the week, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I, I remember because it was a deal of the day and, and Colin stepped into the, into the gallery during the deal of the day. No pressure at all. Um, but admiring the earrings that you're getting. We've got five, four of these opportunities left. Um, and that is it. That is it. So, so genius in terms of the design. It's a finished piece of jewellery, but also something that you could adapt. Yes, yeah, definitely. You could build on that. If you want, if you had like your, for example, we were talking birthstones earlier, you might have like oh, a stand nice. at home and some, and some head pins, and then you could add little uh, sort of like tassel drops, like you say, the, the um, Lovely. bubble style drops. You could, you could stitch through it with little seed beads. Yeah. You could just add other chains to it if you wanted to make more of the drop. Beautiful. You really can. I love them. Yeah, very Or versatile. just literally buy them and wear them exactly as they yeah. are. Yeah, well, I mean, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. And that's that Starburst. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You, yeah it's a, and, and a cultured pearl, not a faux pearl. That is a genuine cultured pearl with the most beautiful, again, smooth nacre surface. We are over allocated, says Wayne, so you need to check out your baskets. And there's a queue on the phone lines. Um, good luck. Well done to those of you that managed to get hold of those. Now, if you love them, but you're a silver wearer, as I know so many of you are. We have the silver. Again, these flew, absolutely flew out the door when we launched at the beginning of the week. You know, we had the other day jadeite donuts. Can you imagine looping a jadeite donut from here? Just in the bottom there, yeah, that'd be amazing. Gosh. Or maybe one of uh, Jake's amazing papaya pearls. That's real so high-end bling we're talking know, about now. There's so yeah. many options with this. There really are. I mean, I, I just think they're lovely anyway. But, I mean, I like the idea of detaching the, the chain from the back and having it the long length. And yeah. And have, like, maybe another pearl at the bottom. Nice. Like, just a... Which would be easy to do, wouldn't it? We're at £12.99. Yeah. If I turn it around, you can see it's literally just linked onto the butterfly. Um, but, yeah, just literally snip that final link and you'll lose that one piece of sterling silver drop it down as Hannah is saying, um, put a wrap loop, a, a yeah, lovely little head culture pearl on the bottom. Nine ninety nine. That's That's just crazy, isn't it? I mean, look, here you are, Ollie's, here you are, let me show you Ollie. So it's like this. So can you see, attached to the actual butterfly itself, so it kind of wraps around the ear, but you could imagine Without the butterfly at the bottom, obviously you put that at the top. But imagine those as a pair of drop earrings. How elegant are they? I think they're lovely. So beautiful. Again, genuine cultured pearls. Um, we've got quantity of these, but again, they're very, very, very popular. Under ten pounds. That's an amazing deal. And again, you get yeah, studs for nine two, nine, ninety nine, uh, nine ninety nine. Sorry. <laughs> um, that would be incredible, but they are so much more than that. As I said, they're very, very Lorraine Schwartz. Um, if you've not heard that name, she, you know, she's often got Heidi Klum often wears her jewellery. Uh, the Kardashians quite often wear her jewellery, and Beyonce, of course. But yeah, she only works with the finest, finest quality of materials. Can you thread some wire through that and have it kind of give it structure around the ears as well? Oh, so it goes up. Yeah. Wolfie, everybody. Great idea. Great idea. Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. Okay. I think you're going to go nuts for these. If you weren't able to tune in during the week, you might well have missed this opportunity had we not have included in today's show. These are stunning. They are so, so striking, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Cubic zirconia. You have that wonderful bar of, of brilliance that sits against the ear. Again, you've got the ball chain, which I love. You pay a premium for ball chain. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Um, it's that much more. It's that much more advanced in terms of actual uh, creating it. Again, wraps around the ear, so the chain goes to the back of the ear. And then these beautiful, uh, beautiful little details are, are suspended. They're not fixed, so you can remove them. 
So it was babies. Mark that, I was thinking, I can't, I can't remember who it was that launched these with me. Maybe it was Mark, because they were saying, just take those off and maybe turn, you know, the large focal piece at the bottom into a ring or a pair of earrings. Yeah. I mean, you could see those as studs themselves, <clears throat> couldn't you? Yeah. Fantastic. These are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You know, a special occasion when you're going maybe to posh frock, that kind of... That kind of uh, out, out. Out, out. Proper yes. out. Out, yeah. out. £12.99. pence. I'm just going to take one of these off so you can actually see them with and without, because they're interchangeable, effectively. Now, just so you know, they would have to drop that way. There we go. So going through the actual post as opposed to over the butterfly back. And then let me just show you these without the uh, actual additional embellishments. They're interchangeable. Again, uh, you could be looking at this as two connectors and a pair of earrings. As I know so many of our jewelry maker customers would do. You can wear them like this. Aren't they pretty? £12.99 pence only. But you do also get that lovely cubic zirconia flower at the bottom. Um, pardon? Where? I don't see any pearls. Champagne. Okay, yes, fine. If you tell me the number. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. <coughs> These are Charlie Barron, right? Charlie Barron pearls. There are three of these available. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> wow. Oh. I have to show this asymmetrically because I think the clasp is as beautiful as yeah, the pearls. Yeah, stunning. They are graduated. Uh, you see in the graphics, it goes from 10 millimetres up to 12 millimetres. So, technically, it is meant to be worn like this. Look at that. Completely and utterly natural. To, just, so if, 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 just in case you're not knowledgeable about South, what South Sea pills are and the high esteem that these are regarded with, they go alongside the best pills in the world. Your Akoyas, your Tahitian, your South Sea, your Edison pills, they're regarded as the best, basically. Completely and utterly natural. Um, these are salt water pearls, and the South Sea pearl itself has to mature for, for, for many years. Um, as you can imagine, the mollusk is huge, and they house one single pearl per mollusk, hence another reason why they command such a high price tag. They are celebrated for some of the best luster in the world, £699 only. It's a complete finished piece of jewellery. It's heirloom. It's an heirloom legacy piece. I've bought one, uh, one Charlie Barron necklace. Um, I think it was one of the first shows that I actually did with him. And it's the kind of piece that I know is going to, I'm going to hand on to my daughters. Yes, yeah. You and know? I, I think that's, that's the beauty of it, because you know it's a, a quality thing that you, you can hand down through generations and generations. Absolutely. So it's just amazing. And you're right about that clasp as well. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it? I think the, de the details in, in pieces like this in particular really, really set them apart from other people. It's, it's so unusual. It's beautiful. Oh. And, it, and it absolutely like, enhances, because like, it's sort of the organic kind of shape of the pearl yeah, as well, your baroque, isn't it? Yeah, your lovely brock. It's sort of mirrored, isn't it? With it with is. The, with the I mean, when we say that South Sea pearls are famed and celebrated for their luster, you can see it, can't you? Clear as day. They're mirror-like in terms of that light return. There is only one of these left and seven of you with it in your baskets. Good luck. Get these home. They're absolutely exquisite and definitely something I would recommend you think about getting valued and certainly appraised. That is no reflection of the true valuation here, 499. It would be significantly more. Those of you that know me that know that I started my, uh, my jewellery journey in a jeweller's, and one of part of my role was actually to look after the pills. There was a pill, it's a cabinet, if you like. Um, I would have been absolutely, uh, well, told off, let's just put it that way, um, if I handled any pearls without white gloves, because they were all five-figure pieces. Yeah. What kind of pearls were they? South Sea. They were all South Sea pearls. Lowest ever price tag. There's a lot of you with it in your baskets. Oh, my goodness me. I mean, Wayne, this would have been five figures in the jewellers that I... Granted, it would have had an 18-carat or platinum clasp. Granted, it would have done in the jewellers that I worked at. But we sold those Baroque shapes. We, sh we sold South Sea pearls embedded with diamonds that were literally tens of thousands of pounds. Tens it's of thousands just, of pounds. Yeah. There is, there's literally one left. Good luck. 
I've got Carol, Sheila, Caroline, Rachel, and new customers. Are you ready for this? A little bit behind time, but we're gonna, it doesn't matter. We're gonna roll with it. What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'll just go do something in a minute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are we going to start with the cats? Yes! 30 seconds until we introduce your graphics. You have a choice of cat. You will not believe the price. So, um, I've got two cats. I've got Pearl, who's pure white, and I've got Dave, who's a tabby. So, Dave, yeah, Dave, Dave. named by my five-year-old. Um, I've got, yeah, exactly, we've got Pearl. Pearl, when Willow suggested it, she was like, ah, oh, that one's Pearl. Lovely, that's lovely. What's his name? Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> What's yours got, Ollie? Echo and Bert. I like that, particularly Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Uh, I mean, I know so many of our viewers are cat lovers. Um, this is going to be perfect. They are a really strong magnet, I need to point out. Really strong. And their little putty cat tails. There we go. Ooh, move over. Little putty cat tails are bendy. So you can use these for displaying your jewellery. You could hang your chains from them. Uh, your keys, of course. Uh, yeah, we're not messing around today. They are going so low. We're already lower than the price of the exact same magnets. Now, th those magnets aren't any different to what you're getting here. They are the exact same, the packaging and everything, and everything. What's already sold out? Oh, be quick. The product has already sold out twice this year. At £6.99. No way near ours. Those of you that have bought twos, threes, fours, fives, Honestly, I think a choice of putty cat, so you could go for the yellow, the grey, the black and white, the flower. Which one's flower? Is it that one a flower? Yeah. Um, and then the black and grey. We're crashing. We're going even lower than this. Choose your putty cat. Huge quantity. Black and white. There's only 19 of the black and white cat left. Only, uh, so I suppose if you have a tabby, I'd go for, that doesn't really matter, does it? I'd, I'd mix them up. Yeah, I like that one. He is, I think that's flower. I think that flower. one's the flower, yes. Certainly a Sharpe with those kind of markings that we call a flower. Oh, Not three ninety nine. Okay, we're already massively, massively, massively beating the exact same magnets that we found elsewhere at six ninety nine. Two pound ninety nine. Or six ninety nine from somewhere else where they sold out already twice in that year. So be quick before it's too late, they say. Before um, it's too late. So the strong magnet, obviously they will go on to eh. six left of the black and white ones. Look, or maybe it sold out. It sold out, the black and white. That one sold out. And the black sold out. Okay, you need to be quick. We've got about 200 of each of the others. But, uh, you know, I just like... The kids are going to love these, Absolutely. aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. I mean... It's, it's no matter kids, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could have an array of them, couldn't you? And then everyone could have their own cat for their own house keys or something. I love it. Out, you know. I love it. Absolutely love that idea. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have sold... And guess what? We're still not at our price tag. We're going even lower than this. That's why we've been saying, you're not going to be buying just two. You're not going to be buying just three. I think I can actually envisage quantities like 10s, 15s and 20s even. They are going that low. Uh, Manchester's just bought six. Wrexham that's bought five. Highlands bought five. Yeah, you, how many of us love cats? My next door neighbour. Oh, and they love magnets. My next door neighbour, we went round to who are, who are where our kittens are from. Yeah. Um, 
we went around the other day actually because we looked after Onyx uh, whilst they were over in uh, in Mauritius. And Willow was like, I want to go and see Onyx. You know, he's my little snuggle bug because he was really snuggly. Yeah. So we went over there and Willow broke one of their magnets from their off the off. The, I know, I know, from their travels. So you feel awful about it. But we could replace it. You could. You could. And that's where our cats actually oh. come from. Oh. They are exactly the same, exactly the same packaging. Not six ninety nine, not eight nineteen, not two ninety nine. This is bonkers. I agree. Oh Little gosh. adjustable putty cat tails. Is it coming again? <gasps> <laughs> One pound oh, fifty. Wow. Um, I know it's not jewellery making, but you can use it to display your jewellery, couldn't you? You know. You could you, you could hang your chains on them so they don't you knot. Could. Oh, I, do, I love it. I just love the idea of everyone in the household having their own different animal and their own, own different cat or whatever, and then hang your keys on it or hang your jewellery on it. Or They're so cute. Little leads can hang off it. Ooh, in fact, just waving as well. You just notice they're all, they're, they're they're all, all, they're all, they're all, all like, given a little paw. Yeah, they're going, hi. So cute. Hi. So you can <laughs> get these for £6.99. Or you could buy four of these and still have change. I know which I prefer. I know which one I prefer. He's like a he's a bit like a tiger, that one. He is, yeah. So if you've got Bengals, like our yeah. lovely uh, like our lovely Ruth, she's got yeah. a Bengal cat, hasn't she? So that would be perfect for Ruthie. Oh, these are beautiful and you're loving them. Ah, there we go. There's the quantities that I was expecting. Eight, ten, seven, fifteen. Black and white has sold out now, but you can still get the yellow, the grey, the flower, and the black and grey. Um, and is is the white there? Can you get the white? <clears throat> yeah, you can. You can still get the white as well. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> if you don't like them, you don't have to buy them, dear. I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they're, they're sweet, they're endearing. You can literally hang your chains, your bracelets, your stretchies. If you do your craft events, you can... Yeah, you could maybe get something similar to what we've got here, Ooh, which is literally a piece of metal. Um, you could prop up and hang maybe some of your stretchies or your macrames. They're just a bit of fun. They're really cute, aren't they? I, li I like them as, I mean, we've got Easter coming towards us as well. It might be a nice alternative to chocolate as a, as a little present, you yes, know? Yes, I like that idea. I actually think um, Willow would never speak to me if I don't get her some of these. Well, you know, yeah. If, if she's watching right now, which she sometimes does, and she'd be like, oh, I want some of those. <laughs> because, and, and she would hang all kinds of knickknacks, key rings. Yeah, what well, I mean, absolutely. Hair, hair accessories seems yeah. like that for little girls. Oh, lovely idea. Yeah, yeah bows. If you're uh, in the bathroom and you, know, you want to wash your hands and you wear your ring, Wedding oh. ring. Good idea, Michael, because your rings would have, they would actually fit on the cattail, wouldn't they? Yeah, like my husband takes his wedding ring off every time he does his hair because he uses like this waxy stuff um, and leaves it on the side. Um, yeah, that would be perfect. There are big cues on these. There are a lot of putty cat lovers out there. The phone lines have gone absolutely nuts. So if you are calling on, on, on the telephone, um, stay where you are. Stay where you are. I promise you our call centre will get you as soon as they possibly can. Don't worry, there are literally... So we'll recap them. You have still got huge quantities available. These we did buy, knowing how much uh, of animal lovers we all are. Here at JM, we bought big quantities. Shall we now do the woodland animals? Yeah. Oh, I love the woodland animals. Is there anything cuter than a hedgehog? They are. Oh, they're just lovely, aren't they? Any I mean, animal. I love a hedgehog. Any animal that curl, curls up in a ball and thinks he's safe. No. Gets it just like pulls on my heartstrings. So again, the choice of animals. You've got your rabbit, uh, the hedgehog, the raccoon, the squirrel, the bear. Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Next to the raccoon. Oh yeah, there he is. He's cute too, isn't he? Uh, your owl, uh, the deer, and the fox. Again, we've got massive, massive quantities of these. Super sweet. I mean, literally on, on your radiators at home, you know, this would be the kind of thing that 
Tiggy's room is only small and she's already accumulating clutter and toys and things like that. Massive cues. Um, it's the kind of thing you could stick these to the radiator and she can hang all her bits and bobs. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they've got a good strong magnet, haven't they? I was just thinking if you... Yeah, if you felt... Look, kids have got like a little book bag or something for school or... That's a good idea. So, you know, just... just little something or if you're going shopping and you always forget the bag you can have one by the front door couldn't that's you? a really <laughs> good idea i am that person that always forgets their bag for life look at these yeah look it's a really yeah, it's good isn't it it's a really strong again with bendy legs bendy legs so you can actually adjust them that i mean we've had some genius suggestions here for the jewelry for your wedding rings absolutely for your keys for the bags um as you're sort of leaving the house um, literally just for knickknacks for displaying your jewellery, £1.50, so just because gifts. If you know someone that's got a, a particular fondness for one of these woodland animals, yes, yeah. you get £1.50, you're just going to, aren't you? Oh, they're, so, they're just so cute. I think they're lovely. They are really adorable. Nice. I'm definitely getting some of these. I love <laughs> that hedgehog really is really sweet. Yeah, I think I think I I I definitely have the deer and the raccoon and the hedgehog. Look at the fox's arms. Oh, a little foxy on the end. Look at his arms. Oh, look. Yeah, stood really straight. Yeah. They're bolt upright. There's a little foxy. <laughs> Which is your favourite, Michael? I like the raccoon. You like the raccoon? Yeah. yeah. They are funny, aren't they? They're probably mischievous raccoons. Um, yeah, really funny. I don't know, it's hard to choose. I think they're all super sweet. The bear's quite cute as well, isn't yeah. he? £1.50 flying out the door. And I, I, it's difficult to say. Mm, they're all popular. Probably the hedgehog is the one which is closest to selling out, but that's still by a country mark because we bought, as I said, thousands of these. Cornelia, hello to you, Claire, Florence. Uh, sixes, fours, six, seven, five, I can see. Chantal's bought five. Uh, Pat in Essex, Teresa, uh, Avon's bought five, Essex has bought... Oh, I, I can't keep up with you, I really <laughs> can't. So quickly, they are absolutely like flying. <laughs> the cats are still available as well if you would prefer the putty cats. Um, but you can also get hold of your lovely little uh, little woodland animals too. Oh, who's seen, that, who's seen that film, that animation? What's it called? Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge. I knew you were going to say that. With the, with I the, love the that. The slow-mo bit with the squirrel. Yeah, because <laughs> he's going so fast. Yeah. Everybody else appears to have stopped. Yeah, love I it. love it. I love it, and <laughs> I like the possum. He <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> just passes out all the time. Pretend, it plays dead, doesn't it? Plays dead. Oh, <laughs> love that film. You've got your little little characters here, haven't you? Um, Hedgehog looks like he's on his back, ready to curl Aww. up. Cute, isn't he? Cute. He's it's his little cute. paws. Shall I tuck his feet up as well? Paws. Tuck his feet up. There we go. And he oh, really looks God. like he's curled up. There he is. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. They are the cutest. The raccoon. Look at him. <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Absolutely nothing to see. <laughs> Not up to any mischief at all. <laughs> no mischief whatsoever. <laughs> I've just had an idea. What about like, uh, you know, when kids break up for school in the summer holidays? Yeah. And you're obviously going to be uh, sort of apart from their friends for a period of time. What a nice little token gift to give oh, to their little friends. Nice. Yes, They're going like to love that. them, aren't they? Yeah, they would. Because I went into, uh, there's a shop that does like all the uh, sort of squishy stuff and uh, the backpacks and the matching Pizza lunch boxes and things. And, things and honestly, yeah. it's it's so expensive mm. to buy just a couple of knickknacks from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think anything is priced at £1.50. No, no, I, th I think it's all sort of at least £5 and up. £5 and up? Isn't it? Oh, my goodness me. Well done. Keep dialing through. They are still very much available. There's literally so many of you there um tens k's got eight Teresa cheshire's just got eight dorset's got six lynn's got eight wendy's got seven bernice has bought four mary's bought four there is still big quantity of those so i'm going to leave those with you i'll just prop them up um and there's still hundreds of you on the phone line so please do not abandon those calls we know you are there um and i promise our call center will be with you if you don't want to wait on the phone go to all the w's at jewelrymaker.com or you can download the app no cues there whatsoever and remember it's not it's not postage and packaging per item it's for the whole day so if you buy 50 of those then still only only the one post and packaging now is an ideal opportunity though also for me to show you today's deal of the day um now these are 
they feature a beautiful genuine gemstone at the back in fact if I turn this one round um, of the sterling silver chains they are perfect for Mark's amazing launch that is happening at 11 o'clock today his chestnut close pieces so if you're looking for a fine quality chain to suspend those designs and your dealer day is perfect um, in terms of the gemstones that we actually have just to uh, jog my memory away we've got garnet amethyst and peridot all coming up and citrine all coming up in about 40 minutes time so stay on the phone lines everybody for your magnets let's uh, venture into Hannah's amazing kit Talk to us about this kit for those people that didn't tune in. Um, so I've got kits with um, halo beads. So, so when I was first asked if I'd like to do them, I was, I was kind of curious as to what a halo bead was. And it literally is a sterling silver halo that fits around your gemstone. So I would say, I think the, um, the jadeite strand that I've got is, um, is, is up to a 10 mil. So I think the larger ones fit the 10 mil perfectly and the slightly smaller ones are about an eight mil. Um, and they, they are amazing. They're, they're really good quality, like heavy duty silver rings. And they've got a hole drilled through either side so that you can insert a pin through the center of your gemstone and out each side of the ring and then secure it so that it's like a little um, connector. And they look, they look amazing. <coughs> they look so expensive, so high end. Amazing we have a hundred, jade, of, yeah. a hundred of the jade. Yeah. Um, We've never done this before. Well, you have that that, that, that beautiful halo that goes all the yeah. way, and it will yeah. spin. Which yeah, is they move. Huge to have that kind of almost like anybody that suffers with like anxiety or um, is is a tactile person. I think you're going to absolutely like a, like love a this. For, it is, for, yeah. For those that don't want to be seen to be carrying a fidget spinner, perhaps yeah. it's like a subtle version. Absolutely, because yeah. the, the the bead in this case, type A natural Burmese mm -hmm. jadeite, which yeah. is absolutely incredible, will pivot on those eye pins. Hannah's going to show you how you put them all together this kit which oh there it is um here we go is is gorgeous limited though the clock is ticking that's our introduction to uh your graphics we have a hundred of these available it's a brand new launch never been seen on your screens before you have a lovely graduated strand look at this a graduated strand of natural type a burmese jadeite look at the quality it's of the stunning. color it's so lovely yeah it, I, I mean seriously we were i was with um susie the other day who really adores jade as yes. we all well know um and she was saying the quality of, ja of jade that we have here is just it's it's phenomenal isn't yeah, it it's it brilliant is. i'm loving it it is there's a hundred <laughs> of this kit that's all we have you've got your 925 sterling silver halos already 20 percent of the stock is that what you just said wayne yeah, 20% of the stock has gone. You get six of your halos, which are 925 sterling silver, which are obviously then be accommodated by the graduated strand. And then look at all of these lovely 925 eye pins. There are loads of them as well. Look at the quality. Not your jewelry maker price. This is not polymer infused jadeite. This is not dyed jadeite. This is natural jadeite. And yes, those of you who are thinking, isn't that the gemstone that's one in the top 10 rarest in the world? Yes. It's graduated too. The strand alone should be what's on your screen. Just not it, exactly as it yeah. is. I wore my jadeite and pearl necklace jewelry uh, that, that, that Susie made for me last night. I wore it out. The amount of comments I had. Because it's beautiful. It's a, it's, it is one of those compelling gemstones that people gravitate towards. Look at that. The chain is... Um, oh, oh, oh! I'm just for, forgetting this minor detail. <laughs> All right, Wayne. Not with it yet, am I? <laughs> Look at the sterling silver box chain that you're getting. How long is that a metre? Um... Uh, I don't know. I can, un I can unravel this one. I can't see. I can't see it on my on my specifications. It's a sterling Ooh. silver. Yeah, that's 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 good. a meter. Yeah, full Ooh. of luster. Again, break this down. How much would you expect to pay for the nine two five sterling silver box chain? 
I mean, we've certainly brought, uh, brought it to air in the past at £24.99. I remember quite vividly, actually, because Colin joined me on air. That was back in 2017. That's when we first launched Sterling Silver Chain by the Meter. How much would you expect to pay for a graduated Type A, Class A, Burmese Jadeite strand? Ooh. Yeah, I would expect what's on your Hundreds, screens right yeah. now. So we're yeah. already, already talking about, with those two components, the chain and the Jadeite, £125. I think that, yeah, I think that's, that's a feasible. Price for that. Yeah. Look at the amount of sterling silver that you're getting then. In addition, with the halos, which there are six of, um, you get them in two different sizes, um, and all of these beautiful sterling silver eye pins. Half the stock has gone already. This is it. First come, first serve. Yeah, crazy. The chain on its own should have been... Well, we have brought yeah, lengths of chain at 24 95 in the past. The strand should be this price because it's graduated. It's natural type A. Um, should I pop it up to the neckline so you can actually imagine? If I was to, if I was to sit here, we're maybe in a showcase of Jadeite. Over half the stock has gone, by the way. Really? It's going, it's going lower. Oh, gosh. Really? Imagine this in Christie's. <laughs> okay. Imagine this in Sotheby's, knotted with a really simple class. No addition of, uh, of halos. Just imagine it like so. Would it be $69.99 in Christie's and Sotheby's? No. Make no doubt about it. The quality of the type A Burmese jadeite that you get here, you find in those establishments. I encourage you to do price comparisons. I really do. But just make sure you are comparing genuine Burmese jadeite that is completely and utterly natural because that's what we're offering you right now. We're going to take it under £50. It's frankly ridiculous. The first time we've ever actually done the halo designs, which I'm almost... You know, Hannah, Hannah you can show how to, uh, you know, how to actually construct those. I can't believe you're getting the strand for 49 now. A metre of sterling silver chain. Let's break this down. A metre of sterling silver chain, which I'm going to take off that reel, actually. Because then you really see how much you're getting. A metre. Box chain, full of lustre. There are 30 left of this kit. 150 of you with it in your baskets. Look at the amount of sterling silver eye pins that you get. And then all of these lovely halos. Ooh. It's a random here. There you go. <laughs> There's your 925 sterling silver halos. Hello, Pauline. Hi, all. Are the halo beads available separately, please? Only in the kit. Sorry, darling. Only in the kit. We don't have them separately. I think they were actually purchased in terms of the sterling silver together. I've got 24 of these left. Diane, Chris, Pauline, Sheila, Jane, Manchester, Margaret, Amy, Oxford, Claire, Davinia. Um, 104 of you have the final 24 in, your bar, uh, in, uh, in baskets and on the phone lines. Make sure you stay where you are. If you haven't yet called, there still is opportunities. Don't let this put you off. Uh, Belinda, Janice, June, Kate, Dorothy, and Diane, Lancashire, Helen, Chris, Catherine, people wanting twos. It's allocated on a first come, first serve basis. Again, Wayne, the Jadeite should not be 49.99. It's a hundred pound strand. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Hannah. I mean, the thing is, the construction of it is so simple as well. So if, you, if, you, if you're not sort of somebody that makes jewellery all the time, you can still make high-end pieces of jewellery using the halo, but using this kit, amazing gemstones, amazing components, and, and they look fantastic. They look like you've been out and spent a fortune somewhere. Well, you look like a silversmith. It, well, this is it. And, and it's all, you know, they're, they're stamped as well. So, so, yep. so you know, the, you've got the 925. The weight of the, the silver, they're stamped. It's brilliant. That's unbelievable. It's going to be a sellout. There are 13 of these left. For the jadeite alone, at 49.99, that's incredible. And look at the, even from distance, you can see the yeah, quality of the colour. We know that commercially, it's, it, it's, the, uh, it's the apple green jade, which is the most yeah. sought after. And we pay extortionate prices for, as we know over in, uh, in China, um, it is all about this gemstone. They say there's an ancient proverb that actually says, gold has a value, jadeite is priceless. 
um, but not just in terms of monetary value. This is a gemstone which they bear um, huge significance in terms of you know, their culture. It's a gemstone of moral integrity. Um, jadeite literally translates to heaven in Chinese because they believe this gemstone will keep you connected to your lost loved ones. There is nothing else of, of greater value in, in China than this beautiful gem. Down to the final six of these, Karen, Beryl, Lincolnshire, Carol, Manchester, Nicolette, Linda, Jax, Jessica, Liz, uh, Lincoln, I can't keep up with you now. Um, good luck to those of you that have it in your baskets. Helen, good luck. Chris, good luck. Catherine, good luck. Christina, good luck. Heather, good luck. Diana, good luck. Anne, good luck. And, and this is simple jewellery making. Yes, yeah. Well, so, I mean, there, there, there's, there's a simple version, and then there's something that I, I've tried as an experiment, and right. I quite like it, and that's Ooh. crimping the chain. But you, ha you need crimping to crimping the chain. Oh, yeah, so you need to be a little bit more patient with that one. Okay. Um, but I can show you in a second. So. Wonderful. Look at that. That's amazing. I see. What, I see what you mean now by crimping the chain. Mm. But well, it's sterling silver. Yeah, but the, but the um, I mean the bracelets. They're, they're absolutely. It's it's literally. It's it's just threading the components through and together. And then I've added some jump rings in the middle. And I just I think it looks really high end. I think it's very comfortable to wear it as well. Yeah. And it all rolls and moves as well. So it's nice and sort of like fluid. That chain oh, alone, yeah. I mean, that's half the price. That 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 would have been twenty four ninety nine. This chain. It's neater, isn't it? Uh, exactly. Yeah huge amount of chain oh my goodness me right moving on because there is a rose gold version not with jadeite this i mean look at that rhyolite i love rhyolite as a gemstone because it has these brush strokes like like monet himself um has touched this gem it's stunningly beautiful and also i can't quite reach it completely and utterly natural little orbs of colors uh, so you get your okras you get some really beautiful sort of sagey greens i'm going to start though with the sterling silver components because you have that same box link chain a meter long length this is in the rose uh, rose gold plated 925 sterling silver so you get a meter of that then you have your halos it is silver it's a huge amount of silver your two sides of your halos, which are, let me just see if I can see those details, 10 millimetres and 8 millimetres, so you get six in total. Here are your rose gold uh, plated eye pins. The eye pins, you get 30. Then you get your rhyolite with, of course, the coordinating size. I, lo I love this kit. I think it's a bit different. I rhyolite we don't see very often. Yeah, but I like the fact that when you team rhyolite with the rose gold tone, it pulls out the uh, the, the sort of like the yeah, the, like the, like you said, the ochres and the pinks and the and the, the slightly terracotta sort of colours, softer terracotta colour. They they get sort of pulled forward and they're they're sort of like accentuated almost. And I mean, I, I love them in the mm. in the jewellery as well. I mean, I, I've just I've got some simple sort of like we're talking about duster drop earrings yeah. and, and then and then a pendant that matches it but i absolutely love the color combination look at those i, th I think they look stunning how many do we have in this kit 125 i think we're going to need it though for the for the amount of sterling silver that's that is that's really good value <laughs> yeah look at those that's earrings so gorgeous they are like planets, aren't they, with the rhyolite? And the they fact that they pivot on this axis. It's, it's just beautiful. It's like you were talking about them at like paintings and things earlier. Every bead has got its own sort of story, if you like. Yeah. And then you can, you can pick your favourite ones. Oh, wow. Absolutely loving this. And so are you. You're loving it too. Jessica, Liz, Michelle, Dee, Janice, Nicolette, Manchester. We haven't seen rhyolite in I don't know how long. Is it difficult to buy, Wayne? You don't get the chance very often. Yeah, well, um, that, well, that does explain it. But it's so beautiful when you do. It's, it, for me, it's, the, it's like a painting. It's a painting it's in a gemstone. Yeah. yeah. It's not painted, obviously. It's no, Mother Nature. But, <laughs> but you can visualise some of the world's greatest artists that ever existed in, in this, almost the brush strokes, brush strokes of Mother Nature. Twenty nine ninety nine to get hold of this kit. Again, all of that 925 sterling silver. What was that? There Moments are. that are like window opal. That one there, the, you know, as it comes around. Well, you get the areas of translucency. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And you can almost little, like, otherworldly 
can imagine little beings, life forms, actually existing within the gemstone itself. It's totally and utterly natural, and it's absolutely flying out the door. Um, in terms of, if I'm watching Jewelry Maker for the very first time and I've never made a single piece, is this an ideal kit to get involved with? Yeah, I think so. I mean, certainly with the, the halo beads with the with the eye pins are are literally you you, you sort of you choose your bead to fit within the, the halo, and then as long as you line the um, drill holes up with the holes in the, in the side of the mm. halo, and then place the pin through, and it holds them all together. Yeah. All you need to do then is make one simple loop, and that's your component made. And then you can attach that to other chains. You can attach it to an earring finding. Wow. You could attach it to anything you want, really. And you don't have to use the gemstones that we're providing in this kit. If you want to switch a roux, no, so, yeah. you can. So, so like if, it's, if you've got a 10 mil or an 8 mil of, mil. A, yeah, anything, really. As long as, as, long as it's round, yeah. um, then it will fit. And you can use the pins to hold them in place. And you could go down. So if you wanted maybe a little bit of space. So uh, Yeah, so some of them, are, I, I've got slightly smaller gemstones. And I've put little um, spacer beads in nice. there with them. Or I've put two little beads together within a, a halo bead. Yeah. And, you know, you, you, you can really play with it and just, yeah. just like, you could leave them without a, a, a gem inside if you wanted. If you, I was thinking earlier, if you, if you had head pins rather than eye pins and then inserted the head pin from inside the halo, then you could have something suspended underneath it, it the halo with, like, just with nothing in it, and then you're finding on the top. Love so it. it'd, it'd be like it was sort of floating underneath the halo that's it that's yeah, exciting there's lots of things you could do with them um, and super simple to make that professional jewelry yes yeah yeah take it away with a demo then okay Piece this okay. wonderful beautiful puzzle have we got another kit i i'm sorry on the end yeah i went really boho with it with the one the last oh one. yes I've i remember your jewelry it, cause it's, um because the colors are sort of really this is a bit of, this is a bit of you again you have that chain that's a meter long yeah. length of chain it almost doesn't look like it on this on on this reel i think but that is a meter of sterling silver box chain that you're actually getting the beautiful quality of luster there are your eye pins in 925 sterling silver there's your 10 millimeter uh bezels or halos here are your eight millimeter halos and then let's introduce the gemstones you're going to love these gems um bright vibrant i think definitely spring has sprung most of us are you know enjoying a little bit of warm weather right now aren't we and loving the sunshine loving the sunshine i even contemplated a barbecue this weekend well i've always said the sun smells of sausages because the minute the sun comes out everybody starts barbecuing <laughs> ah it's true it is true Blue Lagoon, you have your lovely, uh, this is a reconstituted turquoise, but it is still turquoise. It is still turquoise, because I've had this question before. How, you know, how can you call it turquoise if it's reconstituted? It's not re reconstituted out of anything else. It is still turquoise, still turquoise yeah. you know, chemical composition. It still has a turquoise chemical composition, but it is reconstituted to the ideal shape. And actually, um, hindsight, most turquoise will actually undergo some kind of treatment, because without it, so it's... It's too soft. It's actually too yeah. soft to work with. Yeah. So it's responsible treatment um, of your gemstone. Then you're also getting your lovely mukite, four millimeter rounds. Um, they're completely natural and all your sterling silver. Look at that, Hannah. That's gorgeous. It's just really cute, isn't it? And yeah. I, I was thinking, I'd, because of that, I, that lovely uh, bright blue colour, I wanted to make that as my focal point, but then still have the halo yeah. present. So, so this is why I've made little flower with those ones. And then I just used. Um, wildfire thread to, to, to make the, the flower component and then use one of the um, eye pins to hook through it so that you can oh, then attach lovely. it through in the same way so you know you, you can you can see it on the one one I think one sort of turned itself around but you like one you can see where the thread lines are so if you wanted to copy that you could yeah no it's gorgeous and doesn't mukite yeah. kind of work with turquoise I think it, I think it looks fantastic because like you you get the natural yellows in there which are going to work with your blues anyway mm -hmm. and then and then your lovely sort of like earthy oh, like terracottas wow. and, and browns and that they, they just look lovely that's lovely and that's that I've, I've just added a 15 o seed bead either side in orange because i like orange with turquoise yeah me too i yeah, do yeah. that combination it, yeah. it, it's it is that summertime color yes, combination yeah, i yeah. agree um check out your baskets now just so you know also coming up that will be absolutely beautiful alongside your kit um is black jadeite natural black jadeite yes um it's coming up at the top of the hour so you haven't got too long to wait for that um can we pre-order this we'll put it on pre-order no 
Okay, and also we're going to, um, it's, it's one of our last chances to get hold of the book that we launched. Um, after today, you won't be able to get it from us. Um, because we're literally sending it back to the supplier. So um, I heard that. I heard that a conversation going on around me. They're like, yep, they're going back to the supplier after this. Um, so if you uh, have missed opportunities previously, we have world exclusive of this book until the end of the month. Is that right? Yeah. Um, until the end of the month. You can pre-order it because I know there's a lot of conversations about this. You can pre-order it elsewhere but you can't physically get your hands on it, um, um, only with us. So that was actually negotiated with Robin Hansen herself. Um, this is the last chance, though, because we're actually sending them back um, after today. So there we go. Now's the time to get hold of that. Um, oh, goodness me, what a day, what a day. Your deal of the day is coming up as well. Black Jadeite is available on pre-order, and we've got Chestnut Close launching as well. In an hour and 20 minutes, how exciting. It's such an exciting Halo day, isn't it? It's, it's so yeah. busy. I'm, I'm loving these kits, and I'm loving your jewellery, as always. Yeah. But show me how to do it. Okay. Okay, right. So I am going to work with the jade because, it, because I can. It's jade. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go for the largest of the beads, which, which are the 10 mils. I'm going to pick one of my halo beads, and, you'll, and you'll, you can see that they, they fit neatly in like that. And then I'm going to pick up one of my uh, eye pins. So if I start off, I try uh, locate the, the hole on the outside edge and pop that through. And then I'm going to position the hole from the bead so that I can get the pin in there. And then it's just a bit of wiggling, really, into, until it goes through to try and make sure it all lines up. Oops, missed it. Do you know what? I've said this the last couple of times I've been on. I think I need to get glasses. I'm starting to struggle <laughs> to see. My dad it's always used to it. say, it's nothing wrong with my eyes. My arms aren't long enough. <laughs> oh, I thought it had gone through then. Bit of jiggery pokery. Yeah, so I'm going to go from the other side first because it might be... It might be that it wants to go through there. Hang on. She says it's easy. It is easy. Just make sure that fits. There we go. So you pop that through. And line up your bead and then hopefully locate the other side. Did that go through? Is that through? Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. It's through. Then you're going to take your round nose pliers and in fact that might be a little bit long so what I might do is just trim that away slightly because I only want a little bit Of the, of the uh, wire, about a centimetre, maybe not even that. And then I'm just going to roll that down. So I'm going to roll it towards the halo. And then I'm going to sort of push it back against my nail. And so I'm just going to make that little loop a little bit uh, more secure. Might swap to my flat nose pliers just to control it. So that, like, that's your basic component. So you, ha so you have a little, little component and it's got little loops either side. And then you can do the same with the smaller ones. So if I go, you can either you can go like matchy matchy, or you can really go contrasting. Because if you look at the difference in the colours there, I mean, I, I quite I quite like the contrast actually. You might go for pick a, cu a couple that are similar coloured. Is that enough of a contrast? I really like the dark one. You see, you can spend ages picking your favourite colours. <laughs> And all those yeah, colours are natural. Those. Yeah, they're all natural and they all look amazing. So these ones will fit in the smaller sized halos. So if you just take your pin again, I guess you could probably line it up in, in, in like just in one go anyway, but I, I found it easier to sort of position it sort of slightly offset like that mm -hmm. and then find the little hole in your bead, pass it through like that. Yeah, this is definitely going to... I'm going to trim a little bit off the end of this. Our sister channel actually had a similar design to these, didn't Did they? they? On a bracelet um, that, that, that they obviously sold as finished jewellery. But it was very similar in the halo. It was, I think oh. there was like one, one type AJ, one, with the halo in sterling silver, and it was on, on, on a bracelet. Oh, right. I'm sure that was round about sort of uh, 70, 80 pounds. 
Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's like, you know. But that's it's, a good price, isn't it, yeah, for jade Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's jade it's sterling silver. It's, it's big, chunky pieces of sterling silver as well. So I'm literally just adding this in as well. There you go, that's better. And then I'm just trimming a little bit away because the, the loops, um, it's, it's, it's quite a dainty loop on the one side. So I trim a little bit off and then sometimes you'll get one loop bigger than the other and you can actually adjust that until, until it's the same size. So it just preference sometimes. It also depends on how you want to attach it to something else as well. So you might want one that's slightly bigger. Okay, so I've got my little components like that. Uh, have I got any jump rings with me somewhere? Yep. So all I did with these ones, in fact, I could just connect them to themselves, couldn't I? So oh, yes, literally. I could literally just connect them to each other. So if I open the loop that I just made there and pop that one in, then I can close it again. Just make sure it's actually closed. Don't want them going adrift. And then this one. Again, when you're opening, it's the same as if you're opening a jump ring. You, you sort of, it's like a barn door. It's kind of like not outward because it weakens the, the metal, but forward and backward. So then you've got your little sort of component like that. And then um, the other thing that I thought I might try, I looked at, I looked at the chain and I was thinking, well, you, you can't get... Um, you can't get something through that because there's, there's no link to go through. So it, I was talking to Alice, who, who's uh, making the kits in the kit team upstairs, and she was saying, can you crimp it? And I said, well, I, I don't know. I've never tried crimping chain before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so I was just going to show you how to do one of those. I'll keep that separate. I might do it with this dark one because it's nice. So again, I'm going to do the same thing starting off with my... Um, individual one if I can oh, maybe not maybe I'll just do it on this one I think I need to ream that one yeah if, it, yeah. if it, a ream in the same way that you would do the pearls, the pearls sometimes sometimes when you get like little punched holes and things you just need to just clear like a little bit of um, swarf I think it is a little bit of uh, metal that's there mm -hmm. um, but it, it like it doesn't take very long at all it's a bit like filing your nail if you get a little yeah. rough edge it's a bit like that so if I just go and attach it to the end here, I've got a normal crimp bead. I'm going to pop the end of the chain through it. And this is where you have to bear with me with my eyesight a little bit because getting it back through the crimp can take me a little bit longer than if it was a thread. So I'm going to pop the chain through your loop that you've just made. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then bring it back so it's together. And then I'm going to try and hold those two together. I'm trying to show you with, um, without sticking my barnet in the way is going to be funny. <laughs> so I'm just trying to offer the crimp bead up towards the two ends of the chain. And they, it does take a little bit of per perseverance, but they will fit through. And you just have to keep fiddling with it until it does. If you, if you have a slightly longer bit, then it just gives you a bit more sort of leeway to, to play with it and push it towards the other beads. Almost holding my breath here. Come on. You can see it works because I've done it multiple oh. times on oh, the jewelry. So there we go. There we go. Ah, yes. So, so you just offer that back up. And then if, if you're doing this in earnest, then you try and get this as short as you can so that you don't have to cut so much away. But for the purpose of the demo, I'm just going to offer it up. And then I'm just taking um, normal crimping pliers. And I'm just going to do as you would if it was on beading thread. So crimp it one way, crimp it the other way. Make sure nice it's and okay, secure. nice and secure. And then I'm going to take flush cutters and trim away that little excess bit. You have to be careful not to cut through the other side. Like that. And then with a little crimp cover, just offer that into there. These are our sterling silver ones. I don't know if they're on the website at the moment or not, but um, they 
one thing I did find with the crimp covers is that you might want to uh, open Pac-Man's mouth a little bit wider to start with, just because getting the crimp in there with the chain either side is slightly wider than a thread, but they do fit. Just trying to persuade it in there. Trying to turn it sideways. It's not playing ball. Let me try another one. Naughty Pac-Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do have to be a little bit patient with them because I think the end result's worth it. We've put the graphics on the screen for those, Hannah. Okay. There is only a few of them, though, so you'll need to be quite quick. Okay. Not you, Hannah, as in... Oh, right. As okay. it, as it, you don't need to be I, quick, I'm just darling. thinking, sorry, because it, it's one of those things... No, 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 I just mean there's quant not, not a huge quantity of the crimp, so if you're needing those, check out super fast. There's not many. Okay, come on. So I think I'm going to have to persuade it in, try and, trying to use my flat nose pliers just to try and get it to sit inside because I don't, I don't want to squash this over it until I know that the chain's definitely inside. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's looking better. Is it in? So I'll just check either side to make sure the chains are in and then just gently close that up. And it makes that little ball shape, which looks like a little bead. Like that, so you end up with like your little section, and then depending on whether you want it to be a necklace or a bracelet, you you then um, cut your chain accordingly. So I can try and do one the other side. Have I got a measurement? I might pick it up a second. Sorry, guys, just just to do a. That's all right. Yeah. So this is a. If you've got your board with you, you can measure it. But I just want to do. I don't want it to be too long. That could go on one of our slider bracelets, couldn't it, as well? Yeah, absolutely it could. Just going to cut that there. It feels so naughty cutting through sterling silver chain, but... <laughs> and and then I'm that beautiful. going to make sure I've got enough for the other side, plus a bit for getting through the crimp bead. And then if you do end up, if you do find you've done it too short, as, as long as you've got um, some jump rings and things, you can extend it again. Yeah on the other end so glutton for punishment here I'm going to do the other side as well <laughs> so I'm going to go through the crimp bead first so I can get through there and then through the loop on the other side like that and then again we're gonna try and get hold of the chain so that we're not wasting too much. And the problem with that is it's just a little bit fiddly because obviously you want it as close as you can um, and as short as you can so you're not using too much of the chain. But it does mean that you have to hang on to it. <laughs> okay, nearly there. I reckon I could probably, if I try and crimp that left-handed, which might be a mistake, but hey. Give it a try. Okay, got hold of it. Then I can do crimp the other way. Just need to line it up. Go from behind there. Okay, just trying to get it in position. This is one of those things that, if you're trying to hold it away from your face, it makes it a little bit difficult to see it. So there we go, there we go. And then I'm just going to trim that tail away. And then again, you put that into your crimp cover. <coughs> and it gives you a lovely um, sort of clean finish if you do it with crimp covers as well. Always looks more um, professional, more finished. Plus it's a little bit more sterling silver if you're using sterling silver covers. Pop that in there. Gently close that up. There we go. So you just do the same on the other ends as well, so that you've got um, where you'd attach your clasp. You'd obviously need to um, attach like a little uh, jump ring in the same way with your crimps like that, and then that makes a nice uh, necklace. 
but um, also if you look on, um, can we have a look at some of the earrings? There's like the, I don't know if you can see that there's the blue earrings or there's the rhyolite earrings and they've got like a, a tassel that I've made with the chain in exactly the same way. So you just pass your, your length of chain through the bottom loop oh, there. I love it. Um, and then add the crimp bead over the two and then your crimp cover over the top and then trim the chains so whether you want them to be flush with each other or whether you want them to be slightly offset it just gives you another element so um so that's that's really the, it's the simplicity i mean i've never thought to do that with chain and well i've never tried it before so it's, it, it makes me a little bit nervous because it's something i, I i've only done a, like to make this selection of jewellery but actually it does work but you do, you do need to be a little bit careful about um you, you don't want to be too forceful with no because yeah you don't want to cut through so you need to make sure it's 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 lined up things yeah, like yeah. that and i think it looks amazing i think it really works uh, it, it definitely yeah. does hi margaret hi el how about some crimp beads too please it's a good idea that is yeah. a good idea have we got any wayne wayne Hey, <laughs> ta-da! Ta-da! One ninety-nine, one ninety-nine. Um, these are obviously plated, but you can still use them, couldn't you? You can still use you them. You can, yeah, you can. I've, I've used sterling silver with these ones um, because I was thinking, well, I'm using sterling silver everything else, so it's quite nice to keep them together. Yes. Um, and then, yeah. So, and then the halo beads. I mean, as you saw, they, they were so easy. It's just a case They're of gorgeous. pushing the pin through. I'm curious um, about the, sorry Hannah, no go on, finish what you're saying, I, that was me interrupting well, you. I, I was literally just going to say, like, it doesn't have to be one gemstone, it can be multiple, it, it could just be empty with the stones on the outside. Um, I'm, I'm normally a seed beader as well, so I was, I was actually thinking you could brick stitch around the outside edge of, oh, the, yeah. of the silver if you wanted to as well, so have like a little a halo around the halo of, yeah, yeah. of, of, of uh, seed beads. So, um, in terms of crimp bead, because we've actually got them on our screens right now, could you show everybody what a crimp bead is? Uh, um, it's actually, it's a bead. Don't forget, it is actually a bead. So, you can actually use it as a feature. Okay. But actually, they're used for squashing. Like That's that. what you squashed up. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, there sorry. he is. Sorry, hang on. Of course, I've dropped it. It's a little as tube, you isn't it? Tiny, tiny. It is like a little delicate bead, isn't it? It's like a tiny, tiny tube. Um, that is intended to be squashed? Yes, it's intended to be squashed and then you can either use um, flat nose pliers where you just literally just squash it flat or you can use like crimping pliers and they have like two notches and then one sort of makes a, a divot in the middle of it and then the second crimp folds it in half with oh, the divot as the centre line. What about the cover? Can we show the cover? And the crimp cover is, they look like... Um, they look like These are the covers, they look like little, little yeah. Pac-Men, yeah. Um, um, oh, you've got one there. Um, there you go. Yeah, so when I was talking about opening Pac-Man's mouth, what I meant was on, the, on those, I've just used a pair of round nose pliers and actually the end of my flush cutters just to, just to force it open slightly um, because I was trying to get it over chain and crimp bead and there's quite a lot for it to, to contend with, but they do fit, they do fit. Or, open, or cutting a bigger slice of cake. Yes. That, yes. Just look at it that way. I'm curious. Yeah. This is what I was going to say. I'm curious about the bracelet on the end because is that the chain running through the jade? Yes. Yeah. The, How? Like, um, the uh, on the on the on, on the, the cone. Yeah, cone. The end ends. Yeah, end right ends. on the end. I'm yeah, curious. No, I just I just thought I wanted to see if it would work, and it, and it is. It's like a little abacus, and it's it's. Didn't, you didn't have to drill the no, jade. No, it literally straight fell through. Straight through, and they're the smaller size. Oh of my the goodness! Well, and they, they fit perfectly. Do you know, there's a handful of this kit. If you do, it, uh, that, I can't believe we can do that with the I chain. Know. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's because it's the box chain. It's 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 nice and sinuous. It's like there's nothing to sort of get caught on anything. It just it just slides through those beads. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Seriously, yeah. I've. Get, when have we ever actually been able? Because I was looking. I've been looking across at this, going, no, nah, that can't be the chain. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's brilliant, and then I wonder if I if I turn it. Claire McDonald had to dremel a pearl to feed ah, the chain well, through. So yeah, pearls quite often. But this, you don't you don't need to do anything because the drill holes are that <laughs> generous, and literally they just drop through. Can okay. you show? Yeah. Can you show us just quickly? Because yeah. I think that kind of that's so beautiful. Thanks. It's just it's and just... simple. How many are in baskets? A hundred for the final. Oh, we've got nine left. A few of you have actually sort of dropped back into stock, but it is only nine. I mean, we were talking, look at that. 
Well, they, I mean, the other, there's also there's elastic as well. There's one of them was an elastic bracelet that's gone through the halo, that's but you've gone through everything as well. I can't believe you can feed sterling silver chain through these, yeah. though. Can't believe that. That's absolutely mm. awesome. Um, I again, I wore last night. I had two necklaces on last night. I had the one Susie made me, and I had a, per uh, a pearl, the trilogy of pearls that we launched not that long Ooh. ago on on a gold plated sterling silver chain. Um, that is literally, you know, which one I mean, Wayne, don't you? that's literally fed onto a 20 inch and it is through the center of the pills. I mean, that in itself is one thing, but it's easy, I don't know, is it easier to drill through pills than it is your jade eye? I would imagine so. Jade eye, sterling silver, wish list with one single bead. Wow, I mean, that'd be so pretty, but yeah, look, see, definitely, literally, literally just like, look at that. Just, just threading it straight on. I can't believe you, you we can do this. Yeah. So what I am finding is like if you allow the the um, allow gravity to help you when you're threading it. So if you if you let the um, chain sort of fall Look. through the hole, like that. amazing, like that, and they all they all slide along it then. Unbelievable! Yeah. Um, um, you could create. Oh oh oh! <laughs> I've just had an a idea. monkey. What? I've just had an idea. <laughs> with yeah. your with your hypo cement, imagine creating those like literally in stations yeah that, like, oh, like, yeah, like, a, like a diamonds by the yard or you could just do like tiny little crimps either side like sterling, sterling silver crimps or things like that i have you i think i use some fire polish um beads as spacers in, in one of the bracelets as well because it looks you know just look pretty together awesome but i like the fact that you could you, you know you can thread the i'm buying this kit if the, there's any the, the chain through the beads the beads fit within the halo oh. um think you can get the elastic through it you can get some wires through it there's so much you can do with it. Totally. It's amazing. Oh, thank you, Hannah. That's You're welcome. amazing. Yeah. Um, last opportunity to get hold of the book, because literally after today's show, it's going back. Going back to the supplier. Um, we currently have world exclusive to this exact book. You can pre-order it elsewhere. You can't physically get hold of it. Hello, Linda. Morning, lovely ladies. I notice that you have... Oh. <laughs> Hang on a second. Uh, that you have the gemstone book on pre-order just to let you know I have mine and it's fantastic best book I own thank Brilliant. you Linda um, another message coming through uh, the pictures in the book show the quality of gems I have bought from Jake show and JM um, I can show my customers the book and then they compare wonderful Michelle thank you so much for taking the time um, to put your reviews and these will literally be fresh because we only launched them this book last week the book is fantastic, easy to read, so informative, uh, but in layman's terms, it's a great complimentary addition to my JM Gemstone. Strongly recommend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, and I agree, and that's, that was my feelings as well, Michelle. You know, I've got lots of gemstone books. Uh, lovely. There we go. Got my book. It's lovely. Thank you, Miss Janet. Um, I've got a lot of gemstone books. Some of them never see the light of day because they're too clever. Does that make sense? You know when a book is too... Scientific? If I have to work at reading it, like... Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what I mean? When, like, my brain starts hurting because <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate to on studying, each word. Yeah. And I have to spell out syllables to construct a letter. That's not... A, a word, rather. That's not going to... Uh, that's not working for me. This is far easier to digest. Look at all these wonderful reviews all about this book. Current world exclusive. But after today, it is going back. Uh, Robin Hansom... Um, oh, is there really? There's only 100 left. £13.99. Um, beautifully poetic writing. And she is a very highly qualified. She actually works within the Nat uh, Nat Natural History Museum. Um, I, I had a list of her qualifications as well. She is a very, very, very clever lady. Yes. Um, and she talks about lots of different things. It's not just about sort of the gemological composition or hardnesses. She talks about history. She talks about imitations, um, how we use our gemstones. Yeah. So, you know, because, for example, you can fire some gemstones in sterling silver and you can't others. So... You know, it talks about all of that. It's a great point of reference for all of our customers. There are 100 copies left. That's it. That's it. It's going back. If there are any, it's actually going back. You can pre-order it elsewhere, by the way. Um, you can pre-order it elsewhere. But you won't actually get it 
um, until uh, end of March, stroke, beginning of April. That's what they're suggesting with dispatch. Um, here we go. You can have a little read through. Gemstones have been a source of delight and fascination for many thousands of years from the icy blue brilliance of diamonds and the soft iridescence of pearl uh, to tough jade gems once used in weapons and pink topaz uh, that was popular in Victorian jewellery. This book looks at each of the world's known types of gemstones in turn, exploring their unique beauty, rarity and durability. It reveals how each of the gem, uh, gem mineral forms, uh, where they are found and mined and how they are identified. The book also explains... <coughs> excuse me how to distinguish the real from the fake, cutting and polishing techniques and their use in adornment. From over four and a half thousand years, uh, sorry, from over 4,500 years ago, right up to the present day, with sumptuous color photographs, gemstones, uh, gemstones is a dazzling insight into the world of the rare and the valuable. It's beautiful. I've got my copy. I've already referenced it as well because our brain will only retain so much information. Yes. And, yeah. uh, and was it Michelle who said earlier on, it's great to actually be able to show your customers the gemstones that they're, they're actually sourcing. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's, if they've never heard of something, you can sort of say, well, there you go, here's the, here's the background mm -hmm. as well. You know, it just gives them, it gives you a bit more, um, What's the word? It's like backup, but it's yeah, a good definitely. Word. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, totally yeah. agree. You know, every single gemologist that I know always has a Bible, if you like. Yes. I always call it a gemstone Bible with them. Um, I'm going to leave it with you. Last opportunity to get hold of this. We only had a hundred, and that was beginning that auction. Don't go anywhere though, because your deal of the day is some of the most beautiful sterling silver chains you could ever possibly wish for, and. We are launching the incredible collection of Mark Smith's chestnut close pieces at 11. We'll be back after this. Everybody, um, I'd just like to invite you on Monday morning um, to see the gr grand launch of the die cutting machine. Um, it's been long awaited and it's a fascinating show, but you can also cut um, flowers out with them, um, you can cut, you can have necklaces, you can do anything with jewellery making as well in it. So um, I hope you join me then and, uh, and enjoy the show. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. As many of you know, my second greatest love after Jewelry Maker is my garden. Um, I'm very lucky to have a beautiful space that we've turned, it's taken 10 years, but we've turned it into a beautiful haven for, for fauna and for flora. And a few months ago, I was asked if I wanted to come up with a range of jewellery products, jewellery items that mirrored my gardening life. So sat down with the production company and I'm delighted, overjoyed, to invite you all to join me on Saturday the 26th of March for the Spring Chestnut Close Collection. Chestnut Close Collection is all about my garden at home and throughout the next four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I'm going to be launching three flowers growing in the garden and three fauna, so insects, birds, animals, all of which inhabit the garden. So on the 26th of March, we're going to be launching spring, consisting of three flowers and three birds and insects. And I can't wait to share this whole range with you. It's gonna be an amazing morning. Can't wait to see you all for the launch of my very own Chestnut Close Collection. Welcome back everybody. I am loving your deal of the day chains and they are the perfect deal of the day ahead of the launch of Mark's most beautiful collection, Chestnut Close. Because imagine one of his wonderful, wonderful pendants suspended, not from one of those chains that, listen, and you can get them everywhere. They call them trace chains. We have trace chains, but we make sure we invest gram weight into your uh, chain because ultimately the ones that kind of just stick to the skin and don't suspend they don't drape they don't fall as beautifully as you would expect them to i mean they'll serve a function i suppose but for how long so if you're looking to buy precious jewelry and wear that beautiful jewelry on a regular basis what i would always recommend is go for a heavier gram weight if you can afford to do so and i can assure you today jewelry maker classic we're going to bring it to you at the best possible price but these are not just a standard chain ones that we bring to you on a regular basis which we do we do don't we we bring you amazing sterling silver chains um, both your belcher your rolos your curb chains your figaro chains we bring you all of those we bring them by the lengths we bring them by the inch so 16 inch 18 inch and so forth this is all about the gram weight for me um, I'm looking at these going, oh my goodness, they are probably some of the heaviest gram weight chains. Would we agree, Hannah? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. The heaviest gram weight chains that we've actually physically launched, I'm not saying ever, but one of most definitely, 3.42 grams in each of these chains. But there's even more luxury because we have added a beautiful solitaire of a coloured gemstone. We're giving you variation of length because you have an extender at the reverse of each of these, which is about two inches, two inch length. And then at the bottom, the most exquisite gemstone encased in your precious metal. I mean, wow. Yeah, I I'm going to reiterate what Director Ollie has just said to me. The average gram weight of a sterling silver chain, the average, and obviously you can get different, but the average is a gram. Not that much, really, when you're considering it's actually about 18 inches. And yes, it's going to help you with affordability, but we've, I've stood here before you and actually given you price comparisons in Argos, at, at, at Samuels and, and Heinz the Jewelers. Nothing wrong with that, but I've, I've stood here and shown chains only the other day, in actual fact, £14.99, £20, £30. But did they have the gram weight that you're about to see? Possibly but then you pay the higher price tag. I, I truly think your dealer day is one of the most luxurious trains that we've ever brought to you. And they are a little bit, 
I, you know, they reminded me, and I mentioned this to Wayne earlier on, I was like, they're a little bit like the Elsa Peretti design that was launched by Tiffany's & Co. And I'm literally just going to race through this, the Diamonds by the Yard, where you had beautiful, round, brilliant cut diamonds, in this case, sporadically placed along the chain itself. They are stations along the chain with a bezel set diamond in the centre. Uh, the, there we are. The stations are basically a stopping point along the chain where the diamonds are set. The amount of stations or diamonds can be as many um, as many as you want, but generally it's an odd number. Uh, diamonds are usually pretty small and the chain also pretty delicate. It reminded me of that Elsa Peretti design. Now, they're not dispersed around the chain. You've got that beautiful amount of sterling silver. They, they literally make that detail, that droplet that cascades down the back. This has been specifically designed to go alongside your chestnut close collection, which I simply adore. And with the most amazing, he looks so handsome today as well, our Mark, he's just stepped. He looks so, oh, you look gorgeous, Mark. You look gorgeous. Oh my goodness, wait until you see Mark. Um, honestly, uh, these are absolutely beautiful. Designed specifically to go alongside your chestnut clothes so you can match the gemstones or color contrast the gemstones to go alongside the biggest gram weight or one of the biggest gram weights, I should say, um, of chain that we've ever had. Now, let me, just, let me just find the amethyst. Here we go. And let me just hold this against the neckline. So you can see, even from the distance, and you're about a metre and a half away from me right now. Look at, look at the amount of sterling silver. Look at the extender chain. There it is. Look at the quality of the amethyst. Giving you variation in terms of how you wear your piece of jewellery, whether you wear it really close up to the nape, uh, nape of the neckline or whether you wear it at full extension like this. At 29.99 for 3.4 grams of genuine sterling silver, excluding the fact that you also have this beautiful gemstone encrusted, that is not your price. I encourage, I implore our viewers to do price comparisons, not right now, do it once you know that you have secured your opportunity. Because in 16 seconds, this is going lower. And I don't just mean by a little bit, not a cheeky 10%, maybe not even 20%, significantly lower than what you've seen before. This is your deal of the day. It has to live up to that status. Beautiful. Purchased, as I said, designed specifically to go alongside the chestnut close collection that's coming up in just under an hour's time. £19.99. and pence. You don't need to put anything with this if you don't want to. You can layer it up. But as I said, perfectly designed to go alongside all of Mark's exquisite designs. Caroline, Jane, Devon, Christine, uh, you've done it as well. Hello to you, uh, Torvine. I can see you. Lincolnshire, Christine, Nicolette, Gabrielle, Brenda and Susan. Have you ever seen a more silky, luxurious investment of sterling silver? And then have you ever seen a more stunning amethyst solitaire? You said a cuddle earlier on, Hannah. Yeah, like a hug for the gemstone. A hug for the gemstone in your bezel set. At £20, I don't think there's many retailers out there that can actually compare both with the price tag, but also the gram weight that you're actually getting here. This is the piece of jewellery that I would expect of all the jewellers that I follow on social media and Instagram and things like that, and Facebook, and um, this is the kind of chain that I would expect to be in the luxurious brands, and I would expect that triple figure price tag. That's an awesome price, Wayne. <laughs> he, uh, he just asked me the question, what do you think of that price? It's phenomenal, What do you think, it? Hannah? I, I love it, I think that's brilliant. For 3.42 grams. And there's a gemstone. And the gemstone. Natural Zambian. Wayne wants to see you on the phone lines. Uh, wait, Wayne, how many do I have? We have 200. He's up on his feet, look. Look out, what's he He's up, up to? on his feet. <laughs> Wayne, what are you planning then? Oh my goodness me. 
That's less than the price for a one gram chain on most in most high street shops, isn't it? That we've already discussed. Average of a gram on the high street, sterling silver, not including not your beautiful gemstones. There. Not enough people there, says our Wayne. Margaret's there. Alison, Mary, Rachel, Christine, Nicolette, Josephine, Carol, Jane, Gemma, Devon, Christine, oh, Alison. Oh. Still not enough, says Wayne. In 13 seconds, we are going significantly lower if there's enough of you on those phone lines. You know, uh, oh my goodness, if something is specifically purchased for the deal of the day, as I said a few moments ago, it has to live up to that status. I think it already is. Is there enough, Wayne? No. Oh. No. Show your love if you love it. Show Wayne. And he is going to take it lower. Silky luster. Silky luster. I had a discussion with Caroline, who is our sterling silver buyer up in the office. She's very camera shy, and I always try and get her on air, but she's not having any of it. Um, and I was saying, Caroline, I want us to do some really heavy, beautiful, precious metal chains. Really heavy chains. Uh, this is what? one... 15? Under 15 pounds. <gasps> well, that's not what Caroline said, anyway. She definitely didn't say that. The price of sterling silver has gone through the roof. And she was going, OK, that's fine, but it's going to be expensive, Al, because... Three grams of sterling silver. Well, you, what's, the, what's the normal price point for us to expect? <laughs> all 200 today, says Wayne. It's going under 15 pounds, but there has to be enough of you on those phone lines. Um, he literally is like Zebedee. On Monday, we have what we call is a trade meeting. Um, it's where all the bosses get together and they discuss the week and whatnot, and what's gone on and what's worked, what hasn't worked. So they discuss all of that. Oh, yeah. Not, not even 14.99. Is this going to be one of the topics of discussion then, Wayne? Yeah, right. <laughs> the fact that you're taking it lower than 15 pounds. But you, I notice you're not doing this with your product. You're doing it with Caroline's product right now, aren't you? He's dropping the price on something that he hasn't got the challenge of buying. Uh, oh, she's not in next week. I see there. I see what you, do. I see what you mean. Terry, Christine, Cardiff, v uh, Vanda, hello to you, Susan, Patricia, Devon. The phone lines are getting exciting now. There's 200. That might sound like a massive quantity. It isn't, especially not for a Saturday morning, especially not for 3.42 grams of sterling silver. It's going under 15 pounds, not just by a cheeky penny. Definitely not. We have these, by the way, in different gemstones. We've got it in Peridot, we've got it in Citrine, and we've also got it in Garnet, all of which are birthstones. 12 pounds and 99 pence. Have a little look, just for kicks. Have a little look at the likes of your Argos. Have a little look at the likes of uh, Samuels. H. Samuels, absolutely. Have a little look at the likes of Beaver Brooks. Have a little look at Ernest Jones. All of those brands that do sell uh, jewellery, precious metal, of course, and see if you can have the same gram weight at any weight. Never mind the gemstone. I'm just talking about the gram weight. See if you can get that gram weight for this price tag. Um, you're right, Ollie has said, go to one of the, the, the high street shops like Topshop and see if you can get base metal for what's on your screens. Because that is true. You know, I go to, I, I, I like uh, shops like Zara. I really like Zara. And they've got an amazing collection of costume jewellery. Really inspirational. Great source of inspiration for you guys at home. But they're expensive for something that's not even precious. This is 3.42 grams of precious. And even more than that, you have a beautiful, round, brilliant cut, natural Zambian amethyst in the centre. Not the centre, sorry. Draped beautifully from your extended chain. The phone lines have gone nuts. I can see big quantities in people's baskets. I would recommend you checking them out um, if you want to guarantee your success because 200 is not huge quantities, not for a deal of the day. People will specifically tune in for the deal of the day knowing, uh, knowing that it is going to be a massive saving. But if you're watching right now, this is going to be perfect alongside Mark's amazing launch. Chestnut Close Collection is launching in about 40 minutes time. Perfect to go alongside that in fact I'm gonna grab one of his pieces right now the chaffinch look that beautiful chaffinch also has an amethyst within can you imagine can you imagine that suspended peridot and amethyst the most glorious complementary colors 12.99 for the chain You'll find out about Mark's amazing pieces in a few moments' time. Uh, those of you that have checked out, huge congratulations. Alison's bought three. Essex has bought two. 
Devon's bought four, Brenda's multi-bought, Cambridge's multi-bought, Lincolnshire's multi-bought, Karen, Jenny, Cheshire, Isle of Man, Helen, Gillian, Chris, Zoe, Margaret. Well done to you all. How are we doing in terms of stock levels? Half the stock has gone. How about this piece? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at the quality. That's three-dimensional jewellery and a cascade of supreme quality natural amethyst. Imagine, in fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Wayne. I'm going to put that piece of jewellery on this chain. There are cues on the phone line, so whilst you're all waiting... Oh, my goodness me, Mark. Can I ask, am I allowed... Am I allowed to shop while with Mark? What do you mean, no? Oh, no, I'm not allowed. But I thought you'd break the rules for me just this once. Because I came in for you. Would you let me? I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Literally, oh, it, it will feed through. I'm just all fingers and thumbs. There are que uh, cues on the phone line, so bear with... Here we go. Elle's almost got it. There we are. So feed it on. That, this, this pendant is going to be absolutely perfect for this chain. A little bit of jiggery pokery, Han. Yeah, I know the feeling. You know, it's, it's when you're on national television and, and things just don't go quite to plan. Always. They do fit. They do fit. <laughs> this is why I admire you guest designers so, so, so much. There's about a 30-second queue on the phone lines. Um, but I tell you what, those 30 seconds are being well spent, aren't they? Because you're securing one of the most luxurious chains, I think, that we've ever, ever, ever launched here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, my goodness me. Look how perfect it is alongside Mark's pendant. Of, of, of Mark's pendant and the chain as well, the amethyst. Is the, the two, I've just been sat looking at them, and they're, they're the two that I put together. <laughs> Sorry, I was holding that the wrong Am way. Am I allowed to shop when I leave? Yeah, well, I think oh, if I... It, there yes. Could, there could be a plan there, Elle. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is on the chain. It is stunning, isn't it? That's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and drop it down so the amethyst is actually visible alongside uh, Mark's pendant. Look, there we go. You can see that wonderful quality. This is... I mean, that piece of jewellery should be hundreds of pounds. And it would be hundreds of pounds in most locations. I've got, uh, I've got a, a, an Alex Munro uh, pendant that's a bluebell, a little tiny little bluebell, and it's got a kyanite, little briolette kyanite. Um, my husband bought for me one Mother's Day um, a few years ago. It was £140. There's no way near the same amount of sterling silver um, in that piece as what you're looking at collectively across Mark's beautiful design and your deal of the day. Uh, right here, right now. They are absolutely flying out the door. Um, please bear with us on the phone line. Stay where you are. In fact, you are in the perfect place for the next. Oh, my goodness. I've got to keep that so it's in view. Should we do the peridot? Hang on. Oh, there it is. Exactly the same designs. We shouldn't have been at 12.99. That is actually lower than it was meant to be. This is a different chain. Am I right? Is it a different link? Mark's in shock. Yeah. Absolutely. It's th it's it's just shy of three and a half grams. Let's get let's get the chaff inch. Let's get the chaff inch because the chaff inch will go beautifully. So would the butterfly, though. So would, uh, I, I can't remember the flowers. So would the ladybird. Oh, my goodness me. I am going to go for the chaff inch, though. Ladybird with the garnet. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, there's not enough people there, Wayne says. Not enough people. Perido, um, the most beautiful summery gemstone. So you have this wonderful, zesty, zesty, fiery green, totally and utterly natural, of course. Um, birthstone of August babies. Well, we have the perfect pendant to bring you as well with Mark's fabulous collection. Let me just do this up. I'm going to put all of Mark's pieces on these chains because that's, that's what they were intended for. Not enough people, though, says Wayne. That's what they were intended for, Mark's beautiful, beautiful designs. 
Oh my goodness, Mark, that's absolutely beautiful. And then you have the peridot there at the, uh, at the end of your extension, which is two inches. Eight seconds, there's not enough, uh, even I'm going to say this, there's not enough people there. No way. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. No, I agree with you. Have I got 200 of these as well? 3.42 grams of sterling silver. The chaffinch pendant is coming up as part of the chestnut close launch with Mark. Not enough people on those phone lines. We should have been at 19.99 for this gram weight. And that would still have been a good deal. Still have been an amazing deal. These are arguably one of the most luxurious chains that we have ever launched here at Jewelry Maker because of the investment of precious metal. You know, you can get your traces, your curbs, your belchers, your, your figaros, your rolos, all of those chains, and they're lovely. And we do bring them at a higher gram weight, even our normal chains. This isn't a normal chain, though. This is much heavier, much more decadent, much more luxurious, and at £12.99, it's an absolute steal of a deal. I love the fact that when you get chains like this, Hannah, you get the versatility of wearing them at 18 inches um, right the way up to 20 inch. I like a 20 inch chain because on me, it does depend on build. It kind of sits around here. Um, but if you've got two, you could layer them up, couldn't you? It's not just 18 and 20. It could actually be 18, 19, 20. So you could wear three of them together. They're flying out the door again. There's a queue on the phone lines. We still have the citrine and the garnet to bring to you as well again. Chains that were designed specifically to go alongside Mark's amazing launch. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Margaret, Beatrice, Christine, Linda. North Yorkshire, I can see you on those phone lines. Lavinia, hello to you, Gordon. Beatrice, hello to you, North Yorkshire. Barbara, Anne. Claire, Manchester, Pat, hello to you. Alison, Nicolette, Gillian, new customer, Vivian. What an amazing, you're going to love this. When it lands on your doorstep, you're going to straight away immediately see the luxury that has been invested. And it is literally just by upping the gram weight, um, upping the, uh, so the, the silver work, the craftsmanship of these chains, and of course the embellishment of the gemstones. Would you agree with me here, Hannah? These have to be one of some of the most decadent chains we've ever had. Absolutely. But I, I think the fact that they're, they've sort of been made with, with Mark's... Um Pendants in design, and you know the, the fact it's all in the same thing in mind. It's like it's the whole package. It, it, it's just high end. It's beautiful, good quality, and I I really love that. I mean, I know I know we're we're looking at the chains now, so I, so I love the gemstones that have been included anyway. Just some of, some of my favourites are, are, are mixed in there, um, but also the symbolism of, of, of like some of what Mark's pendants mean. Oh, that well. is so the combination wonderful. of the two. Yeah. And at such an affordable uh, you know, price, it's, it's just phenomenal. It's just amazing. Uh, and, and I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything about sort of the symbolism because I want Mark to be able to tell yes, you about yeah, that. But absolutely. you're going to love it. You're going to yeah. absolutely love it. And again, to have that have that symbolism running through the chain as well. Because let's be honest, normally a chain is functional, isn't it? It bears a purpose. It's there to suspend your beautiful pendant from. But this is beyond that. It's actually, look how it draws your eye down towards the chaff inch, literally drawing the eye. And even from the reverse, um, you can see that beautiful pop of zesty, natural greens in your peridot. So, I don't know, in the summer when it starts getting hot, I wear my hair up quite a lot, so I've got, obviously got long hair. Um, if, if it wasn't having that detail, so even when you turn around, you've got beautiful gemstones uh, going down the back. Dare I say, you could pop, probably swing it round and wear it at the front if you wanted. Valerie, well done to you. Christine, Dorothy, Eileen, Elizabeth, County Atrium, Susan, Caroline in London's bought four, Devon, Karen, Jane, Josephine, hello, Merseyside, Janet and Brenda. Um, if you are on a, in the queue on the phone lines, please do bear with our call centre. They are amazing and we are working them hard this morning. Uh, we really are. What's that? Why were you what, what that? They can hear Wayne mumbling away in the background. It was lower than I should have been. It was meant to be £19.99. That's an amazing price for 3.42 grams. And he's not wrong, to be fair. He isn't wrong at all. 12 99 is frankly ridiculous. Again, I'm shopping today. Um, as I stepped out, my, my, my husband kind of peered at me, literally opened one eye, because obviously it was very early. And I was like, just so you know, buying some jewellery today. It's Mark's collection. So I'm going to absolutely indulge. And I need the chains to go alongside it. 
I've got children, so um, Tiggy is at that age where she's particularly grabby. Hannah, you know it. Yeah. You've been through that experience. Yeah. Um, anything they... delicate wouldn't last five minutes. No, they don't. You need something that's a bit more substantial. And also, it's just nice to have something that, uh, that's a bit more, well, I like, I like the way that you can feel. Yeah. yeah. Same. I love it. I love it. I think the garnet. I like the, the garnet. I, I think this is going to yeah. fly. Oh. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, my goodness me. With the ladybird. Oh, Stunning, with the ladybird who's about to take off. I heard, uh, I heard a, um, a story about ladybirds. I don't know how true it is. Oh. That they can't turn corners. Oh. I don't know how true that is. Is that true? No. Ladybirds can't turn corners. Well, it is. They can reverse, they can but they reverse. can't turn corners. Do you don't believe me, do you? I didn't know that. The most carnivorous insect in the garden, but they can't they can't pivot in flight. So they couldn't go, Nyam. they can't do that. They literally have to go dirt. <laughs> I think I love them all the more now just because of I, that. I'm fact. gonna think of them as flying dodgems now. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh yeah, this I'll one catch. alongside Mark's ladybird. Oh my goodness, Mark. This collection is absolutely exquisite. Oh, Here's the chain. There's the ladybird. Oh my goodness me, look at that. It's perfect. I, I, oh. Mark, I've just asked the question if I can shop during your collection. If you can shop. Yeah. They told her no. She's not allowed. I'm not normally not allowed. Look how handsome. Look how handsome. Woo woo. You're gorgeous today. Mwah. 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 Drop a little bit. You look so dashing today. I've had to borrow a bit of tweed. I love it. It suits you. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd make it. This is my first time I'm actually a guest. Guest! Rather than a I guest look really short. today. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it lovely to see Michael? Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I said earlier on, it's a little concoction of Jewelry Maker crew today. Um, I am so excited about this. I can't believe it. And these chains are perfect for your pieces. I did a, um, a coffee and chat yesterday, and Caroline, who's, who's helped me with the collection, she told me, on no account are you to tell anyone about the summer collection. And within 30 seconds, I told <laughs> the entirety of my workshop yesterday. So I'm going to do it today. My I know life. Caroline has told me not to, but I'm going to tell you what's coming yeah. up in summer. So Go I'm, not, I'm not going to give you too much away now. I'll wait till 11 o'clock. But well, I've seen your garden in bloom in yeah. summer, and I can't. Uh, yeah, it's gonna. The collection's gonna be equally exquisite. Look at this, perfect to go alongside your ladybird. I've just been. I've just been sat in the gallery with Wayne, going through the sterling silver weights. Yeah, three point four two grams. Have you seen the Dutch iris yet? Yes, that's there. Oh, it's there, is it? There. It is incredibly heavy, isn't it? Yeah, but it's you need because it's a heavy chain or, or a heavy a collection, really. You need a more substantial Absolutely. chain to go Absolutely. alongside but it. The, the whole feel of the chain is they're so fluid, and we've got that little accent with the extender chain with the little yeah. matching stones on the back. And here they are. The so first this time we've ever done anything like this, apparently. Oops. Caroline was saying. Is lovely. it? So we've yeah. not actually had the no. gemstones in the extension no. before. No. There's that beautiful natural garnet, even down to the link that we've chosen within the chain. You know, it's you can beautiful. actually see the quality that you're getting. Absolutely amazing, twelve ninety nine. But again, sales manager Wayne, he was kind of muttering underneath his uh, underneath his breath. It oh, have, wasn't meant to be actually twelve ninety nine. It was meant to be nineteen ninety nine. I, um, I just think this is the perfect chain range and pendant range for all of your Easter gifts. I just think it, yes. it just says Easter, doesn't it? Oh, it's my garden. It does, do it does, garden. it does. So you should, I'd be very proud if that was my garden. Mine looks nothing like that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm shopping with you today because these chains are an absolute must for me to go alongside uh, each of Mark's absolutely beautiful pieces. I mean, the choice of gemstones as well, they're all birthstones. Absolutely. So even if yes. you, you know, you, yep. you, the fact that you've gone that extra, uh, extra mile if you're gifting yeah. to someone within oh, those months. Lovely. It's lovely. We, the ladybird is absolutely beautiful. Yesterday, the ladies really liked the chaffinch. Did you notice that little delicate little amethyst yes. on his bottom? Yes, hence he's, so he's there the on the floor. amethyst. Yeah, that was beautiful. Right, swap those over. Yeah, so you can either pop him on, on the, the peridot or the amethyst. But as you said, they're all birthstones. 
so beautifully made, and now I'm really just just from pen to paper to see what's been actually produced. It's it's very humbling. Well, you you know the feeling when you launch. Overwhelming, yours. isn't it? Yeah. It's very yeah. overwhelming. Now, how about a drop of sunshine? Do you like the butterfly? It has to go on the butterfly. The butterfly is absolutely exquisite. So this beautiful sterling silver chain is with citrine. Mm -hmm. Feeds on beautifully, perfectly. Literally feeds on perfectly. I'm all fingers and thumbs. There we are. Okay. There we are. I'm going to hold this up to the next. I've not seen baguette cut in a pendant for such a long time. It's just beautiful. Look at that. With something as exquisite as Mark's designs, you want the most exquisite chain. Absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, because. You know, I could buy Mark your chains, and then if I get stuck it on a trace chain, it's just not quite. No, it's no. not. It's not doing it justice. I want the eye to be drawn to gravitate towards your butterfly. Look at the luster, even as it's lay draped, <laughs> draped across the deck. <laughs> he hasn't lost his um. Yeah. Naughtiness. Innuendo. No naughtiness. Um, as it's draped across the decolletage, look how the light literally travels around every single one of those links. Even from distances, there has to be enough of you on the phone lines. We have gone, we've got 200 of each of these designs. They were meant to be 19.99. That, yes, that's your deal of the day price. <laughs> but it's a pretty exciting day, very exciting uh, launch coming up in the next, uh, the next hour. Eek! Yeah, I've come in on my day off. You have? Yeah. Very kindly. No, it's, mm. I was never going to miss it. I went out last night. I, I did understand. go, yes, I did go out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did, but I always had in mind that the fact that I was going to be here today. Don't worry. Look at the quality 3.42 grams for £12.99. Yes, That's less than what we could expect to pay in most, esta most establishments mm. for one gram. Absolutely. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just, I just think it, it's, it's so refined to have a matching, matching set, isn't it? I yeah. I think it's, it's exquisite. Yeah, because, I mean, some jewellers, um, not all, granted, not all, some jewellers you kind of go in and, or actually, uh, a couple of points. So that, that bluebell that I was telling about, Tom bought me a bluebell uh, necklace for Mother's Day, Alex Monroe. Mm. Alex Monroe, it was 130 or 140 pounds or something like that with a little kyanite, tiny, tiny little kyanite, uh, which is suspended from. It's lovely. The chain is very light, very, very light. It's also only 18 inches, which as you all know, I like a 20 yeah. inch. So it only gives me the chance to sort of wear it just here. This, you can wear it in at different lengths. So many of you dialing through, uh, but again, there's cues on the phone lines. Gillian, Chris, Yvette, Jane, Zoe, Brenda, Gabrielle, Bernadette. Wait a minute, a bit of simple maths. For all four chains, if I wanted to get all four, that's working out at, what, four, 50 pounds for all of that sterling silver, if I wanted to get all four of the chains. Mm. And they're all birthstones as well. All birthstones. And they're all, I think they all complement each other as well with the, the little um, pendant drops as well. I love that. I absolutely love that. Well done to you, Carol, Gillian, Yvette, Margaret, Beatrice, Rachel, Dagmar, new customers, Kaz in Wiltshire, uh, Susan, you're there as well. Oh my goodness me, I love it. I love it, I love it. I'm shopping with you as well. And as a member of staff, we get perks. We get little incentives and savings. I don't think I can buy it at what's on your screens right now. Mm -hmm. So I can't. No, there we go. So I'm actually better off <laughs> shopping with you as well. Tracy, well done. Beatrice, I can see you there. Susan, Mary, Lynette, Pauline, congratulations to each and every single one of you. 200 might sound like a massive quantity of each of the, of the chains. It's really not. I've done auctions of 2,000 before and they've sold out. So, uh, but just so you know, very, very, very special Saturday morning because our special guest... <laughs> Mark After Smith, all years, <laughs> yeah, launching his mm. very own collection. No, you might so. have to go a different way home, by the way. Okay. Studley is a nightmare. There's, okay. There's, there's traffic lights on the um, Ivy House roundabout. Okay. And it's queuing right up to the M42 and all the way back to the other side of Studley. So it might be better to go through to the train station and. And loop way. round. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, Mark, mm -hmm. you're you're going to come back at eleven o'clock. 
Go and have a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Go and have a cup of tea, calm your nerves. You don't need to be nervous though, because these wait. are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait, I can't See wait. Um, but don't go anywhere, because I'm about to bring you natural type A black jade. Um, 12 millimeters black jade. Many of our viewers are, are extremely knowledgeable about gemstones, particularly now if you've got that book, you know, the Bible that you can reference. Yeah, yeah. But it comes in different colors, doesn't it? So you can get your imperial green, you can get apple green, you can get lavenders, purples, yellows, caramel, red colors, and you can get black, which at the moment, well, no, not at the moment, black jadeite is incredibly expensive. And there is a, a very good reason for it. Well, jadeite as a whole is incredibly expensive, but jet, uh, jet black, which is basically what this is, yeah. commands an astronomical price point. And I want to show you um, an article which is talking about the variety that you can source in this little showcase. What makes dark jade highly valuable? The reason dark jade is uh, very... The reason dark jade is very rare is because it requires a long time and specific conditions to form. It, due to its natural chemical structure, we need to know the color first here is not black. So this is not something that you can compare directly to jet as a gemstone or onyx or obsidian or spinel. It has a different color. And if we read on, you can see why. Um, nor is it charcoal or gray. Dark ink color is not a natural base color in the universe. Think about that for a second. How many gemstones do you know that actually have an, a sort of an, an inky bluey green color? Very, very, very few. Yeah. Start thinking about your flora and fauna. Very, very, very few. It takes a long time to grow from emerald green to deep black under the influence of cosmic rays. So when you're looking at a black jade, and we've spoken about in the past the fact that very extreme and specific geological conditions to form and produce jade. This has progressed through those colours. So these were once imperial jade, and they've gone through that transition over billions of years to create this amazing natural stone. It still carries the nature of dark green under strong lights too. So technically speaking, a piece of truly authentic dark jade requires, here we go, billions of years to form from green to dark green, finally to that dark ink color. Three times longer than any other jade in the world. And it cannot be replicated by hand. Time is the best evidence. So when we consider gemstones that the color can be transformed by uh, technologies, you know, like, like, like your tanzanite can be heat treated, yeah. um, rubies can be heat treated or sort of fissure filled. This cannot be replicated with any other process. Mother nature herself, you can dye it, but that's not then type A jade, which is obviously what you're gonna be getting. Now, as I said, highly revered, astronomically expensive in some of the uh, in some of the big jewelry brands I mean I'm gonna be showing you a photograph a piece of jewelry if we can click through I haven't got the clicker um, if we can actually click through not this one there we go pieces like this black jade can you imagine the price point of this piece Tahitian pearls VSI diamonds look at the luster it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, the it's jade, funny. all Mother Nature's doing. Let me see, have I got the clicker now? I'm see, check I'm doing it in the right way. Ah, that way. Black jade with rubellites. Look at this. Cartier themselves, £35,000. Take, take, take for a second, take note on the size of that black jade. Mm. It's basically half a round, isn't it? It is, yeah. Encrusted in 18 karat gold, I assume then parve set with your diamonds. You're about to get an opportunity to purchase not half a round. <laughs> That's 
full strand of 10 millimetre rounds. These have only ever been on with Dave Troth. We are down to the final six. Look at that black. But when you get, get this under a really strong light, you'll actually see that beautiful, deep, inky colour. Completely and utterly natural. Here, this is Dave's photograph that he's going to show you. Black jade. There we go. You can see the price. And that's for one, oh no, two. Two donuts. You've got an entire strand here, not individual solitaires, of 10 millimetres in their size. We're starting at £500, and you have way more in terms of carat weight to that piece that we saw over in Tucson. When we look at this recording, you start seeing those beautiful, deep, inky black colours that we should expect from this gemstone. I'm just going to read something to you just quickly, and this is uh, not, not from the PowerPoint, but it's something within my book. Black Jade. Highly valued due to extreme rarity and the length of time it takes to form. Black Jade requires hundreds of millions of years, three times longer than all other colours of jadeite, from dark green to the dark ink colour. The highest quality black jadeite is deep in colour and should look like silk. I think we all agree. It's stunning, isn't it? I think we all agree this looks like silk. It really does. It really does. And uh, you, I mean, it does look kind of almost sort of blue black to me. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think when you had it next to your dark denim, you could really sort of like appreciate it. Absolutely. It sort of draws the colour for you a bit. This Gorgeous. takes billions of yeah. years, and we are not stopping at two hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Are we not? No. Is here's another question. Okay. Whilst you're getting yourself ready, because there are only five, four. Ooh. Does ours look inferior to that Cartier black jade? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Does it look like silk? I think so. There are four of these available. Everybody pays that final low price tag. This is the only black jadeite that we have in the entire business. Three strands. One, two, three. That's it. That's all we have. Pat, you have got yours. Linda, you have got yours. Pauline, you have got yours. You can get hold of this for £74.99 on split pay. Or can you? Dave took this extra low with your cyan red silk. Can you imagine? Oh, stunning. That's ridiculous. That, I wasn't oh here when, da that, yeah, when, yeah. Dave, <laughs> when Dave did this showcase. I wasn't with him. It must have been alongside Carol. £199.99. pence. We've brought cabochons for half that price. Single yeah. stones. Yeah, uh, you get so much. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Like loads of it. I'm going to read that sentence again. Whilst you're yeah. appreciating what you're getting, the highest quality black jadeite is deep in colour and should feel and look like silk. It does exactly that. And you can get it home for £30. Or as Dave would say, 30 quid? <laughs> 30 quid on your split pay? It just doesn't make sense. It's £35,000 for one half of your... I don't know what size it is. And it is gold. And there is your, probably VSI diamonds so encrusted across the centre. But do you think the, the rarity is in the diamonds and the gold? Or do you think the rarity is actually in the black jadeite? There is a queue on the phone lines for the last one. Stay where you are. I've got Barbara there and Karen there. And a new caller on the phone lines. Can you imagine this being your first purchase from JM? Can you imagine? Natural, type A, get your certificate of authenticity, by the way. It's 25p. You might as well, because when you do transform this into your luxury piece of jewellery, it, it won't say how much you've purchased it for. You don't want that information on there. Um, it will say that it is completely and utterly natural. There are five of you in for the last one. Rachel, Catherine, new customer, Karen and Barbara. Um, Good luck, good luck, good luck. Four people on the phone lines. For, uh, there's a slight delay between what I'm seeing here and what, what the reality actually is in the, in, you know, on the phone lines. If it's in your basket, that's pointless. Someone will take it from your basket. Probably me. You'd be so cross, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would take it, though. So quick. <laughs> yeah. That's why we always say check out. You, know, you still only pay the one postage and packaging. You're getting one of the rarest gemstones. And even more than that, 
the oldest variety. This was once Imperial Jade, and it's transformed. Amazing. Yeah, I love that. I love the fact that it's it's got that backstory as well. So it, it, it's 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 morphed itself into something yeah. even more beautiful. It's just it's just stunning, isn't it? Timeless, an heirloom. I'm going to show you something very rare, rare. extremely yeah. rare. And I've done this before with Dave actually, and normally on the overhead camera. I don't know if you can see that there, Ollie. Imagine this, knotted, just like so. Visualize it. Maybe Siam red silk. Yes. In between and over the top of the head. Natural Taipei black jadeite necklace. This is the realms of Bonhams and Sotheby's and Christie's. Just imagine it as some like fancy like red carpet event and you've got like a, I don't know, a green satin dress or, oh, or, yes. or, or, or like a deep claret colour or oh some, my gosh. something. And then this, this is just like the crowning glory, isn't it? It's yeah. Stunning. Again, can you just look at that? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that Cartier ring. It's beautiful. And I, I, the reason why I've included it in the PowerPoint is because it is beautiful. 35 grand. Look at how much more carrot weight you can actually get in this strand, 200 carats, and we're at a double figure price tag. So the finest quality should be deep in color, should look and feel like silk. Now, Wayne has just said there was, a, oh my goodness, look at that luster. That, I, I actually questioned whether this was black jade um, initially because it is so lustrous yeah shiny i know it's not a, it's a I know, i was thinking shiny feels like the wrong word it's it's different isn't it there's, there's mirror lines there's, there's, yeah it's it's like a mirror glaze on something isn't it we've got 20 of these we had a big quantity so dave did something extra special on your price point um i want i want to get this i want to get hold of this i'd use it with some lovely pearls i think Yes, yeah. I mean, I quite like the idea of, of you know, you were saying about having um, the, the red silk um, to knot between it. You know, if you if you felt so inclined, you could make a, a mala out of it, couldn't you? Like, like oh long line. Like, I mean, how yeah, how luxurious could that be? Dave didn't think about yeah. the split pay. But twenty five pounds. <gasps> well done, Rachel. You were the first to get yours. Ooh. I want to join you, Rachel. <laughs> I went out last night. I don't know if I go out, by the way. And I've I, been saying my eyes I, aren't working. Am I, I seeing more that? Than that for a cocktail? <laughs> oh I, honestly, there was. It, it wasn't. Honestly, I don't go out very often. I don't go out. In fact, hardly ever at all. <laughs> Twelve pounds forty-nine. Wow. That is ridiculous. This is natural. It's not dyed. It's not jade, which has been submerged in a dye or polymer impregnated. This is mother nature colored. This has taken billions of years to transform, to morph through the colors. So this may well have been lavender, then purple, then maybe, I don't know what, you know, which color comes first. Then maybe your, 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 your apple blossom green, then to your imperial greens, right the way up to this wonderful, deep, beautiful, decadent black. I don't blame you for multi-buying. I would as well. That's ridiculous. You have £12.49. This is on your doorstep. 30-day money-back guarantee. Get your certificate, though. I tell you what, because for what, 20... OK, £13 with your certificate. That's ridiculous. You'd pay more than that for the certificate in most places. Yeah, you would. <laughs> let alone the jadeite. What was Dave thinking? That knotted, if you, can, if you can afford to get hold of the graduations, and we've got three strands, that's all the black jade out that we have in our entire vault. If you can treat yourself, indulge <coughs> in, in, in the graduation of strands, can you imagine a beautiful navel skimming rope of black jade out? Absolutely glorious. I mean, if you put like a gold spacer bead between them. Ah. Oh. Like really, really luxurious. Your like, halos. Like the halo beads, yes. Actually, what size? What size did you say the? They were ten. So, so, so the larger halo bead fits the ten. These and, are eight. And the smallest fits the eight. 
So they would work show those Halo Bees. Absolutely. They look fantastic. How much do you love a six mil? They're the 10, here's the eight. Wait until you see these. How many have you got, Wayne? 40. <laughs> I just heard Mark say, yes. what? what? Yeah, we, yeah, we had a similar reaction. <laughs> I, I, do you know what? If Dave had a moment of madness before, then we are absolutely benefiting from that, aren't we? So yeah, it's just like absolutely. The most amazing opportunity. 30 people on the phone lines. Rachel, you are on it today, my darling. Well done, you. First one in checking out straight away. I would be doing exactly the same. It's the, it's the oldest variety of jadeite that exists. Got the jadeite Pixu the other day. Just right, right to make my bracelet. Oh, yes. Okay. The phone lines have, uh, yeah, have lit up. That, what on earth is that? I mean, seriously, what? <laughs> Sorry, but why is that price tag? £8.74. Oh, my goodness me. Um, oh, look at that, though. Look how, have you ever seen a, a black, you might think a black gemstone is a black gemstone, but there are distinct differences they, they are between different, the two. Yeah. This is yeah. like silk. Well then, Sue, got it. The strand will go into my treasure box for my grandchildren. Never dreamt I could own black jade. Nor me, Sue. Never in a million years. I knew it existed, but I never thought I would have the budget. I'm not too proud to admit that. I, you know, I haven't got particularly deep pockets. You know, I have to be conscious as well. But £8.74? £8.74 pence only? I mean, honestly, yeah, I bought the cocktails, but I was wincing buying those cocktails. You know, like, what? Yeah, it's like, ouch. Yes, <laughs> well, just have the one and savour it. <laughs> £34.99 and pence only. I'm, I, I am Amazing. completely envious of you all. There was 40 of these. Barbara's got two. Lee, Pat, new customer. Heather, Rachel's got two. Well done, up in your quantity. Samantha's multi-bought. Berkshire, Ella. These are going to sell out today. And this is it. That's all the black jade we have. I'm not sure what Dave was thinking. He's here, isn't he? I think, have I, no? I don't know. He's, um, I'll ask him the question if next time I see him. What on earth were you thinking with type A black <laughs> jadeite? And if you've got the, the smaller size, I mean, you could make like a lovely like uh, beady bead. Oh, so yes. if we're going back to the long line necklace with the red cord, and then your beady bead, and then you, and a red tassel at the end yes. of it. It would just be like really sort of oriental. And oh, it would. Beautiful, very chic. What about with Mark's ladybird? Oh, yes, that would look fantastic, yeah. wouldn't it? The little garnet Which ladybird, there, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I've got to do it, I'm going to, because I did with the uh, 10 mil and the 8 mil, I'm going to do it with the 6 mil as well. If you can, really indulge and treat yourself to maybe all three strands. Obviously, I can't show you the graduation, but you could work it out so it's 10 mil, 8 mil, 6 mil. How unbelievable Fabulous. would that piece of jewellery yeah. be? So notting, rich. literally notting through. The natural. That is the kind of, that's the jewellery that you would find in Bonham, Sotheby's and, uh, and all those really expensive jewellery house pieces. You, yeah, you absolutely Without would. any clasp. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't need a clasp. It wouldn't. It, I just, but uh, again, if you if you, if you picked a, a thread that, that was was visible, light red, or or, mm -hmm. or like a dark sort of emerald green, or a oh emerald blue, green, yeah, they would look amazing, absolutely oh. amazing. If there's any of these left or in your baskets, I'm taking it because I love the idea of the emerald green cord. <laughs> That's a good a good show. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it would look fabulous. Look, here we go. Oh, it's Lord. the ladybird. Can you imagine? Or would you go the other way? Would you have it on the smaller gemstones tapering down towards the ladybird? Either or, it's going to look absolutely amazing. Absolutely Super. beautiful. Coming up soon, we know we're behind time, very, very, very shortly. Um, ah, it's half drilled. Blue, a, this has got a blue colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's got a big, a big chunk there, a big sizeable piece again. Tilt it towards you so you can see. Size of the drill hole. Type A, again. Look at that mottling. 
Um, when it comes to jadeite, it's like we've got four C's for the diamonds, haven't we, to, in terms of the actual uh, quality factors. With jadeite, it is, oops, color, transparency, and texture. The texture on this is absolutely exquisite. Um, 99 pounds and 99 pence. So, yeah, literally just securing some sterling silver wire or head pins, gluing it with your hypo cement, looping it over maybe one of your deal of the day gorgeous chains. Really? This might well be the most affordable Taipei Burmese jade out that you get. I'm going to say something. You might be able to treat yourself to two, three, maybe jadeite earrings, jadeite pendants, your guru to your mala. If you got two and you love, Michael, you couldn't poss possibly pass me that pearl necklace, could you? Imagine this as the scarf that yes. we said, black jadeite, the those. scarf, and then these two, uh, this Amazing. at the end. Amazing. You know, you know the ones that, thank you, lovely, yeah, that's it. We showed this the other day um, with our gorgeous Susie. Imagine, instead of having chain, you've got the green drops on the end of the... You had that. Especially if you'd knotted it with green um, cord. As ah, well. I love that idea. So you'd need two, right? Yep. So you'd need it as, as a for, uh, see what I mean? It's got, to, <laughs> it's got to be one of the most affordable jadeites price per carat. Earrings, exactly look at the mottling, that texture, which is no d half drilled. So we're not spoiling or interrupting the beautiful patterns on the underside of the drop. This is going nuts on the web and on the phone lines. I'm not surprised. So many people during the show that I had with Susie a couple of, was it a couple of days ago? I've lost all time. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> we're actually saying, I'm loving this. And she made one. It was, it's on her Facebook page. It was literally Dior are doing it at the moment where they have pearls or black jade that you basically wear as a scarf. So it's not 360, it's worn as a scarf. Instead of having tassels, you can get Burmese jade I mean, in this beautiful draw. Yeah, it's fantastic. Absolutely stunning. And it's like, it's, it's supposed to be lucky. It's yeah. supposed to be... Um, Moral know, integrity. Yeah, there's, there's, there's so many things that, that it's supposed to promote that, that will boost your well-being or, or said to boost your well-being. And then it looks beautiful. And then we've done ridiculous things with the price point. So it's one it's, of the rarest gemstones in the world. It's something that you could achieve. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that's amazing. Um, well done. We're going to leave the graphics on your screens, jewelry makers. We have got quantity of these. That price is frankly laughable make sure you check out i'm going to join you because it is we're just cutting to a break so i'm going to join you on this um we're going to say goodbye to hannah for the time being and thank her so much that's for, all right thanks for having me oh always a pleasure oh. always a pleasure and a joy and hopefully we, it's not too long till we see you again um the third i think third of, of yes. april yes. if we're in april yes. um really excited about that thank, thank you, you gorgeous thank lady you. but do not go anywhere because looking a vision of suave sophistication um, for the first time ever we are introducing your wonderful designer Mark Smith as a very special guest as he launches for the first time ever to the world chestnut close Everybody. Um, I'd just like to invite you on Monday morning um, to see the gr grand launch of the die cutting machine. Um, it's been long awaited and it's a fascinating show but you can also cut um, flowers out with them, um, you can cut, you can have necklaces, you can do anything with jewellery making as well in it so um, I hope you join me then and, uh, and enjoy the show.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. As many of you know, my second greatest love after Jewelry Maker is my garden. Um, I'm very lucky to have a beautiful space that we've turned, it's taken 10 years, but we've turned it into a beautiful haven for, for fauna and for flora. And a few months ago, I was asked if I wanted to come up with a range of jewellery products, jewellery items that mirrored my gardening life. So sat down with the production company and I'm delighted, overjoyed, to invite you all to join me on Saturday the 26th of March for the Spring Chestnut Close Collection. Chestnut Close Collection is all about my garden at home and throughout the next four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I'm going to be launching three flowers growing in the garden and three fauna, so insects, birds, animals, all of which inhabit the garden. So on the 26th of March, we're going to be launching spring, consisting of three flowers and three birds and insects. And I can't wait to share this whole range with you. It's gonna be an amazing morning. Can't wait to see you all for the launch of my very own Chestnut Close Collection. I couldn't be more excited. Do you know, I'm, I'm normally, when I do a big launch, I'm quite nervous, but um, I'm really relaxed today. And just looking at that picture, it, it just, that's my, that's my happy place. I was going to say exactly that. That is, that's, that, my, that, that's yeah. you know. We, we have this, this conversation all the time because lots of our viewers, especially over the past couple of years, they've said, they've texted in or they've messaged us on Facebook to say um, how much jewellery making as a hobby and as a craft has helped them through the past two years. Mm -hmm. you know, lots of people have been at home and looking for new hobbies and something to take their mind off everything that's going on. Now for me, jewellery making is my job. I get up at six o'clock every morning, do all my bits and pieces. I start work at seven once Andrew's gone to work. Mm -hmm. And then for anything from eight, 10, 12 hours sometimes, I'm making jewellery, that's my job, mm -hmm. okay? Love it, I wouldn't do anything else, that's my job. But I also need downtime, I need something that just takes me away. Now, over winter, autumn and winter, there's not actually that very much to do. Once, once you've planted the bulbs in September and October, there's not actually no. a lot to do outside. So that's when I do my cross stitch. Yes. You see. But now the days are getting longer. The clocks go forward tomorrow, so that's an extra hour in the evening. So uh, the cross stitch we'll just put to the side for a few months, and then we'll full tilt at the garden. We've, I was saying to you the other day, we've got two tons of manure being delivered 
next week for mulching and getting everything ready for getting everything ready for spring and summer. And this is so a passion is both yours and Andrew's. Massively, massively. Yeah. I mean, we, we've, we've massive, both massive keen gardeners and uh, we're members of the National Trust and RHS and all the associations there are. And we just lo love going to gardens and just spending hours pottering and garden centres and plants. And um, so that you can see all the little box hedging. So Andrew and I met, I can't believe that's 15 years ago. And... Um, not long after we met, I moved in, and that was just a bare lawn. The hedge was there, as you see it, mm -hmm. and it was just bare lawn, nothing. So it's taken us all these years. And we, so the year before last, just the first year of lockdown, we got it to the point where we can sit back and enjoy it. You know, we're doing things like raking up leaves and pruning and deadheading and a bit of weeding, but all of the hard work is done now. And at last, we've got to the point where we can just sit on the lawn with a glass of wine and just enjoy it. Uh, I mean, you know. it's, I, I have got nothing but admiration because something like this is a real labour of love. Mm -hmm. A lot of and work. And a lot of money. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm sure. And do you yeah. know, I, just, I don't yeah. know why this crossed my mind. You'd never move, would you? It would be really difficult. And the, the, not the issue that we've put all this work into it because you know, it's a legacy, but the fact is that if we, you see the house, that's our house just mm -hmm. there. It, it's a family home. So it's, it needs a family with children they're not going to have the time for the upkeep, you see. No, so, that's true. So that, so, it, and as I said, because it's, a, it's, it's, it's quite a big family home with children, I mean, you, would, would you and Tom be able to manage that on, no. on a daily basis? Oh my basis? gosh, so, no, and, so, and also my kids wouldn't so it, appreciate it. So one respect, it. You yeah. know, we'd, we'd like to, you know, eventually we'd like to downsize and, and move into a smaller house with a bigger garden and yeah. a vegetable patch and chickens and all that sort of thing. But at the back of our mind, it's what's going to happen to all of our 10 years of hard I work. I, so. I, I understand that. So, yeah, so it makes sense then, Mark, to have this marriage of your two greatest passions. And do you know what? It's, it's taken three years for me to agree to do a range. I've been asked so many times and I've never had the confidence or the idea to, really? to go ahead and do it. And, um, and lovely Caroline, who, who I just adore Caroline, she said, no, come on, it's about time we sorted you out. We need to get this done. Have you any idea? And I thought, well, at this, at this stage now, I've got something every single month of the year, I've got something in flower. So she said, well, why don't you do something around the garden? So we'll come up with all these names. And then I suddenly thought, well, can we call it Chestnut Clove? Because, you know, that's the name of it. And it reminded me sort of Brambley Hedge and, and yes, names like yes. that. Yes, yes. And I think, um, I think Chestnut Clove just epitifies it. And, and lots of the viewers have have been on my jewellery making journey since the day I started and they've grown up with how the garden's progressing and all my photos I've put on my Facebook and little videos and all this sort of thing. So I'm not only known for the jewellery side of my life, it, it's, it's the gardening as well. And before I joined JM, I, I, I was in the garden centre. You know, yes, I've always been, I, I mean, remember. So horticulture is my, is my background anyway. So having that love and then this and the whole, the whole thing's just come together perfectly. It's uh, and, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but there is a pattern of chestnut close, isn't there? <laughs> yes, so would yes. you, just for those people that have tuned in, especially for this occasion, Mark, yeah. explain the pattern? Okay, so there are, as I've just mentioned, we've got to the stage now where every month of the year there is something in flower. Mm -hmm. Okay, Even December, we've got hellebores and Christmas roses and things like that. And obviously you get your daffs coming up and your crocus and then your tulips and then it goes on to your, da your camellias and your dahlias and your iris. So every month of the year there is a flower in bloom in the garden. Mm -hmm. So I thought okay we'll do, we'll do a series of flowers and we did come up with the idea originally doing a, t a Pandora style friendship bracelet uh -huh. that you had the charms to. Okay. But I thought well I don't want it strictly on a bracelet, I want to do something so I'll give you a little snippet of next season in it when we get to the end. Um, so we've got the flowers and then, and then I thought, well, what else can we do as well? And every month of the year, we've either got an insect in the garden, we've got a bird, we've got an animal. So I thought, well, why don't we come up with a collection with every month of the year, there's a flower and a fauna. Okay, oh. so we've got, as I said, I'll, I'll tell you what we've got coming up a bit later. So what I've done, I've scrolled all through my, my back catalogue of photographs and gone through the months chosen the photographs of the, of the flower that's in bloom at that point. So yeah. every month, the flower that you, that, um, that you may want to buy is going to be in flower. So camellias, for example, our yeah. garden's full of camellias. We've got so many tulips coming up that aren't just quite in flower yet, but they will be in a few weeks' time. Yeah. And then we've got the Dutch iris, which will be in bloom sort of June time. So, Love the iris. So every month, the flower that you wear around your neck 
we will have in the garden. And lots of people at home, and lots of people, that, uh, lots of our viewers are keen gardeners as well. I was about to so, say that, you know, it's, yeah. it, this is, if, it, generally speaking, if we're quite creative, then we're, we're yeah. creative in other aspects Absolutely. as well, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely, yeah. So, so what we've come up with, back to your first and original question, is there are going to be four collections, four months, or four seasons, you see. So, yeah. so we're launching spring today, and summer, which I'll tell you all about, I know I'm not allowed to, but I'll tell you all about at the end of the, of the hour, um, we're launching in May and birthday week. So six weeks time, we're going to be launching summer and it is amazing. And then, and then a couple of months later, it'll be autumn and then winter as well. They're, they're absolutely, I mean, I've seen them for the first time in person today, Mark, and they are absolutely I'm, exquisite. I'm absolutely thrilled. And, and you know, drawing sketches, you do, yeah. you're not quite sure how they actually come no, about. No, no. And I think one of them, the Dutch iris, I don't quote me, but is I that think this one? that's this one here. I think it's the first time that we've used a 3D printer it's to, to, to make the mould. That's this one. Oh, my yes. God, I love this. this me is too. Great. Feel that weight. I you know. Won't, you won't believe the weight, the ground weight of silver in this. So this, this is, is this is the Dutch iris. And um, so this this will be in, this will come into flower in June. And, um, and I believe this was done with... Uh, Three to first time we've done a 3D mould using a 3D printer in our production. Mark, that's absolutely I love, stunning. I think it's just beautiful. And, uh, and that little Zambian amethyst is a little touch at the end. Because Dutch iris come in white, yellow or purple. Yeah. You see, so we've done citrine for the yellow. And we, we didn't want a white stone, so obviously it, it had to be the purple. But I just think it's the most, it's just beautiful. And, and, uh, and when we come to, to bring the item, in each of the, the, the collection, you get a little card Yes. A bit of information or well, we'll read those out, or, um, written by yeah. your good self yes, yes. Um, as well. So we'll read those out, which is just a lovely, lovely detail. I'm going to show everybody mm. as well, Mark, how they... Because if you're thinking about gifts, maybe you know somebody mm. that's a keen gardener um, as well. This is going to be perfect. So they come within their own amazing little hessian bag signed by Mark. Yeah. So each, each season, the colour, the, 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 the font and everything will stay the same, but the colour is going to change. So, so the next season is going to be pale baby blue. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. And then you have the little uh, the write-up. Yeah. We'll so the little, the little pictures that you get at the top are photographs from the garden. And then we, we as I said... From your garden? Yes. Of course. <laughs> of course it is. Now, we're going to launch this in 60 seconds. Which one? We're going to start with a oh, tulip. Yeah, one of my yeah. favourite flowers. I love the tulip. They're I absolutely love it. There's not a colour that tulips don't come in. We were thinking the other day, wouldn't it be bizarre if daffodils came in tulip colours? So if you had a purple daffodil or a red daffodil, you know, it's... Uh, I think the citrine, yeah, the citrine. Start with the citrine. Yeah, they're just beautiful. Amazing. I saw an aerial view, actually, of uh, uh, in Holland. Oh, yes, of the, the fields. Field. Literally, it's... Uh, that's, like, that's the growing capital of the world for tulips. Amazing. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, I'm going to hand you this. Do you want me to mm. read this out? No, I, it's up to you if you want to. No, because you've not heard you've not, you've not heard them before. No, I'm going to... OK, I'll, let me just show you the beautiful piece of jewellery that you're getting, the tulip. I always associate it to things like Mother's Day, and of course, yeah, this yeah. is my favourite season of the year. I love it. Lots of, um, it's a positive season, yeah. I think. Spring yeah, um, comes within the bag itself. Are you ready? I'll read the card to you in a second, and loads of you are messaging in, so please do text in so we can share those with Mark. Oh. But that's beautiful. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. If you know someone that's born in this season, absolutely, no, absolutely. And I've got a lady who Facebooked me this morning saying that her mother was called Tulip. Oh, <laughs> it's a beautiful a lovely, name. It's just a lovely, no, it's, it's just beautiful. A gorgeous name. The phone lines are alive, literally alive. Let me read you the card. So this is written by Mark himself. Uh, the most known meaning of tulips is deep love, also known as the 11th wedding anniversary flower. I did not know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, if you're about to embark on new adventures, going through life changes, or welcoming a new member to the family, the tulip is thought to be the perfect gift. Ah, oh. so it has lots of meanings. Is that one of the reasons yeah. why Mother's Day? Then you see so a lot of see, see maybe a lot of Mother's Day, don't you? And and, and the wedding anniversary. And I, I just love tulips. I absolutely. They're, adore they're them. happy flowers, aren't they? Mm. There is a queue on the phone line. So for the how many do we have of each piece? Oh really? Mm. There's only a hundred. 
really delicate, absolutely beautiful, um, featuring, of course, look at the gemstone that you've got within uh, within the top, a stunning, almost like Madeira citrine. And tulips are known for their colour, aren't they? So absolutely. you have to have the finest yeah, Absolutely. You, you could go from white to black, all shades of red, orange, yellow. There isn't a colour. Apart from, you can actually get green tulips now as well. There's, there's one called Groin, it sounds really odd, it's called Groinland, and, it's, and it starts at a dark green at the bottom, and as it, as it gets to the top of oh, the flower, wow. it goes paler to a white. It's just beautiful. So amazing. These are beautiful. There are queues building on the phone lines and we are no way near the launch of your first piece um, of Mark's amazing, amazing collection in just under 30 seconds. That's when that price will drop. So perfect. Everything, Mark. You, you know, you've thought of literally everything mm. here. We've got a few messages for you. Uh, Margot, uh, congratulations, Mark. It's a stunningly unique collection. Um, yeah, gorgeous, Margot. Lots of you texting in, and then we'd love to show um, each and every single one going to have the tulip, one of Mum's favourites. Uh, will be on a brooch, uh, oh, and she'll idea. wear uh, the necklace. Beautiful. Well done, Mark, says Miss Janet. Uh, it is. It's, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just lovely. And I think this is small enough to wear on, on a bracelet if you wanted to as well. Or you could even or you could even take the bail off and use them as earrings if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, 24. Be really lovely. Did wow. you agree to these prices? No, I, I didn't know. That's the only thing I didn't know. I knew the amounts we had, but I had no idea on, on prices. That's the only thing that I've not been privy to. £24.99. Beautiful. Pence. Beautiful. It's, so, it's just... The, I, love, I think the reason I love the tulip is, is it's such an Art Nouveau, Art Deco shape and mm. style as well mm, and just having that, having that stone at the top there and even when they because i've got some tu a bunch of tulips in our kitchen at the moment right. and even when they sort of start to open out and possibly even go over mm. yeah. they still look yeah. beautiful don't they what i love if you, if you grow them in the garden especially on a sunny day like that it has been and the tulips are tight they open out during the day and then at night they they, Do close, they? they close again yes i did not know that yeah, have a look have a look then when, when your tulips come out if it's a nice sunny day they'll open out and then they'll close up again and do they, you know, do they, uh, well, you, uh, what, what month of the year does the tulip bloom then? This? Next month. Next yeah, month? April. Ah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, as you'll see them. Obviously, they're, they're in shops for Christmas, pretty much, because they're grown overseas. Yes. Or forced in greenhouses. But naturally, it'll, it'll be April, April, May time. That's why I love them. That's why I, you, on my, I, I do a little video called, it's called lasagna planting, where you do layers. Uh -huh. So you get a large pot, and you put first tulips in the bottom, and then daffodils and then crocus. So then you, the, you have the crocus and then you have the daffodils and then you have the tulips. So you can have flowering for about three months. Wow. In one pot. Uh, that's not your price. That's what I've just heard. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. I think most people will have an affiliation to the tulip, you know, certainly have memories that have been conjured up over, over the years with this beautiful gemstone. Um, nowhere near your price tag, apparently. Congratulations, Mark. Beautiful designs. You. You're a real star, says Glenda. Glenda was on the workshop yesterday, so all the ladies had a sneaky peek yesterday. Oh, oh really? <laughs> really, really? Sabine, I was just seeing Sabine on the list there. Sabine was on the workshop as well. They are stunning, yeah. absolutely stunning. I love the yeah. idea of actually wearing them as earrings as well. Super yes, simple to yes. do that. Super simple to do it. This is your final price tag. There is, just so you know, there were a hundred of these. So a very limited edition collection. £17.99. Yes. Well, it's very limited pence. because this we won't be doing spring again, obviously, because we'll be now moving into summer, yeah. summer range. and then all So it's really winter. now to get it's the it's spring. Today's the day. Yeah. Today's the day. Yeah. And then it'll be May for the summer collection. Yeah. I think it'd be really nice if you, if, you, if you bought one of each collection and just had that whole year's where you can wear each a piece every, every month. A relevant piece of jewellery. Absolutely, think so beautiful. Um, only yet, was it yesterday? No, so what day were we on yesterday? Friday, oh. Thursday. When I uh, um, when I when I actually sort of went to pick Tiggy up from uh, from the childminder, and she handed me a bunch of tulips. And a bunch of tulips for Mother's Day, which is ever so sweet. So it's, it's quite an emotional stone for me as well. Um, but yes, of course, this relates back. The inspiration is your beautiful garden. Beautiful garden. Some people want to see the reverse, of course. Oh. And see the quality of it. Look at that. 15 of these are left. Oh. 85 of you have them in your baskets. Look Lovely, at the craftsmanship. Yeah. Looks like a little person dancing, doesn't it? Oh, it does, yes. Do you remember in the 80s, we used to have those little flowers that sat in the windowsill that... that <laughs> yeah, do you remember? <laughs> I had one of those. I Usually wearing glasses. Yeah, I had one of those as well. 
It, I, I mean, this is significantly yeah. more beautiful than those. It's stunning, it's stunning. The, you've, you've managed to capture, Mark, the movement too. I do, I, I, do, I think it's so beautiful. No. And as I, as I said, I, I mean, this isn't just me doing that. I mean, Caroline helped me with the designing and all the photographs, all the production, all the little bags and printing. And mm. Dion has done an amazing job with the, with the little car. Oh, she's, she is incredible. Yeah. There are nine of these left now, the tulip. Um, hi, Mark. It's Les and Lynn. Fabulous oh, collection. You. I Mark. want them all. Love you. Love you too. Les and Lynn. I, I want them you. all as well. Les and Lynn used to go on cruises and do Strictly dancing. Yes. A uh, brilliant idea for a collection. Well done, says Pat. There is yes, a queue. Really, but like, like your collection was to you. I mean, it's incredibly personal when, yes. you, when you, you put what you live with every day into a collection. Like well, it's your happy place, and that's what yeah, jewellery should be. No, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, this is wonderful. Manchester saying, uh, classy collection for a classy guy. <laughs> absolutely. I totally, totally agree with you there. It is on the verge, though, of selling out. And again, um, would you mind for those people no, maybe no, that no. haven't seen, okay. you know, Chestnut Close? Okay. Do I have do I have to press a button to get it started, or just? Just. Oh, left. just just go. Which just way go. shall I go? Right or left? Just have a little click and it'll go the, back. Is that the first one? Yeah, oh, here we go. There we go. So this is this is the greenhouse. So this was last spring. So um, in the summer range, one of the flowers which you can see on the right hand side on the lower shelf are the fuchsia. So we're bringing fuchsia in the next. I love fuchsias. Yeah, so more of this. So that's our, our lavender bed with the alliums on the left there. So so all of this needs needs trimming twice a year, and it's a whole weekend job. Wow. On our knees with little secateurs and things trimming the hedges. So this this is this is the uh, this is the Dutch iris which we've got coming up a bit later. I'm so they're, they're excited about that. Just so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This there is are four left of the oh, tulip. Wow. Sorry. No, no, no. So this is our, our main rose bed. What we've done is we've chosen one variety of rose and repeated it in the bed. So this is called Rose Olivia, and uh, Andrew's goddaughter is called Olivia. So he's um, he's filled the bed with the with Olivia. Ah. Uh. I thought that was so, he's so cross, isn't he? He's so cross. So this is this is Ripley, one of my boys. Uh, any, uh, as lots of cats owners, as soon as there's an empty box, they're in. They get in them. What, yeah, what is that all about? Yeah. Well, here we go. Here are the tulips. Oh, this look. This is called Sorbet Mix, which is very apt, I thought. They're just, they're just absolutely lovely. I love tulips. They stand beautifully proud, don't they, with these yeah. wonderful, delicate absolutely. petals. And this is the picture that started it all off. This is the picture on the business cards that you get inside. If you flip it over, that, that, that's the picture. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you can see just here. There we are. There's the photo. Oh, that's Mark, that's picture. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, from sending Dion the photograph to what she's produced, it's just incredible work. So I'll be eternally grateful to Dion for doing this for me. It's amazing. Wow, absolutely amazing. beautiful. There are three left. Good luck, good luck, good luck, everybody. This is it. You won't get a second no. chance to get hold of uh, each of these pieces because it is literally a spring launch, a summer launch. That's right. Autumn, autumn and winter. winter. Oh. Um, beautiful, well done. There are l so many of you there. We're over allocated. Carol, Gillian, Janine, uh, West Midlands, Gloria, Kent, Denise, Tanya, Devon, Merseyside. I mean, to get that, such a personal, personal design. And one which is immediately recognisable, even straight without away. the story. Absolutely, absolutely. No, each of the pieces uh, you, you recognise straight away. No, and I think no, people will say, you know, oh, tulips, oh, that was my mum's favourite, or, you know, that, yeah, we've got yeah. nostalgic. Yeah. References to that too. It certainly reminds me of when I was a little girl. Don't forget, you can get hold of the chain. Matching chain. Absolutely. Matching chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know why the price isn't showing, but you can get hold of that for twelve pounds ninety nine. So an entire beautiful, beautiful piece of jewellery for less than what? Pretty much thirty pounds, mm. isn't it? Yeah. There are three yeah. left. Three left. Good luck, Amazing. people with multiples in the in their baskets. Hello, Joy. Uh, oh, just bought mine to put away for my youngest granddaughter, who is called Tulip. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's a lovely idea, isn't it? Mm. And obviously we've got Iris. That's another, another yeah. and Camellia. So lots of flowers of, you can name after oh, children. Beautiful. So really nice. Hello, Claire. Uh, hope there will be a cat in the collection. My five cats love the garden. Ripley looks like at my Charlotte. There, isn't, there, there won't be a cat in the Chestnut Close collection, but watch this space. <laughs> Oh. Love that. Uh, hello, Deb. Mark, this collection is stunning, uh, as is yours. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Uh, uh, you should do a collaboration. Yes. Do a bit of a collab. That'd be amazing. That's a great idea, Deb. We'll look into that. It's a great idea. Yeah. 
Okay, Although I'm that. useless at gardening. <laughs> no clue what I'm doing in the garden. Um, I think that's sold out. Wow. We have another tulip. So you can choose your colour. You can choose your colour. Um, Hessonite garnet within this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Oh, Mark. I hope you're so proud. I, I, I love the fact that we've, we've chosen birthstones as well. So it's got lots of connotations and lots of meanings. In yeah. Piece. So they're, they're just beautiful. Oh, you want a hedge? Somebody wants a hedgehog. Okay. Um, okay. Wait for summer. I love hedgehogs. I love hedgehogs. Summer. They run really fast. Summer. Have you got hedgehogs in your garden? Yeah, we've got two. Oh yes. Yeah. We've called them Olive and Arthur. Olive and Arthur. Yeah. They might not be. We don't know what sex they are, but anyway, hey ho. I assume. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Here we go, Mark. Another message for you uh, from Joan. Oh, Thank you, Mark, you, Joan. Uh, for the lovely uh, coffee and chat yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, wake, waiting for the lily in honour of my mum. She was the mm -hmm. loveliest lady and a wonderful Bless mum. You. That's summer as well. You're not. You're going to know what's in summer by before we even bring everything to air. But yes. Yeah, so hedgehog and lily, two of the pieces in summer. And I've already told you about fuchsia, so that's three. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> I'll tell you the rest later Fuchsias on. Fuchsias look like little ballerinas, like don't gorgeous. they? Yeah. Uh, good morning, El oh, Mark and crew. No. This is from Caroline. Dearest Mark, I remember watching your very first appearance on JM. Oh. How far you've come. We love you. So talented. Mm. I totally agree. Mate. I remember, I remember it as well. Um, 11 years in July. I know, you started just before yeah, me, just yes, before me, and yeah. I can remember, I remember the <laughs> first time meeting you. Will there be a worm? No, unfortunately, no, there won't be a worm. <laughs> or, no. a, or a green fly, or a wasp, or a caterpillar, Nats. no. Or a gnat, no. or a daddy long legs, no. Or if there, there isn't a spider. But, but, in autumn, there will be a bat, a pipistrelle bat. L what about a caterpillar? No caterpillars. No, okay. No. To be fair, they're not good for your garden, are they? But we've got the butterfly coming up yes. shortly. So, uh, oh, beautiful. It's just a different colour. This is yeah, a, a yeah. more of a sort of a zesty, uh, zesty orangey yellow, of course, so you, as you'd expect with your uh, hessonite garnet. Completely and utterly mm. natural. Um, hessonite garnet is very difficult to get hold of, but doesn't it capture yeah, the tulip colour perfectly? perfectly? Absolutely perfectly. Because it is a kind of honey yellow in a tulip, Well, isn't tulips, it? As, we, as we say, all, come, all colours are the rainbow, but lots in yellow, lots in orange, lots in rusty tones as well. So the garnet is the perfect stone. Gorgeous. Perfect stone. Absolutely gorgeous. It's very the, elegant. Is it just two colours of the actual tulips? Yes, that's right. So this is it. This is all the colours. Yes, Plus, yes. it's a, it's the colour of spring mm. for me. I look well, at we, yellow. Well, all the other colours, we you know, we sat down with the with the pieces that we were going to have in the spring collection, and we had a limited amount of colours of stone, so we had to decide yep. which stone was going to go with. And obviously, we had chaffinch, so we had to go with the green. And, yep. And that's and the, um, the the black with the ladybird, and so. Yeah. Hessonite garnet is the perfect choice. <laughs> Love bats, says Angela. It's me too. Beautiful. They're really sweet, it's aren't beautiful. they? Yeah. They are. They are really cute yeah. bats. We've got, um, we've got in the summer collection. We've got a dragonfly, as you've never seen a dragonfly before. As Michelle is saying, any dragonflies oh. in your collection, summer. Mark? As you've never seen before, ever. Ooh. It is so we've never done anything like it on JM before. Seventeen mm. pounds and ninety-nine pence. You are loving this. Please say there will be a robin for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you've got to, really, isn't it? It's got to be the robin. The robin always yeah, visits the garden, robin. and I bet they're yes. always in your garden because look how beautiful it is. Yeah, um, again, this is a, a world global exclusive, uh, Mark's first ever collection. Um, who are these oh. two handsome chaps? So whenever, whenever, I'm in, whenever I'm in the greenhouse, they, they join me. So I've made them two little beds under the desk, and they only sleep, they only sleep in their side of the bed, as it were. So. They know exactly so which funny. size That's so yeah. funny. Uh, Ripley, is, the, is he the black he's one? He's the black one. He yeah. does look grumpy. He's, he has got quite an attitude. He really has, yes. Has he? And you see above his left eye, he's got two white eyebrows. Yes. Well, he loses one, and then we have to wait three or four months for, them, for it to grow back again. So he's either got one or two white eyebrows, but oh, black on the other side. So it's, it's really, it looks quite They're odd They're so sometimes. cute. Look at them. Yeah. So cute. OK. Right. Which one next? Which one do you want to do next? The chameleon. I mean, I think the camellia yeah. is actually one of the most beautiful flowers it's as well. Stunning. It's one of the most heavily gemstone as well. It's got so many stones. Yeah, to actually parve so set something to this 
mm -hmm. level. But that parve setting, Mark, captures the Absolutely. Foliage? Uh, it, it's, it's all the, the petals around, so as you can see on the... Oh my goodness me! Yeah. So all of the individual petals. In, in effect, we've shaded... If you were doing a, a, a watercolour painting of a camellia, you'd, oh, have wow. the, you'd have the ripply petals, and obviously it would be dark in the centre. I love this, it's so amazing. Mark, and again... Each of those have been individually set by hand. It's just, just incredible, and it's And it? it's, it, it's three-dimensional, basically, Completely. isn't it? Yes. And again, massive silver weight. Look at that. I'm going to read the uh, camellia. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Uh, so this is going, this is clearly a popular one um, amongst our viewers. The camellia flowers are known for symbolizing the love between mm. two people. Mm -hmm. uh, if you need to express devotion, faithfulness and eternal love, I think the beautiful camellia is a perfect way to show a union between uh, two individuals. I love so that. So if, if any of you have got camellias at home, they have, an, they have quite a tough outer casing, which, which is mm. the male part of the protector of the flower. And if it's too cold, it won't release the female flower inside. It, it hugs the flower. And when it knows that it's warm enough and, the, and, it's, and, and it's not too cold to damage the flower, it then opens out and releases the flower. That is but, the most beautiful the, thing um, I've ever heard. But the outer leaves, they stay at the base of the flower, protecting it. It doesn't close up again once the flower's open, but it, it, it stays there. And as soon as the flower dies, the petals drop off, the, the outer casing drops oh off as goodness. well. Oh my goodness, so, so there's so for couples, the camellia is the, is the archetypal That flower. is so beautiful, Mark. Mm. So You're going to see flowers and gardening in a completely different way by the end yes, of the day. Yes, but I love that. I absolutely love that. Mm. This is absolutely stunning, Mark. Each hand set, the quality of those garnets. Oh. Yeah, it's just stunning. All colour matched perfectly. They're just, they're just beautiful. Look, it, look at amazing. how deeply encrusted what? it is as well. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I tried to count the flowers quickly. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. There's, there's about 40 stones at least in there, I think, something like that. Yeah, all have yeah. to be colour yeah. matched perfectly. And that amazing, the back as well, it's, it's domed, yep. so it's just, it's just beautiful. Mm. I'll turn that round so you can actually see oh, the, the quality on the reverse gorgeous, too. High, high luster. Oh, mm. Mark. Um, nowhere near your price point. Again, comes with the beautiful, um, comes with the beautiful pouch, comes with the card, of course. Um, yes. Probably one of the most challenging to create, yes, in terms, of, certainly in terms of yes. setting the gemstones. Yes. You can see the flower at the top. So you're trying to relate a piece of jewellery from a flower, that is, that that's um, fine. It's, it's just that, I mean, there's hundreds of petals in a camellia, and I think I think we've done it justice. I think it's just lovely. Oh, amazing. I love, I didn't know that about a camellia. So, yeah. the, you know, the, no, the exterior is the male cuddling. Yeah, the it holds the female until it's warm enough, and then he releases the flower. Oh. It, but they, he stays with the flower, and they both drop off together. Oh, my goodness, that's yeah. the most beautiful thing yeah. I've ever heard. Most beautiful <laughs> story I've ever heard. 18 seconds, no way near your price tag. Um, big investment of your sterling silver, and again, very, ah. very, very advanced in terms of actually setting those mm. gemstones. Ollie has just counted them, and there are 59. 59? 59. Sorry, 49. 49 stones, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. It's just going to capture that light so beautifully. To, to each and every single one, hand set. Think at the process. Think how long that would oh take. My word. Yeah. That's incredible. This is that everlasting camellia mm -hmm. that you Absolutely. can wear close to your heart. Mm -hmm. Go perfectly with that garnet chain that we had at 10 o'clock as well. You would wow. wear this. Oh, there's quantity of this one, but they are hugely popular. Christine, Jane, Vivian, Elaine, Isabel, Deborah, uh, Erica, hello to you, Diane, Diana, Laura, Brenda, Heather, Renfusha, Wiltshire, Sandra, Jane, Lisa, Agnes, Morgan, uh, Nuala, hello to you, Robbie, Yvonne, Merseyside and Carola. I mean, to actually have the card as well, thinking about birthdays or, um, as you said, an, express, mm. an expression of devotion and love. Wow, it's, it's gorgeous. So, we, as, as you can see, we've got We've got the picture of the of the flower at the top, and mm -hmm. then we've got the, the relevant month underneath, so April, so next year is the, oh, yes. the month of the camellia. Some of the camellias we've got out, because we've had this hot spell, 
and we've, some of ours have come out already, but, but April is known for camellias. So if you go, if you go to woods, because they're a wild, wild shrub as well, so you get to lots of arboretums and the camellias are out at the moment. So I love them. Is it, is it, is it purely them. red? No, no, they come in red, purple, white, yellow, cream, and obviously there are lots of different variations that, wow. have, that have been. So where would we find camellias in our garden? Would they be like out in borders? So they, they like ericaceae, they're like an acidic soil. So they're really nice for growing in pots. Okay. Uh, on the, ar around this sort of neck of the woods, they're really good for pots. Um, um, Mark, I can't, we've just realized the time. Gosh. We've got a big quantity. This was actually meant to be 49.99. You can see the work that's gone into these. But, it is, it is the launch of the spring collection. We don't envisage there being another. There isn't, no, this is it. This spring, is it. For spring, yep. So? I think, I believe summer is actually in the warehouse, I believe. It's landed already. It, it has landed, yes, yes. But that won't be launched until the birthday. Look at that, look at the dance of colour. It wasn't intended to go lower. You can imagine the amount of time that each and every single one of these exquisite pieces has taken. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hi, Mark. Got my tulip. Uh, you are looking very suave and dapper today. Doesn't he look handsome? I love a bit of tweed. I like a bit you of tweed. You suit that. I like tweed. You, and that mm. colour you really yeah. suit as well. Yeah, so Andrew lent me this this morning. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you really suit it. Is he watching today? He is. He's been Hello, watching. Andrew. He's been watching. Yeah. You must be incredibly proud. Incredibly proud. So many messages coming oh. through. That's significantly lower than what we should have been significantly lower oh, no. I, I, I love the story I love that it's it that's almost like a poem about mm. the actual camellia flower yeah. so, so, so it's, I think it's a really nice anniversary present as well so if you've, if you've had a long anniversary that you've, you've been together for 20 30 40 years yeah it's, a really nice, it's like a protector you know, the, the and we hear of that don't we a lot of our viewers yeah. messaging about mm. uh, you know yes. your wonderful marriages and the, you know, so how long you've been together um, and the fact, ah, oh, that's wonderful. The sentiment maybe I certainly look at Tom, my husband, as uh, uh, he looks after mm, me. Mm. So and this is the kind of piece that I would definitely yes, wear with that yes, sentiment yes, also. Lovely, lovely. It's beautiful, Mark. It's absolutely beautiful. Also, um, it's a little bit English rose. Yeah, it could be a rose. We've got a rose coming up in summer. <laughs> is it an English rose? Mm -hmm. Oh, you literally have told us everything, haven't Pretty you? Pretty much, yeah. Told us all the design. <laughs> That's so much okay, trouble. Though. That's okay because now we're excited for them. Make sure you check out. We have a quantity of them, but there are so many of you there. There are queues on the phone lines Merseyside, Ali, Lincolnshire, Lynn, Surrey, Jane, Wiltshire, Heather, Brenda, Laura, Stewart, Angela, good luck, Gabrielle, good luck, Merseyside wanting two, Angus, Lisa, Sussex, uh, Morgan, good luck to you, Derbyshire, good luck to you, Merseyside, good luck to you. People are multi buying on this. I mean, my, I, I'm thinking straight away of your collection. You know, I, like I said, I'm, I, I'm not a great gardener. I enjoy it though. Mm. I do enjoy it. As I said, it's a happy place to I be, love, isn't I it? Love it. Um, no, it get, the gardening gets a lot of people through tough times. It really does. Yeah. It's, it, no, it's, it's good for you, it's really. Fresh air and, no, it's amazing. Yeah, good for the soul. Mm. Just nurturing for mm. these beautiful, beautiful uh, offerings that Mother Nature has. Oh, look at that, Mark. Yeah, so this is this is height of summer. So we've got all the lavenders and uh, yeah, it's lovely. I mean, we've how just had the, the, the hedge trimmed as well. You can see how tidy it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm in absolute awe of your garden. Look at that. So that's the view from our living room window. So it's, it's quite a nice view. <laughs> it's a beautiful view. I th yeah, do people yeah. literally walk past your garden and stop? And stop, yeah. So if Andrew goes out for the afternoon gardening, it, he, sometimes it's a bit frustrating because he wants to get on and he keeps getting stopped. And people ask, what's that flower? And how long you've been doing this? And the one we get is, do you do all this yourself? So that's one we get a lot of the time. I mean, it is literally nice. immaculate. Yeah, no, literally really. immaculate. And you see these... Um, down the right hand side we've got these triangle little yes. trees there well we bought those originally as little tiny conifers that you put in hanging baskets and they've but developed to um, that size and as soon as we've we've taken the baskets we put them into the garden and andrew andrew likes topiary and clipping and things yeah. so, so he's in his he's in his element so that's and they've really. matured to that oh yeah. wow so this is the uh, the window boxes so our, my living room's just through those windows there Oh, beautiful. Hello, Wiltshire. Oh, my husband bought this for me for my birthday on Monday, and we've oh. been married nearly 39 years. He is the love of my life. 
You oh. set me off, Phil. That's absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, bless you. That's, that's 39 lovely. wonderful years. Well, yeah. congratulations to you both. Yeah, and no doubt, Phil, he is your protector, uh, as you are his. How wonderful. I get, to, I get, I'm one of those people that gets really caught up in these emotions. So you know, this is like totally, right. yeah. totally my kind of, uh, my thing. And if there are any of these left, right. I shall, shall be purchasing. Right. In particular, this here one. Here we go, here we go. Please tell me we've got quantity. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've never done this before, and I'm going to say something if I can, because my husband's actually taking Willow to uh, her friend's party. Oh, I can't say it because I'm going to get... No, I won't. I'll get in trouble. I want to I want to join you on this one so badly. Mark, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. I was about to say, if anyone could dial through for me, I would be very grateful, but no, because a few of you will do then. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and it would take it out of other people's. Mark, yeah. that is exquisite. And to, able, and to be able to have the matching chain as well, it just adds that. And this is a huge grand weight of silver. It's ridiculous. It's exquisite. Mm -hmm. This is just lovely. It, it is literally 3D. Let me just tilt mm. this forward. Look, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four and yeah. a half grams of sterling <laughs> silver mm. with the chain. Uh, you can get hold of the chain. It was part of the deal of the day. Absolutely yeah. exquisite. I'd imagine buying two of these as earrings. Oh, that, my that, gosh. That movement. And I, I knew this one would be popular. Look at that. And the iris is, is, is gorgeous, isn't it? It's a beautiful plant. It's got those lovely layers. Yeah. Again, it always reminds me of sort of like a little da lady dancing. Yes, absolutely. Yes, no, you're right. Oh, my word. I'm intrigued to see where this one's going. I mean, surely here, right? 99.99. I Look at thought the, so. It is three-dimensional, and you've got that beautiful four and a half grams of sterling silver. So wait, collectively with this chain, you're talking about how much gram was the chain? Wasn't it three and a half? So it's like almost eight grams of sterling silver <laughs> with the chain. Oh my word. The two exquisite amethysts. And the, and the amethysts have been color matched as well. Oh my goodness me, Mark, this mm. is amazing. It's just beautiful. I've um, never ever felt so inclined to be as unprofessional as I have and literally run out of the studio <laughs> and buy something <laughs> as I do right now. The phone lines are off the hook. So you can imagine how tricky this was to actually make, because there was a point where we didn't know whether we could continue with the iris. Um, and the iris, we, we've used the same technique a bit later on in the year to do the fuchsia. So I th I th I'm pretty sure it's, it's 3D printing to get the, and then they've made a mold from it. So it's been a lot of work. Yeah. Miss Janet, well, uh, we'll um, have, oh, sorry. Look, even the reverse. Mm. Uh, we'll have this for my oldest friend to put away for her February oh, birthday. Yes. Stunning collection, Lovely Mark. Idea. Bless you. Thank you, Miss Janet. I'm trying to show you all the way around. That's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, Mark. We're over allocated, <laughs> but we're not stopping here. Oh, dear. This is bonkers. What is the actual, shall I read what it says? Yeah. Oh yes, please, I'm so oh, caught up says. in the design, I forgot about the, uh, uh, the actual card. Okay, okay. So, so the Dutch iris, we all know that special person we look up to, the person that inspires us. The Dutch iris, often associated with royalty and nobility, is the perfect flower to adorn any garden, large or small, a symbol of purity, charm, and most importantly, compassion, which we all need a bit of at the moment, don't we? Definitely. <laughs> Yeah. Mark, this is, uh, no surprise, hugely popular. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that we're, uh, we're for such craftsmanship. That's <laughs> unbelievable, Mark. Oh, my word. I know that you said you were doing literally a spring, a summer. Uh, yep. Uh, you need to make this again. This needs to be, I really? think you need to recommission this, yeah. I have to talk to Caroline. Yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, 
the, some of the finest silver work that I've ever seen. It, the the, the colour of the silver is exquisite. I yes. don't think I've ever seen silver. I think because yes. there is so much of it, it just it is just so shiny. It's, it just glows, doesn't it? Sorry, oh, is me trying to hold it so you can see all the way around. Look at how beautiful. Even down to the... Look inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> we, the, we've added the veins to the inside of the petals as well. So oh. attention to detail. The chain, if you want the chain, yeah. it has been yeah. colour matched. So those beautiful, beautiful uh, amethysts, perfectly colour matched. Um, you can get hold of this separate. It was part of the deal of the day. So wait a minute, that means that for less than £50, I can get almost eight grams of sterling mm. silver. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if this sells out imminently in an exclusive design. That's something, you know, Louis Vuitton and Cartier and all of those places, when they do limited edition, they're still talking about thousands. Mark, you've made how many of these? A hundred of these ones, I think, something like that. How many do we yeah. make of this one, Wayne? 200. Oh, 200, one, 200 right. people in the entire world will have this. Is, this is exclusive to us. No one else is having it. No. <laughs> yeah, can we just... <laughs> yeah, Ollie's just said, do you remember the first time that you saw Mark as you messaged in? The lovely macrame bracelet. Look at where we oh. are now. When I came on my first day, my Sunday sofa experience, my first piece I made was a stretchy bracelet. Simple and now here bracelet. you are. Mm. As I said, that I've been asked to do this for quite a few years now, and I've never, I've never a had the confidence. Then there's always something else going on, and I just think the concept just works perfectly. And I just, think, I just kick myself. Why didn't I come up with this earlier? You know, it, it, it's, it's, no, it's silly. Do you know? But it's the right time for you right now. It Perfect might have been time. a case. It yeah, might have been a case that, yeah, yeah it's. It, and then, mm. had you have rushed it, then yeah. would you have come up with these designs? Mm. Hello to you, Janine, saying, uh, just had to have the iris. My late dad's favourite flower. He was truly my inspiration. Mm. Congratulations, Mark. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to get maudlin about, about anything, but my, my dad's favourite flower was the forget-me-not, and I, co I couldn't have it in the range. I just couldn't. I couldn't, oh. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Little forget-me-nots. Yeah, yeah. Um, hello to you, Bristol, Catherine, hello. Mark, uh -huh. they are yes. beautiful. Thinking of a bracelet for each season. Perfect. Because uh, yeah. they could, they are, you know, Absolutely. they are wearable yeah, yeah. across. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the chain, the graphics are on the screens. That is £12.99, which is just ridiculous. And I think it has to go with mm. the iris, don't yeah. you? It just works. Well, I'm, I want to go out and buy this, Mark. It's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. Even when I pivot it forward, look. Yeah, that's attention power. to detail. Yeah. Attention yeah, to detail. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with the iris. The movement as well. Mm. Oh my goodness me. Do you want to see a couple of pictures? Yes. Let's have a look what we got next. So this is this is our one of our aces. So this is this will be coming in in autumn. It's just beautiful. I love aces. That's the front again. So this year, for the, for the Jubilee, we're going red, white, and blue. So the whole front is, is the house is going to be decked. So very patriotic this year. Love that. Really lovely. Another view from the front. This is from one end. You see, it's lots of ro We love roses. Is, is that the nice, is the flower that I can see, the little, the little pink flowers? Will that be, uh, again, I'm no uh, Charlie uh, Dimmock. Is that a, ca a camellia? No, no, no. We have this, this is a bit later on in the season. That, that's a rose. Oh. A good Gertrude Jekyll. Gertrude. Oh, that's my two boys. Look. So that's that's where the so the, the we're not we're not even looking at the back garden. So it's all about it's all about the front garden, the collection. You that's, never that's need go on holiday, Mark, no, when you have we, such a beautiful we, we garden. <laughs> that does literally, you know, when there's there's, there's gardeners there, yeah. twenty four hours a day, looking and pruning. And that is like like being oh. the most beautiful, beautiful holiday destination. Hello, Pat. Um, I had a lovely aunt called Iris who recently died. I had to have this. Oh, bless, bless you. you. I think this is, this is good. I think because so many flowers and so many people are named after flowers, I think, again, that's another a nice little sentiment to the collection as well, isn't it? It's beautiful. Uh, hello, Mel. Congratulations, Mark. This collection is stunning. It really is. Mm. It really, really is. And, and this piece, I, I am in love yeah. with this. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to flip it around so you can see again the quality and the detail that's on the front and the reverse. This is four grams of 925 sterling silver. Do you want to see it up at the neckline again? 
I mean, this is the kind of piece that people are going to notice, aren't they? Mm. They are going to notice and ask about, and you can say, oh, there's literally, there was 200 of these ever made. 200. Oh, my goodness. Well done. £39.99. So many of you there. Um, do you know what I'm loving as well? The fact that, Mark, you can see the people on the phone lines. You can see how many people are absolutely loving your design. I'm, really, I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's all, it's all like, like your collection, you know, it, it, it's personal to you, isn't it? And, and, when, and when the viewers can see the passion, because I, I love, I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't cope if I didn't have a garden. I've always been lucky enough to have a garden. You know, my dad taught me to, I was probably weeding before I could walk. <laughs> you know, as, as soon as I was old enough, I was out in the garden helping. And uh, so, no, I'm really lucky, really lucky. Well, this is your two loves captured yeah. in one piece, no, in absolutely. one collection. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it, it, it's horticulture, as you said. Yeah. And beautiful jewellery. I mean, imagine imagine doing an amethyst mala and having this as your, you, you know, oh. your, instead of a tassel. I just think that would be so elegant. I was it? thinking yeah. I actually have a 30-inch um, a chain at home and I would like oh, to wear it quite dangle. long That's a nice so idea. that then I can constant, you can look That's at it. That's a lovely idea. Um, so it could, because it, it's heavy enough to actually be worn um, on a longer chain. There's still a hundred of you with it in your baskets. Do you want to know how many's left? Fifteen. Oh, God. Fifteen of these left. Um, we've got an hour, an hour uh, in terms of opportunity before I take one of those 15 um, <laughs> because I can't buy it right now but I'm allowed to straight after the show. Elaine, Lincolnshire, Isle of Man, Janet, Pat, Lorraine, uh, Yvette, Isabel. Keep those messages coming through. Essex buying four of these. London, Mary, Rachel, Amory, Veronica. Utterly, utterly beautiful. So mm. beautiful. Oh, Which next? So one of, one of the ladies on the workshop yesterday, I hope she won't mind me mentioning, lov lovely Jane. Um, Jane lost her mother and this piece of jewellery, um, and I've, I read the little card yesterday on the workshop as well, and, it, and, and bless Jane, I absolutely love you to bits. It really affected her because of the, of the meaning of this little poem that we've got in there, and also the amethyst was her mum's birth, oh uh, was, was Jane's birthstone, and the peridot was her mum's, so she's able to wear both birthstones. On oh one my gosh, piece I hope she's going to buy this then. Which I hope you lovely, get this, Jane. Well, here he is, little chaffinch. So this, this, what was the name of the author? I, I've got my specs. Here, my Emily specs. Dickinson. Yes, yeah, so Emily Dickinson wrote um, a series of poems all about English birds, mm -hmm. and this is the, uh, just a tiny snippet of, of the chaffinch poem, and it, ju it just says it all, really, doesn't it? Yeah, I've it's read, lovely. I've read this before. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, you see the little chaff chaffinch in May? Yeah. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never mm. stops at all. It's just, it's just perfect. It just says it all, doesn't it? So the that's the female chaffinch in the little picture there mm -hmm. and the male has the green breast with the, with the hints yes. of purple. So now, again, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not great with my birds, but I know what you mm. mean. They are quite distinctive yeah, yeah. and beautiful. They're, they're, they're quite common in this area and in Oxford where we are, but a couple of the ladies were saying yesterday that they, they, they haven't seen a chaffinch for quite a few years because they're hedgerow birds, like sparrows and things, of because of the, the hedgerows are depleting. But they are coming back slowly, so, so hopefully we'll be able to see a lot more chaffinch. Basically. Pretty. Lovely. That peridot. The fact, the fact that, uh, you know, he's in flight as well. And yeah. it is a heat because he's got the green... He's got the green breast. The he's got little breast. purple amethyst as well. Yeah. In flight, the fluidity of those, uh, of those wings marks. And this has mm. literally come by your fair hand. You've sketched this. Yes, yes. The chaff inch. We have, wow. thankfully, ordered quantity. Is it going to be enough, though? Sorry, what was that? Two point, wow. two, let's call it three, but 2.99 yeah. grams um, of precious metal. One of the biggest stones. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cut. It's this lovely. is flying out, clearly a lot of chat. I mean, that paragraph there, that, mm. the, that poem. Mm. <laughs> oh, here it is. Uh, again, we've teamed alongside one of your Deal of the Day chains. They were purchased to, uh, to complement Marks. Um, amazing collection. He's in flight, isn't he? Yes. And do they yeah, sing a particular yeah. they song? They do. It, <laughs> there's a bird called a chuff, yes. which is similar to a skylark. It has this amazing bird call, and a chaffinch is very similar to that, especially in the mating season. They get the males get quite aggressive, mm -hmm. and uh, and instead of fighting with each other, they try to outdo each other with with loudness of call. So that's quite interesting. So you'll know, as I said, they're, they're quite rare. They're not everywhere in the country. 
but um, no, I just love them. I like that. They just want to. I love finches. I adore all finches. It, this is the one of the most joyous things about spring is that when, yeah. you know, even when I get up in the morning, which is like five o'clock. Um, hearing the birds. Half past three, they start in Oxford. The birds. Do they? Yeah. I love that. You can't. You can't. You don't mind we being woken up by the bird called in. Oh the dawn no! Chorus. It's beautiful. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Not your price. Oh wow! He's got a lot of sterling silver, and again, you yeah. capture the chaffinch so beautifully because they're delicate, aren't yeah. they? This small I little think bird. Dumpy little belly. I just think that's lovely. Mm. His wings, yeah, in flight. You can almost see the motion of him. Uh, we have chaffinches in our garden, says Cambridge, Claire in Cambridgeshire. Yeah. They're lovely. Yes. I'm trying to think mm. now. Um, Amanda, Mark, these are beautiful designs. Congratulations on your oh, collection. Bless. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah. Lovely oh. Susie and Alison sent me lovely messages this morning, which is, which is lovely. I mean, do you know, so many mm. people, Mark, are just so excited for you with this collection. Um, you know, so so excited. You know, and genuinely, you should be you should be so proud, well deserving of the success that you're seeing right now. Uh, and, and can I just say to everybody at home, those of you that maybe haven't had the chance to meet Mark personally, he genuinely is one of the kindest, loveliest people that you could ever possibly meet. And um, I'm I'm privileged. My mum and dad have done you. a good job. They have. <laughs> they definitely, definitely have. Your mum should be very. Mum and dad should be yeah. very proud. Um, we're not even stopping at 49.99. I took these all over to show mum the day before yesterday and uh, she was absolutely thrilled with them. She has her favourite. She, lo she, loves, she loves the butterfly. It's oh. her favourite. Yeah. So, no, so, I'm, so I'm thrilled that um, she's here to see this. It's lovely. Amazing. Uh, you should be proud. Mm. Is she watching? Yes, she's watching, watching today. today. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should be very proud because your son is not only very clever and talented, he's also he's got one of the kindest hearts. Um, not stopping here. I think the chaffinch is actually going to be one of the most popular I do, ones. Yeah. Yeah. I've had lots of feedback about the bird. Yeah, yes, really and this was the first one that we actually showed. It was, yes, yeah. Was they it. all come with these beautiful bags with the little card at £29.99. Mm. Let's read that poem um, because... Well, it captures this gorgeous little chappy so perfectly, doesn't it? A poem written by uh, Emily Dickinson. Here we go. Uh, the Chaffinch. Hope is the thing that with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Mm -hmm. You should always have hope in your heart. Totally. See, I, love, I love sentiment so much. Me too. Mm. I, could, I could go down rabbit holes and lose yeah. hours yes. of days just reading <laughs> quotes and things like that. 29.99 and it is wow, true that's amazing and birds quite often are a symbol of, a sort of hope yes because uh, there's there's a story and i'm sure it's true you know i believe i believe every word of it but when you lose someone close to you you always have a robin visiting you and when you're pottering we, we we've got two that are in our garden and wherever you are though you have the robin pottering around your knees and no it's lovely it's lovely so yeah there, there's lots of sentiment and so, i love that sentiment as well mm. even if it just gives yeah. you for that little little glimmering moment just a little bit of happiness and joy even if you're in the garden for three or four hours and just just something makes you smile mm. then it's worth it totally yeah, completely worth totally it. Yeah. this is not just a, a fleeting moment you have this chaffinch with you to wear every <laughs> single day hello to you jacqueline l I would definitely agree. Mark is the most caring person I've met for a long time. His care when I was mm. ill at a workshop went beyond anything. Bless you. Ah. There I is. But all, no, but all, it's, yeah. it's justified, Mark. Mm. It's completely and utterly justified. I mean, look at that. Mark, this is the thing, when we zoom out as well, look how beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. From distances comes again within the little uh, yes, uh, spring you get the little bag. bag. You get the little bag and the little card. So all of the all of the um, the season ranges will come with the bag and the card. But as I said, so summer is going to be baby blue, and then autumn is going to be a ready orange colour. Lovely. And then emerald green for winter. Oh, that sounds mm. nice. Yeah. So that sounds been, amazing. There's been, a, there's been a lot of work organising this and choosing colours and fonts and all sorts of things. So. That's ace. Look at this, Kathy. Uh, ah. Hello, Mark's mum. <laughs> no. You've done a good job bringing up Mark. She Absolutely. Has. Yeah. Absolutely. I totally agree. I'm going to hold this up to the neckline for you as well. Uh, hello to you, Mary, saying, uh, Mark, you were the first person I watched on Jewelry Maker. Wow. You have always been my inspiration. Your collection is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. And it truly is. Truly, truly is. Look at that. 
I mean, you've, you know, you haven't mm. scrimped on the oh, sterling no, no, no. silver here. And they all sit beautifully yes. as well. Every single piece just sits beautifully. They're not going to pivot and flip over. No, again, no, look no. at the quality of that peridot. And again, with the, the matching chain is just... So we've got the amethyst chain and we've also got the peridot chain. So you can, you can mix and match if you wanted to. As yeah, well, well they're very really complementary, nice. aren't they, of one another in terms of those colours. Beautiful, absolutely exquisite. That little detail, I hadn't noticed that at first, of the Zambian, yes. uh, Zambian amethyst. Fine little accent bead. There we go. The stone. Explain why, uh, why these gemstones specifically. Well, we, we, I chose the, the... So we went through the calendar and we chose the, the relevant flowers. And as I said, it could have been any bird during March and April the, the, and, and the spring season because they all, they all come back from Africa when it starts warming up. They all mm -hmm. migrate back to us. But I think, I think the chaffinch has got such a glow of green about it that I just thought, we, we're trying to think of birthstones as well, so we just thought, well, it has to be peridot. And if you look ever so clear, if you, if you go on, if you Google lots of chaffinch pictures, they have this tiny little sort of flash of purple under their breast. And um, so we had to add the peridot. So the don't get amethyst. many birds with that kind of intensity of colours. Uh, we, we did go down the goldfinch route, but it, mm. it, was, just, it was just too, because goldfinch is quite a busy bird. You know, yes, it's they black are, yeah. and white and yellow and all sorts of mix of colours, yeah. and it would have been too difficult to replicate. But the chaffinch... I and mean, as I said, we've got the robin coming up in the winter collection. What so about one of my favourite birds? Mm. The blue tit. Blue tit. That's... Oh. <laughs> I love the blue That's tit. That's in spring as well. Oh! Yeah. I love the blue tit. So it's just where they literally just hop around. They're so cute and yeah. tiny, so, tiny. So, so, we've, so we've got... So bird-wise, coming up, we've got, we've got the robin, we've got the blue tit, and we've got the blackbird. Wow. Coming up throughout the year. Now... Uh, some people asking, the chain is separate. Um, it was the deal of the day. Uh, this is the, the one with the, with, the, with the peridot. You can get hold of it. It was £12.99. They have been designed specifically to complement Mark's amazing, amazing collection. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. You see the, the garden in winter. I think I've got Yes. Winter. How does a garden look beautiful in winter? Because mine looks like a hot mess. It does. My garden, well, it looks like a mess most of the year, but and how I, does yours I find, look? I find the winter ones. Oops, I'm going too quickly now. I've lost it now. So that was my oh. fault. I was going, I'm going too quickly. Hang on. Oh. There you let's, go. Let's have a look. I'm just going to go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Mark. I'm going to go through. We've, we've seen these. I want to get. Oh, there we go. So that's, that's winter. Now, you won't believe this. But this was April last year. Do you remember we had that late, that late flurry of snow? So that's, yes. that's in winter. I did hear a rumour yeah. that it's meant to snow next weekend. Uh, I'm yeah. not convinced. And this, I, is our, this, our not convinced. this is our beach hedge in, in September. Look at that. Yeah. It's our greenhouse again. So, well, look, so, succulents. So, um, so, but some of these, so succulents along the top, mm -hmm. and then the pots have got Dutch iris in them. So the, the, these were planted in September last year and then... So we're just waiting for those to come up. And again, that, that's, that. that's, the, um, that's the thaw coming in. Beautiful. Uh, Look and at that. Yeah, there's Thomas. There's Thomas, <laughs> literally stood out the front. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to do the ladybird. Oh, well, the ladybird, right. uh, they are, in terms of an insect, probably the sweetest, they? are very they? cute. They are, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, though, they are the most carnivorous. They are the gardener's best friend. Yes. Ladybird, so they will literally uh, fend off what? Well, they, first of all, they lay the eggs. Mm -hmm. They turn into larvae, which, are, which go around munching on green fly and all the, all the tiny little insects. And then they, then they pupate into the ladybird. And again, they, they're fantastic for getting rid of green fly and the tiny little insects and black fly and white fly and things like that. So they're, they're gardener's best friend, the ladybird. Um, this straight away, I love ladybirds. So we've got they're got absolutely three stones adorable. in the ladybird. Really? We've got we've got spinel on the wings. Yes. We've got garnet in the body, and then just on his bottom, we've got some topaz. Oh yes. So we've got three so again, all birthstones. We've got three birthstones in this piece. That's absolutely it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's a, a little antennae. Look, it's very cute. They are, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're fascinating little mm. creatures, and children obsess over. So the these first birds. design was a, was a sealed cover. Yeah. But we thought it'd be really nice to expose the body and have the wings just about to take off in flight. And it's, it's, it's a stunning design. And can you see the little triangle on his bottom? Yes. We've got the two larger garnet at the top either side, and then the, they, they, they get smaller as they go up to the head. Uh, again, um, if Willow was watching this, I know she's not right now because she's actually at a party. Um, 
but she would absolutely say, uh, Mummy, I need the ladybird. Oh. Um, last, last, was it last <laughs> summer? Maybe the summer before, um, she'd found uh, a little ladybird who had passed on, mm -hmm. let's say, mm -hmm. and she bawled, literally oh. bawled her eyes out, absolutely traumatised by the fact that this ladybird um, had passed. But they are endearing, aren't they? No, they're, absolutely, they're absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Right. And everyone recognises the ladybird, and they have nursery rhymes after them and all sorts, don't they? It's and, true. Uh, and you get so many different varieties as well. Some not so nice, but... Um, <laughs> yes, yes. But, but, but most, most of them, of them are. are. Are really lovely, yeah. Most of them are. Oh, gorgeous. And there we go. People laughed at me before when I said about the fact that ladybirds can't turn corners. No, they can't. Um, but they can't. No. So even you looked at me funny, Michael, didn't you? <laughs> like, what? Don't be so ridiculous. No, but they have to. So that means that if they were to going, say I want to get to Michael, I can't do... No. So I have to do this and then yes, pivot. That's right. That's they hover as well, ladybirds can hover. Can they? One of the few oh, let's read can. it. We haven't read the, the, the card. Oh, this is lovely. Too. This is cute. Yeah. 69.99, but we are not right. stopping there. How many do we have of the ladybird? Oh, 200. It's not enough. I can tell you that for sure. Um, so uh, they come around in April, Yes. the ladybird. Yes, yes. Uh, is it too cold before that? For no, me? no, no, because they, they, they hibernate. Ladybirds hibernate. You probably find them in your house, in, yes. in corners and things. So they hibernate in your house, and then they, they, as soon as it starts warming up, they come out. So some of, some of, I found some around in the garden already in March because we've, we've had this hot spell. So. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Let's read the little card. There's a ladybird. The ladybird is a wonderful mm -hmm. friend to share your garden with, uh, reminding us that even with limited resources and simple actions, one can make a huge difference to the world. Oh, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. Known as a positive omen of, sorry, um, of good luck, the ladybird reminds us to look after our friends and family, but not to overlook mm. ourselves. Which a lot of people, that's, that's where I am, you see. Totally. Yeah, I completely overlook. You know, I'm, 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 for, for me, everyone else comes first and I'm at the bottom. And there is a point where you need to step back and think, well, hang on. You, know, you need to look after yourself as well. 100%. Because, be, because uh, you know, if you go the way you're going, you won't be fit enough to look after anyone. So you go you on need, you really need you, you go on burnout. So you really have, and, the, and the ladybird epitomises that. It's, it's all about looking after yourself as well. You know. Uh, a symbol for good luck, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, look after our friends and family, but not to overlook ourselves. Do you know what, Mark? It's weird that you actually bring that. This time last year, a year ago to the day, is when I had Quincy. Mm. And, um, and uh, yeah, I was in a bad way, apparently. Yeah. And uh, that, I always think I need this one, actually, mm. because I'm guilty of that, too. Mm. I think a lot of us are, aren't Just we? Just running really? around yeah. after everybody and then not yeah. looking after Especially after the past health. two years as well. Past yeah. couple of years as well. Twenty-nine pounds wow. and ninety-nine pence. There are cues on the phone lines, but then that's what we should absolutely expect. The ladybird. Look at him. They, they are so beautiful, aren't they? As a little species, they yeah, are gorgeous. They are they're, they're so recognisable. They're probably the most recognisable insect in the garden, aren't they? After spider. Yes. I think, I think the ladybird. But I think ladybird yeah. recognised for the right reasons. Mm. As I, don't know, I don't know whether it's a regional thing, because I was, I was talking to Alice, who, who comes from around here. She was in the office yesterday. She called them ladybugs. And Ollie was saying ladybug. And I, I've not heard of ladybug. I've always thought ladybird. Uh, no, ladybird Maybe to it's me. a regional thing. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Le mm. Definitely ladybird to me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there's different colours of them, aren't there? You can get sort of the black with the red spots and vice yeah, versa. Yeah, red with the black. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, um, uh, hello, yes, Joan. Yeah. My son has ladybirds hibernate mm. in his flat every year. Very and I'd be happy with them hibernating, ladybirds, mm. in my house. There are certain insects I wouldn't so much encourage, no, no. but ladybirds I'd be happy with because they are. They're sweet, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And they're good for your garden. Absolutely. As I said, they're, they're the garden's best friend, the ladybird. Ooh. Do you have a ladybird hotel? I've got this thing about bug hotels. Um, I'm, not the, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I think it's, I think it's a marketing ploy to I've get, got to get one. kids to spend lots of money in garden centres. I've got Personally, one. Personally, yeah. But, yeah, a pile, a pile of leaves or some twigs is, is a perfect home yeah, for a Mark, Mark I've got to. one and there's never, oh, never no, been there's a never. bug in there. Never, <laughs> ever. It's up on my fence and no, I never see no. anything in there. Uh, Hello, oh. Hugh Jacks was bitten by a ladybird. Oh, oh. It's disappeared. Sorry, it's disappeared again. 
Sorry, Jax. Hang on. Yeah, uh, I was bitten by a ladybird, but it was so cute I forgave <laughs> it. Mark, a breathtaking collection. Thank you. I agree. Thank I you. would as well. Naughty little scamp. Naughty little thing. Naughty little <laughs> scamp. Yeah. Uh, the ladybird mm. looks very art it does, deco. Yes. It does. That's no, lovely. Hiya, David. It really does. I think that is because you've actually done it in mm. flight or yes. about to take off. Absolutely. And as I said, the fact that we've got three three birthstones in one piece. So I wonder what the chances of, of, of a person buying this that has all of those three stones in their family. I think that would be amazing. To oh, wow, yeah. Together. Spinel for mm. August. Yeah. Uh, Garnet, of course. And Topaz, November. Mm. Garnet for January. Um, hello, Wendy. I've been seeing them mm. for weeks in Leicester. Um, they yeah. just always make me smile and say hello. Uh, being from the States, I have to call, I have to call them ladybugs. Lady bugs. <laughs> Yeah, they're both cute though, isn't it? I don't think there's a right or wrong. Brits call them ladybirds, Americans ah, call them ladybugs. Okay. Right. Um, oh, <laughs> ours is nicer. <laughs> okay, not just a uh, lovely pendant, Mark. I totally, Thank totally you. agree. Thank Each you. to their own. Each yeah. to their own. It's like potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Um, it, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's little antennas. Um, again, it is going to be a sellout. Loads of you with its silly baskets. Asian ladybirds. Ladybugs don't bite. Uh, they're oh. licking your skin, I've heard. Oh, yes, for salt. I've heard that as well. Ah, oh, so when a ladybird... Yeah. Do, do all ladybirds lick you? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I quite like the idea of a ladybird yeah. giving me little licks. Mm. I like that idea. Uh, brilliant yellow... Uh, what's that? Brilliant mark. Yellow ladybirds bite. Yes. And there's some, yeah. naughty, there's some naughty ones that go in dogs' mouths, isn't there? Oh, no. They're called harlequins, the, the not so nice ones. Are they? They're the, uh, yeah. But this yeah. one's definitely a nice one. Mm. And good That's for your nice. garden. Um, it Ooh, is cool. getting very, very, very limited now, the ladybird. I knew that one was going to be yeah. very popular. Mm. Mark, am I right in saying there's literally two designs left? The butterfly, I think. That's the last one. Is this a fa this mm. is not the finale? Mm, I believe so. I think we've had we've had the flowers and we've had the ladybird. We've had it's just the butterfly. Is which, it just the butterfly? Which is, yeah. Probably going to be the biggest. Mm -hmm. So most yeah. people love butterflies. The, bag the baguette stones in this piece of jewellery. Well, is you just mentioned it earlier amazing. on. That will make you smile. That will make you smile. It's all made me smile, but I can't wait. Let's let's again let's show with the. Let's read it together. This made Andrew chortle. Here we go. In March. Mm. If you're about to let go of the old and expand into the next phase of your life, I believe the butterfly provides us with great lessons, reminding us not to take life too seriously as they flutter and dance mm. around the garden. That is so true. I think we're coming out of this horrible two years and we're into that next phase and we're not to take life too seriously. We're to get on and make up for all the months that we've lost over the, and, and, and remember the people that we've lost and just, just go for it. And I think the butterfly just says it all. Frolic it? and dance. Mm -hmm. It does. It, it really does. Yeah. And they're so beautiful and delicate. Mark, you've this, captured it. The baguette, you're right. The baguette cuts in this are absolutely mm. beautiful. Oh. Stunning, isn't it? I'm thrilled with the butterfly. Uh, the, the body is just stunning. The it's so symmetrical as well. It's just perfect. Absolutely is it the perfect. emperor? This is the well, painted lady. Painted lady. Is that mm. the one with the... Uh, yeah, it's, the native, it's, the, it's probably the most, pop, well, the most common native British butterfly. I think I've got a picture of it on the, on the oh, card yes, there at it. the top. Yeah, the yeah the painted lady. The painted lady. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? They are stunning, mm. absolutely mm. stunning. Even down to, Mark, the fact that you've got the hessenite, which then yes. blends yeah. into the citrine. So we've ombre. We had to have an ombre piece in one of the pieces, didn't we? So it's just lovely. And a, gr mm. a, yeah, a group of flowers, uh, sorry, a group of butterflies is, of course, a oh, kaleidoscope. So everything about the butterfly I just found so... It is delicately beautiful. You're right, frolicking, mm. dancing yeah, in the garden. Amazing. I think this one is going to be one of the fastest selling. It is exquisite and also hugely encrusted. Massively. <laughs> I mean, it's not just yeah. a sneaky little cheeky no, stone no, there. It's not. It's this, this in the, I took some post photos yesterday in the garden with the sunshine hitting it. I put them on my, on my guest designer page. 
and my word, it's incredible, the flashes and, well, and shine. It's Hestonite amazing. garnet in citrine in, the sun, in natural sunlight, absolutely. Mm. That's almost a carrot that you're getting across those two beautiful stones, 96 points to be exact. And of course, you know, that lovely wingspan that's going to stretch across the decolletage. Let me just put this up to, um, up to the neckline. You can get hold of the citrine chain um to compliment mark that's gorgeous absolutely this would be a really this would be a really lovely thank you prize i think for everyone's for everyone's support can you yeah. arrange that way oh wow a thank you thank you thank you thank you for bringing it to us mark pleasure, pleasure. i tell you what you can okay. announce you can okay. announce this because this is all uh all, all mark's doing from the design um, all the way through. It's taken, what, years, did you say? A couple of years? Nine months. I was. I gave in and said yes. <laughs> so it's been a long well, time. Well, we're so glad that you yeah. did. Yeah. So glad you did. The classic British mm. butterfly, that wonderful wingspan. It's not stopping here. Start dialing through. A lot of you want this one. I'm not surprised at all. Not no. surprised. This is this remotely. is. I think yesterday on the on the on the workshop, this was everyone's favourite. I think. Yeah. So as a as a thank you, I'm just going. to, Well, Wayne's not talking to me. So twenty seven ninety nine. Is that is that all right? Is that a good? Hey, it's your collection. You. Oh no. It's oh, your right, collection. Oh, well. If you can't oh, well. push those boundaries, <laughs> then. Uh, then who can? I can see why it was right. so popular. And again, very symbolic, the insect yeah. itself. So what do, what do the, the, the butterflies do, do to obviously look beautiful in our garden? They pollinate. They pollinate the garden. Oh. So, they get, so they'll go to flower to drink nectar, and they'll pick up pollen, they'll move on to the next plant, leave the pollen, and that's how you get seeds and fruit. And Amazing. Very, very valuable. You can get hold of the citrine chain to go uh, to actually go alongside well. this. He did. He did. <laughs> Probably begrudgingly, but yes, he definitely did. Um, again, look back if you're shopping online. Um, look back at the ten o'clock hour, and you can get hold of the citrine sterling silver chain. Um, hello, Agnes. Oh, this is right, yes. um, my one. My birthday is on Wednesday. Ah, oh, happy birthday for yes. Wednesday! What? Ag Agnes was on the workshop yesterday. At the moment, she's got bright blue hair. She's ace. Yes, Agnes. She rocks her blue hair. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, Look fair play. Those. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Look at, look at the quality of the stones. Take my hand from behind it. See if we can see through the stones. Yeah, look. Here we go. Uh, take these off. Yeah, let me just show a blackboard. So you can see beyond the stones, because you obviously have these... Amazing! Oh yeah, you can see the definition oh, yeah. of um, of the sterling silver craftsmanship here as well. I think there's about well. twenty in this piece, something like that. I think did I count individual that stones? I think yeah, there's five per wing. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. eighteen, eighteen stones. That body, the attention to detail, I'm thrilled with this. Absolutely. I mean, baguette cut yeah. as well. So we so we sent the sketches. Carol and I sat down with the sketches, and we sent them off to the to the um to the cutting houses, and we got the samples back. And we had the opportunity to tweak and to say, no, we don't, can we do this, can we do that? We didn't have to tweak a single thing. They got my vision perfect, 100% straight away. It was and amazing. And this Incredible. is literally off your own photographs mm. of butterflies that have yeah. been in your garden. So we took photos and then did the sketches and then sent them off. And this is what we thought they've come back with. It's incredible. Love Absolutely it. Absolutely thrilled. Hi, Shirley. So, Mark, this is awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It thank is you, beautiful. Shirley. Absolutely it's exquisite. Stunning. It's absolutely Mark, stunning. one word, perfection. Oh. You've done it, Mark. It is, it, this you. is beautiful. Beautiful. And I can understand. You're, you're somewhat of a perfectionist, it's mm. fair to say. <laughs> That's not a criticism. Uh, no, criticism. No, no. Quite the opposite. It's actually... You know, it's better to be that way than the mm. latter, I think, especially when you're designing a collection like this. So you would have chosen, hand-chosen, the finest quality gemstones, the finest quality um, silversmith work. Hello, Jane, oh. saying, Mark, an exquisite collection. You're a very talented man. This Thank is, you. This is Jane with the, with the peridot and the amethyst bird. I was telling you. Oh, that. yes, Bless Jane. Jane. Oh, Bless Jane. Isn't it, yeah, is, isn't it beautiful? Um, and you're not alone in thinking how wonderful it is, myself included. If there are any left, there's a few pieces that I would 100% need to get hold of. Um, 
And remember, this is the only time that we're mm. going to be able to get yeah. hold of Mark's uh, spring collection. So it's not going to be repeated. No, no, no. But this is it today. It's a spring exclusive. Yeah, as we said, summer is going to be launched during birthday week, which will be the first week and a half of May. It's normally because the, the fourth is the actual birthday. Mm. But depending on where it falls on a weekend, will determine. I think it's about a week of celebrations normally, isn't it? And during that week, we'll be launching summer. That's exciting I too. Can't wait to buy it. Yeah. Hello, oh, Karen. Man. When my mum was nearing the end of her life, she sat uh, talking to me and was fascinated by the butterflies she mm. could see landing. Well, I mean, there's a memory for you to cherish straight away, absolutely. Karen, isn't it? Is right, you know absolutely. that's what you're gonna. So when you think of this, you're gonna think of your mum and that and that mm. and that uh, and that memory uh, the two of you have. Mm. I, th I think I think people's relationships and, and partners and losses in their life. I think the whole the whole garden ethos and nature and new life. I just think it's so appropriate to. And I, I keep saying everything we've been through the past two years, but it's throughout our life. We you know we go through rough patches and mm -hmm. sad times and things. And I think I think I'm so lucky to have all of this on my doorstep that I can sit amongst and work amongst and nurture and to bring a range of jewellery that just emphasises. What's out there for everyone to see? Yeah, that I think it's well. The, well, the garden really is good for the soul, isn't it? it, it you know, it's it, it, yeah, like you said earlier on, it's good for you. Mm. It, you know, yeah. it's healthy, oh, of absolutely. course, yeah. um, as well. And jewelry, I've always had this affiliation with sentiment. Mm. I just think you know, mm. so it makes sense that really, actually. Uh, flora fauna there's th those sentiments and meanings yeah. have been around literally for centuries uh, yeah. mark mm. beautiful absolutely exquisite thank you oh. as i said it's been a massive team effort it's you know it's not just me but i had i did need my arm twisting <laughs> well <laughs> quite a few years i'm so but glad I, that but i've done it now and and um, yes yeah, so i'm really looking forward to um do you want to know what do you want to know what's coming up in summer do you want, I think I've told you most of what's coming up. So summer, which we're launching in May, for the flowers, we have, the, I think I've told you all these already. Uh, yes, I probably have, actually. So we've got the rose, the lily, and the fuchsia are the three flowers. I'm not going to tell you what stones we're incorporating. I'm just going to tell you what they are. And then for the fauna, we've got dragonfly, which we've mentioned, which you've never seen anything like. You're going to love what we've done with the dragonfly. The bumblebee. <gasps> And the hedgehog. I love bumblebees. So we've got bumblebee and hedgehog. How's it got a little furry butt? Not telling you. Mark, before you go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We launched something this morning here at Jewelry Maker. What time? Because I left. I left, at, I left at quarter past eight this morning, so I didn't see anything this morning. Oh my lord! Look at these. Aren't they good? They're good. Yeah. It's Michael Wolf, everybody. <laughs> Michael Wolf. Yeah. I was up really small on this camera. Sorry, smaller, smaller than usual, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, good they move. are these? They, they, yeah. they're, they're poseable. They're magnets. How oh, much do you think these will be? Go on, stab in the dark. Don't oh worry. Gosh, OK. So hang on, look, uh, elsewhere, elsewhere, look, you can buy exactly okay. the same magnets. Yeah. Is, this, is that each? Six ninety-nine each, each, yeah. Oh so what, what? How much do you think ours are going to be? Four ninety nine. Mm -hmm. That'd be good, wouldn't it? And by the way, you can get your woodland animals oh, too. So look, there's a little hedgehog there. We were saying keys. Yeah. Look at this. Oh no. One pound fifty. One pound fifty. You know when you, you do your gardening, do you take your jewellery off? <laughs> oh, they're amazing. I oh, I love that idea. Hang your yes. rings on those. Your keys. Uh, your little notes you could put on Let's there as well. See. So that's so we've got a Ripley. We've got a Ripley and sort of a Thomas there. So those, yeah. those are the two that I would have. So do you choose your colour? You can choose your colour. Oh, so it's not random. Yeah, some of them are sold out, though. The black and white one's sold out. Oh, that one. Right. Oh, OK. And oh, the black. Uh, oh, well. But it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Can you get the animals as well? No. You, well, no. they're separate. We're going to do oh, that one oh, okay. next. So first right. it's the cats. Um, there I are 200 it. people with it in their baskets. My, if, I, if I don't get these, Willow may never talk to oh me ever no. again. They're amazing. Well, it's just in the bathroom to hang, you know, little hand towels flannel. and things and flannels. And yeah, your little exfoliator and things like that. Oh, they're amazing. And they're, they're nice to the touch as well, aren't they? Really, really, really strong. And, yeah. Here we go. Show you on the reverse. Gosh, they're strong. As you said, they're really strong. £1.50 only. That's not even a litre of petrol. Don't get me started on petrol. Yeah. I know. No, you're right. I don't you chips. can buy a bag of chips. Bag of chips. I walked past a chippy the other day and I was oh. like, oh, 
You know, when you're like, I just yeah, like yeah. fancy a cone of chips with loads of salt and vinegar. Mm. But I didn't. I didn't. I kept on walking. Don't oh. do it, Elle. Don't do it. These are so charming. So charming. I love them. Absolutely love them. The fact they're doing that little, you know what cats do? Yeah. That little oh, paw. Yes. A little cute paw. Apart from when Dave, the uh, Dave, I've got two cats. Mm. They are still very much kittens. And uh, Dave was sat in, uh, in in our bathroom windowsill. I was telling the guys this earlier on, and he's looking at me, bare face, straight in the eye, literally extended his paws. And I'm like, don't do it, Dave. Don't do it. Knock the flowers off. Ooh, I've got a, a plant pot in my garden in very our in nasty. our bathroom, and he literally just went. I'm in my car on the, yeah, the left, the passenger side, I've got, obviously, it's, it's, the, it's the dashboard, whatever the dashboard's made of, but it's got a metal strip, it's just for decoration. Oh, metal, yeah. Yeah, so you could put this in your car to hang your sunglasses on. Good idea, mm. so you don't yeah. sit on them. So you don't sit on them. <laughs> I do that, how many glasses have you sat well, they on? Fall, they, still, they fall into the footwell and yep. you stand on them and all sorts of things. Keep wow. on dialing through oh, flower. Right. The flower, which is this one, isn't it? I think so. Oh. This one's quite limited now, um, as is the yellow putty cat. Oh, look at these. The little yellow one. Um, meow, 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 meow. Oh, and we are a lot of, we're, we're a channel of cat lovers, generally. Yeah. There's a lot of cat lovers that would tune in. Um, there were people buying tens, twelves of these. Should we now do the, um, your woodland animals? Okay. Yeah. I was in our supermarket getting my shop for mum on Thursday, and I don't buy chocolate, but do you know how much a Cadbury's cream egg is? Isn't it like... I nearly... 60p. 60p. For a Cadbury's cream egg, honestly. Two for a pound. Two for a pound. Two for a pound. Oh, right. Yeah, but normally, it's like, it's like crisps, isn't oh. it? You go and buy a multi-pack. Why are the crisps smaller? Oh, yeah. 75p, isn't it, for a packet of crisps yeah. or something like that? Scandalous. Honestly. I think he's a race. Aren't they cute? So your little woodland animals, you've got oh. your rabbit, your hedgehog, your raccoon, your squirrel, your bear, your owl, your deer, and your fox. Raccoon? The raccoon. There's the, where's the? <laughs> <laughs> Why have I thought there was a beaver? What's he then? The process of elimination. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's no, a squirrel. squirrel. Oh, oh squirrel, yeah, I just saw the big tail and I thought that was the beaver. That's the fox, oh, yeah, hedgehog, hedgehog, bear, raccoon, rabbit, owl, deer, um, squirrel. Beaver squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> They're so sweet. So, so sweet. I love these. Hang your little, uh, your tea oh, towel on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're right. Your spectacles, your reading glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Behave now. But yeah, oh, right, there you go, there you go. Um, I, honestly, Willow... They're so strong, aren't they? Really strong so which magnets. One, which, which one would, would Willow have? Oh, I'll probably have to. I mean, £1.50, I might yeah. as well get her a few, wouldn't I? Yeah. There are 500 of you with these still in your baskets. There's our lovely Monica dialing, uh, dialing through. I love them, they're absolutely beautiful. Do you know, I'm going to say something, because they are so strong, and obviously yeah. you can... Sorry, Mr. Hedgehog. Hang on. Let me just put this down for a minute, but I'm going to... He might not like thank me for this, but I am going to... Just, there we go. Yeah. You could... You could... Tea towels. Tea towels, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. On, the, on, the, on the fridge. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. you can hang them on there. Mm. But what about a mobile phone? Oh, yes. Brilliant idea, yeah. 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 Your TikTok videos, so you can do all your dancing and stuff. I mean, for your TikTok no, videos. No, I don't do TikTok. You do TikTok. But that would be good for the yeah. TikTok folder. It Absolutely. would. It's yeah. like a hands-free. It is like a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at him. TikTok videos. Um, let's have a little look at the raccoon. He's cute. I like the raccoons. I know we don't get them in this country, but I do find that they're, like, they're properly mischievous, aren't they, are, they raccoons? They are fun. They are good. They absolutely terrorised. kids thing. Oh, when my daughter saw that I had TikTok on my phone, she was like, oh, I got mega cool mum points for having TikTok. Oh, right, yeah, right. I don't understand it, so I don't use no. it. Keep on dialing through for these. Um, stay where you are on the phone lines. We've got oh. a spontaneous star by coming up. I'm 
not sure, Wayne, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's beautiful. For Mother's Day? Oh. Yes, I know, but I'll, I feel like I'm sort of jumping on my No, marks. no, I've not seen this. This is amazing. Oh, look at this. I, 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 beautiful. It's the rose from the Willow and Tick collection. I see What's the differences. So, here you are. You can read this Let's one now. This, one. this is the only piece that we're bringing. So, this is, this is part of Elle's collection. This is the rose, often given as a symbol of love at first sight. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Or continued love. The rose encompasses beauty and purity, and many of us see this vision as a reminder of these emotions. Oh, my. It's like Beauty and the Beast. Uh, so many people said that to me. Yes. So many people. And this actually comes from one oh. of our viewers. I think it was Sylvia. Sylvia uh, uh, Watkins who messaged me privately and said, Al, could I do a oh rose? Um, and I think it was your mum that it, 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 it reminded you of as well. And then people have gone on to sort of say about, yeah, Disney yes. and things like that. There's sort of the Beauty and the Beast, the English rose. My sister had a tattoo of a rose. So, um, mm. yeah, it's, it, it's quite a sentimental flower though, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's amazing. I and certainly roses. a symbol of beauty. I love roses. So, the exaggerated jump ring is there. Uh, the reason mm. why we've actually got it's that size is so it can be fed onto a chunkier chain mm. or Today's a bracelet. Chains would Today's be chains, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, three dimensional as well. You've got those uh, twisted, twisted branches and foliage leaves. Now this was only launched. Um, I had no knowledge that this was actually coming on today, so... Beautiful. But it would go, actually, Mark. Mm. It I would completely would go naturally. together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can't give you the knowledge and the flowers, though. <laughs> How to look. I heard with, with a rose, you just have to be brutal. Yeah, treat them mean. Treat them mean. Mm. Yeah, and that yeah, keeps absolutely. them keen. That keeps them keen, absolutely, yes. Yeah. We launch this. We're going to yeah. match that launch price tag. The single rose. Mother's Day. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, Ollie says he his his technique with roses is stop oh. watering them. Oh. Hello to you. It was me, Elle. Yes. Um, I love and have your rose. This is oh bless you, bless you. Um, I remember this message. I do remember the message actually asking for the rose. And as soon as you uh, messaged mm. me, I started sketching it as well. I think um, one of the greatest honours is to have a rose named after you. Because Chelsea, it's Chelsea Flower Show in May, and uh, on, the, on the first day they have lots of celebrities who have roses named after them. And uh, oh, name some celebrity mm. roses. So there's Judy Dench, there's Felicity Kendall, there is obviously the Queen. The Queen's had more roses named after her than anyone. Prince Philip had one named after him last year. Joanna Lumley. Um, there's a Joanna there's Lumley a rose. Joanna Lumley rose. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely love that. Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence, and it is one of those like, like I said. So many people actually, uh, um, so many people look at the rose, and it has got. <laughs> um, <laughs> so many people look at the rose, and obviously there's uh, affiliations or memories and. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry, jewellery makers. We've just seen something that's, uh, that's tickled us both. Um, mm. Good luck, Dave, keeping a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually have this one on a long chain as well, as we it's said stunning. earlier on. It also reminds me of the, of the candelabra in Beauty and the Beast as well. What was his name? Lumiere. Lumiere. Yes, Lumiere. Got hand. Yes, he did. <laughs> I am tuning in to Hobby Maker this afternoon. For sure, for sure. £17.99 to get hold of it again. The exposed link up was, was an intentional, uh, intentional um, thing because I wanted you to be able to wear it as a charm as well. Um, <laughs> can, we just, can, we, can we just show that so no people know what we're laughing, we're laughing at? at? Just so I can show the, car, the, 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 the hot dog. Uh, okay. Make sure you tune in <laughs> at one o'clock to Hobby Maker. No, but I have some absolutely beautiful uh, eggs. Oh, I saw these on TV the other day with Ms. Dave. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And oh, Carol. Amazing. Yeah, the little Fabergé. They're beautiful. These oh, are, oh my. Extraordinary. Aren't Should they? we do them now? That includes a South Sea pearl. 
which is encased beautifully. If you want to swap it out, you want to put maybe... Uh, I need these because it's my, it's my husband's birthday. Um, you could pop another gemstone in there, maybe that Absolutely. bears... Every month you could change it, couldn't you? Oh, look look at the oh, detail of this. So you've got a little cute. latch that lifts up. I'll hold it on the tweezers so you can see. This is some of the most beautiful craftsmanship. It's exquisite, isn't it? Look at that. Ollie, you launched these, didn't you, this week? Oh, you weren't here? No. Of course. Inspired. Pardon? Inspired by, of course, the... Uh, Romanoffs, the, yeah. Yeah, the, you know, the Fabergé egg. Absolutely beautiful. Imagine that with, again, you're swapping out for different gemstones. Maybe if you want, uh, sort of scale down the size and have your whole families. I mean, you imagine giving an Easter egg at Easter that was going to last forever and being able to be passed down. I and think that's just not extraordinary. everyone likes chocolate. I don't know. No, absolutely right. I wish I didn't. <laughs> uh, I like chocolate a lot. Um, but what a beautiful oh, gift this. for Easter. <gasps> it goes where? The craftsmanship that you have within this, look at that, the scrolls, the swirls, the undulations of sterling silver with a South Sea pearl in the centre. It's on split pay. If you miss this auction opportunity, here is your chance, £179.99. But what? we're going to remove a digit. Let me open it for you so you can see. Just so elegant, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. There's a little latch just here. Can you see that there? Yeah, you lift that up and open. Oh, look at that. I think I would do that. You know, I would pop in every month. I would take out the pearl and pop the relevant gemstone in. That'd be amazing. Look at the quality of the pearl. Oh. That's a South Sea pearl. <laughs> oh gosh. I know. Absolutely incredible. Under one hundred pounds. Seventy-nine oh. ninety-nine. That's the price of the pearl, if not less than the price of the pearl. But really, you're getting that, or, or, or vice versa. Maybe the craftsmanship of the sterling silver. I mean, that is just absolutely exquisite. That's fine. If ever you wanted to see fine jewellery, today's show it has been absolutely all about that. Can you imagine gifting that at Easter? A genuine South Sea pearl. Yes, yeah, South Sea pearls are, are normally triple figures and then some, to be truthful, and then some. You know, not everyone, as we said, likes and appreciates chocolate, or maybe you're thinking about we wanted to give something that is going to uh, sort of last a lifetime time and ultimately be legacy, uh, <laughs> lifetime, uh, legacy jewellery. This is 100% that. Heather, Catherine, Natasha, another Heather, well, didn't you, <laughs> Alison? They're taking they the out of me now. Rise above it. Just rise above them. So I just, I, I, I've got very good at filtering Wayne out now. Just, you know, what he doesn't know is just, I, can, I have an off button on my talk back. Uh. <laughs> you can literally just turn that off. Sharon, Anne, Carol, Lorraine, Jenny, Isabel, Deborah, Regine. Uh, these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even down to the actual mechanism, Mark, yeah. Incredible, aren't they? Look at that. Yeah, have a little look. Look at that craftsmanship. Oh, it's the weight as well. It's exquisite. <gasps> There's a front and a back. Because mm. do you know what I've just spotted? Mm. It's, it's hallmarked, but also... And then you've got... Oh, you've got your topaz. Oh, no, it's not a front and back. Oh, look at that. That's the hinge. There's a round, brilliant cut topaz just here. And if I turn it around this way, that's, that's how you open it. Oh, it's the glow in the lid. Is extraordinary, isn't it? Oh my goodness me! Oh, so I've got a. What colour is your pearl? Uh, mine's white. Mm. Look at these. What's yours? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Are they two different ones? Oh, look at this. So mine's like a gold, and yours is a yeah. silver. Oh, oh look at wow! The glow on, that, on that lid. Look at the intensity on that lid. The polish. It's extraordinary. Limited, limited, limited. These flew. Oh. Absolutely flew. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. There's only oh, no. 20 left of the gold. Um, yeah. I mean, Fabergé is a design, of course, you know, legendary, been around for ages. 
this on Gemporia, our sister channel, you would, of course, you get an amazing deal, don't get me wrong. Um, but, oh, Dave launched these and he actually said himself that these would probably be four, five hundred pounds. Absolutely. Certainly not 69 pounds and 99 pence. What about putting your jadeite in there? Maybe one of the most treasured gemstones that you hold closest to your heart. Maybe your partner's spouse, parents, grandparents, children's birthstones. Um, that's a beautiful South Sea pearl. You can see the gold in this, can't you? Look how it radiates through. That is absolutely exquisite. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Go there on. are nine left. Linda and Janice, you've done it. Diana, you're there as well. But you need to check out Catherine. Hello to you. Uh, Cat oh, well done, Diane. Carolyn Bristol, you've got yours. So, so, so limited. My, uh, my auntie is, uh, she loves Easter. Um, and she always, over the years, she's sent me some fantastic eggs. She always sends me amazing Easter eggs. Um, uh, and obviously for, uh, for the children as well. I'm thinking, because I don't always reciprocate the egg thing, because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'll send flowers or something like that. But rather than flowers... Yeah, perfect. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Because you can pay up to that with delivery, can't yeah. you? On a bunch of flowers. Look at the quality you're getting South Sea Pearl with white topaz, with all of that beautiful sculpture and engineering. Catherine, well done. Uh, Dagmar, you've got yours. This will be a sellout today because we've only got a couple of these actually left. You can get it home on your split pay as well. £23.33. Uh, pence. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Limited, limited, limited. Which of these pearls? Not one, but two. I love rice pearls. Me love too. Rice pearls. I think you and I launched these, didn't we? I think on, we did. On Wednesday. Do you remember what we took it to? No, mm. I can't. I remember we mentioning that, that we've not had rice pearls for such a long time. No, and why they're also why they're expensive yeah. normally. Yeah, yeah. Rice yeah. pearls are expensive because you're basically taking it out of the mollusk. Um, prior to the time that it's, you know... It would have matured to mm. a larger size, That's wouldn't right. it? Absolutely. So you still have to pay that premium. It's not a case of the smaller the pearl, uh, the smaller the price tag. Quite the opposite. And then it's more challenging to drill. You get both today for lower than what you see on your screens. <laughs> we were discussing how they would be beautiful. Uh, the necklace, uh, uh, if you follow me on social media, if, if that's uh, Instagram, mm. uh, for example, the necklace that Susie made for me Absolutely. and I wore out last yeah. night, she had yeah. little seed pearls in the tassel. £15 per strand. That was a bit of an epic wall of fame, wasn't it, on Wednesday? Mm. <gasps> I know, I know. Yeah. So exciting. I think she's been enjoying, Kathy's been enjoying yeah, her winnings already. Yes. Good for you, Kathy. Maybe this is some of them, that, that something that you go, uh, you put that winnings towards. Seed pearls, delicate little sizes, little peregrina like drops, beautiful iridescence and luster. I can hear Ollie in the back. Ollie, you were like saying, oh my gosh, these are amazing. Absolutely. Look at the quality of the pearls. They are. Should we half that price? I've got just over 100 of these available, but nowhere near enough people on the phone lines, Mark. What are we going to do? Mark, more people on the phone lines. You can't, I can't, we can't bring you seed pearls on a regular basis. You know, we should never have taken these under, um, under £15. Oh, Wayne's all defiant oh, now. Oh. I agree. There's 100 of these available. Oh, he sounds like he's having a right little yeah. sulk in there. Oh. Come on, Wayne. No. Oh. Oh, no. There's 176, and he says, if you want that price halved, I need to see more people on the phone. He, I mean, he's not wrong, to be fair. He isn't no, I think these are making the most exquisite knotted marlers. Absolutely. Oh. Just amazing. We were showing those sort of multi-layered necklaces, you know, the twisted right. styles that were, what, $1,300 mm. or That's something right. like that. Yeah. Yep. Um, if you wanted... Mm. If, if you wanted to maybe um, do things like looming. Looming, memory wire, memory wire would be amazing. Oh, yes. Obviously with your silks. You can kiss cross the rice beads as well. Can you? Yeah. Even though so, they're not... So you get they're more not... of an elongated 
is that you'd have to up the number of bees you use to do the actual netting with, but you get most exquisite effect. Even though they're not uniform? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So at least four pearl bracelets for what we're... Look, yeah. Right now, yeah. seriously, yeah. cultured pearl, not faux, not glass, not imitation. Of course you're multi-buying. I'd be multi-buying. Is there any of the black jadeite left? If there is, can you imagine that? With that, yeah, with these. Amazing. All to get all three together. Are you ready? That's seven pound fifty for culture pe for culture pills. Mad, isn't it? No disrespect to any of the above, but it's not a quartzite. It's not an agate or a, or, or a jasper, which are more plentiful. Mm. You know of the supply of culture pills at the moment. You know that, and it's logical, isn't it? You know that, that unfortunately a lot of the pearl harvests were lost during the pandemic because we literally couldn't get the farmers out to those locations. What's that done to the price of pearls? Skyrocketed. They've absolutely skyrocketed. I had a hundred and, did you say 70? Yeah, 176 of these available. Julie, West Midlands, uh, Pauline, Rachel, Jay Marie, Brenda, Surrey, Joan, Elizabeth, Nuala, Alison, new customers, Dagmar, Mary, Kent. You're recognizing how crazy this deal is. Um, yeah, if you want to, I, I love these little pills. This size in tassels, I think look absolutely beautiful at the bottom of tassels. At that price tag, pearl marla? That would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, actually have yeah. these. At, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then and stations one. of your kiss crust. Yeah, perfect. It's in just, between. It's the fact that we, we never see rice pearls, do we? This is the first time I've seen rice pearls since we've been back at Eagle Road, I think. True, yeah. yeah, yeah true. I've seen them for such a long time. Do you remember when we used to do pearl days? Yeah. Pearl weekends. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. 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 Wayne, what's the probability of us doing a pearl day? No. No, just no. No, just no. We, 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 yeah, we can't, yeah. we can't get the quantity. And, and just, to, just to confirm what I'm saying, Wayne, um, the delicate pearls, the smaller sizes like this, between three and five millimetre, are equally as expensive as the larger sizes, aren't they? Mm. Currently, because it's a case of almost we've intercepted before they've had the chance to actually reach that size. We've still got to pay. We've still got to pay for that process. Um, and then there's a very real risk of actually fracturing the pearl during the uh, mm. drilling because they're smaller in size. You're still going to put a drill hole yeah, that you can yeah, put about. your needles through and everything. Mm. Well, things yeah. like the makeup that you wear that's got maybe a slight shimmer, the paints that you use, pearlescence it literally is pearl mm -hmm. that has been literally ground down um, into a powder now should we do a little close out deal oh, look i've at kept these. you with me not let you go look at these obsidian look at this i've got about a minute so we need oh. to be quick on this one natural obsidian um, we spoke about Marlers. Oh, that would yeah, be perfect. beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> and these have really good, good drill holes as well. You'd be able to get your two threads through easily. Twenty pounds, sixty inches, which is what about a meter and a half? Is that right? Mm -hmm. It's a Kylie. It's a Kylie strand. Is sixty it? inches. Yeah. Oh, is that as tall as Kylie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's only a dot, isn't she? Five foot. Mm. Five foot. Yeah, My best tiny. friend's five foot one, and she's Ooh. tiny. Ollie's wife's 5'1", is she? Uh. <laughs> That's below cost. We can't even physically buy it for what's on your screens right now. Well. And then we're oh. going to go lower even more. <laughs> Look, obsidian is a beautiful gemstone. It's a type of glass, a volcanic glass, oh. actually. And the colours that you see <laughs> <laughs> basically equates to how rapidly the gemstone oh, cooled. No. Um, obviously, we can't source it at this price either. It's not a 38 centimetre strand. It's 60 inches. Oh, Three pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Lydia, Janice, Denise, Allison, Lincolnshire, Helen. Ja again, even if you don't really know what you're going to do with this as of yet, look how beautifully lustrous it is. All the minuses. It's going again. Oh my word! Look at that luster. This would look amazing with the sandstone, the golden Ooh, sandstone. Oh yeah. I think it'd be beautiful. Oh my word. Uh, Wayne is saying oh. this is his thank you. Is thank you to oh. you for today. Um, we're actually losing money. We're running out of time as well. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank um, you. Congratulations thank, so much. Everyone for, for supporting. It's, it's a, it was a bit nerve-wracking, but I'm, I'm thrilled. 
from that to you thrilled. They're beautiful. So we've got summer in May, so watch this space. I can't Not wait. Long. I literally can't wait. Mm. I'm running as fast as my little feet can carry me out of the studio so I can go and buy some of Mark's pieces. Well done. They're stunning. They really Thank are stunning. Thank you for, for coming in today and, oh, and looking my, after us. My absolute pleasure, but do not go anywhere because Hobby Maker's up after this.